The story begins in a King Shan mental hospital. Room number 666. A man is tied up in a wire, and a white-haired man is ready to do some electric therapy on him. He is ready to insert the wire in the socket. Warning this is a comic. Please do not try it at home. He inserted it in the socket. You can see what is happening to the man in the bed. Red light alarm. The nurse rushes to check on them. The guy is fried from the electric shock. The nurses are carrying him to the ambulance. And the white-haired man also comes to check on his friend's situation. The doctor tells them to put that white-haired man in the ambulance. And they will check him too. Now they both are inside the ambulance. Next, we see a man watching them leaving in the ambulance. He is the director of the King Shen Mental Hospital, Shi Hak. And he has all types of mental patients. One is an astronomer. Another is a professor of medicine who has found a cure for man to get pregnant. Another one is a fortune teller. But the two patients of his from room 666 always want to kill people when they have a psychotic episode. And their names are Black hair guy name is Lin Fan, age 19, mental level, S. And the other one with the white hair is Zhang. Next Zhang is doing some needle therapy on Lin Fan. And Lin is hearing something. It says, welcome my master to Dao Wu system active. And Zhang is like, system active. It sounds like you are crazy. A mental patient telling another mental he is crazy. How funny. That morning, Tai Shan Mountain, a fire-like creature is attacking both humans and animals. A girl is reporting, an earthquake hit Tai Shan Mountain. Moreover, the level 7 devil has appeared, and the government has sent people there to help. Please do not go to Tai Shan Mountain. Doctors are treating him, and the system notifies. The strongest man system had found a new master, preparing to active. New master's mind has a problem. Checking, checking. Next, the doctors are ready for his operation. The doctor asks for anesthesia, and Lin Fan is like, I'm feeling so good right now, and the burning skin on my body is because my body had been purified. Just cut them off, don't mind me. And he doesn't need anesthesia, he needs to use the pain to train his mind. And if they try anesthesia on him, he won't pay the fee. Doctor tells him to shut up, does a mental patient like you have money? And he is like, even if they anesthesia him, with his mind's power, he will resist the anesthesia. Next, Lin Fan when he was 10 years old, his mom is shocked to see him, hammering on his own head. And he is like, don't worry mom, I'm practicing metal head. And then again, Mom I heard that the Bixie Swordplay Manual is the strongest skill, so I want to destroy this unnecessary lump of meat. Luckily his mom discovered that which stopped the action to make Lin's family extinct. Hore, Mom, you are the best. Lin Fan was taken to the mental hospital and after the mental health report, which fulfilled everyone's expectations, Lin Fan was a level 5 mental patient. Do not make the dangerous to society but he can make dangerous actions that can injure him. Next, Lin Fan and Zhang. Lin Fan thinks he is about to level up and asks Zhang to stab him with the needles a few more times. Zhang gets ready and this one is an upgraded version. Universal level, he stabs Lin Fan with the needles. Zhang asks how do you feel? And Lin Fan is hearing the voice again. Zhang asks if it's praising his needle play manual. He was about to say something but pass out. A man calls for the doctor. Doctors and nurses rush to the room. The patient's heart rate is dropping very quickly. His arm is full of needles. Hurry up. Bring him to the emergency room. Call the head doctor. The strongest man system activating. Activated. You will receive the strongest martial arts manual, Kain Chewy by Lion Jenjing. The doctors are tired of working the whole night. And now he can finally eat the meal his wife prepared for him. The nurse come rushing, informing him the patient hurt himself again. Those crazy bastards didn't even let him eat his wife meal. Next, a man informs that the boss of Bai High Cemetery asked him to check if Director Shi Hag really wants to buy a grave. He cancelled it, because the Hewer Tan Hospital just called and informed that Lin Fan's condition is okay now. And he had already cancelled 80 times. Mr. Bai doesn't need to be angry about that. He gets a call and the doctor, Lai Lai Fu, Vice President of Hewer Tan Hospital, tells him to take back his patient. He can't handle them anymore. And if he doesn't he will cut them into pieces and return a dead body to them. He hangs up the phone. Next, Zhang is thinking, his universal level skill shouldn't be like that, and where did he go wrong? Nearby people are scared of him, but he has another method to try on Lin Fan again. But he gets some kind of attack. The doctors are shocked. Each time he meets Lin Fan, he is always half a step away from death. Now he is crying. It's so hard to handle mental patients. The system notifies, you have completed your first training level S, now you can use your power. Bonus reward. Body enhancement one time, do you want to use it now? Detecting your mind is having a problem. Lack of ability to judge and trust the system, the system will. Auto choose the best solution for you. 
eye sky open, starting to count down, your body is being enhanced. Next, the news is telling that the level 7 monster that appeared in the Tai Shan Mountain has been defeated. The doctor is waiting in the ambulance. Nurses comes with Lin Fan, saying the surgery was successful. He tells them to hurry and put him in the ambulance. The ambulance driver tells him he will drive, but the doctor is like, step aside. No matter what happens I will drive today. The ambulance is ready to leave. The nurse stops them saying there is still another patient that needs to go to the mental hospital. He is shocked to hear what she just said. She tells him, Dr. Wang, who did the surgery for Lin Fan. He told her to give him something. And that's a resignation letter, written in blood. Next, Dr. Shi Hag is praying to never let those two come back. But his prayer was not that strong. She asks Dr. Lai, why did he bring them so soon just after the surgery? He's afraid Lin Fan wound will get open again. And since they are friends, he asks him to let them stay in his hospital for some more times. He falls on his knees saying these guys make his best doctor become a psychopath. Then he leaves saying he doesn't need those ambulance stretchers. Now the problems has come back to them. He asks Lin Fan, how do you feel? He is very fine. And Zhang is also fine. At night room 666, they are tied up and Zhang is asking Lin Fan to help him, but Lin Fan is doing his training. The crazy girl in his mind is teaching him to use Kai and Chewy by Lion Zhenjing. And she also said, the body enhanced complete. Now he is feeling a hot air moving inside his body, it's very comfortable. Jang is surprised that their universal level is successful. And the electricity skill is also successful. Now they are ready to try a new training skill, using a hammy to smash directly in the chest. Next, Dr. Shi Hang is surprised that they are quiet today. But the two guys who have heard them saying to use a hammer. But they don't need to inform to Mr. Shi Hack. Where can those two find a hammer in their hospital? And Mr. Shi Hag is thinking now they can have a chill time. Which is impossible I think. A clever psychopath and a strong psychopath, Mr. Shi is done for. Next, a woman is walking down the street, chatting in her phone. A big creature comes from behind her. She is terrified to see it. It opens its mouth and blood splatters. Next in the hospital, Lin Fan breaks the rope that has tied him and his body has healed from the burned and it's now very shiny. He wakes Shang, saying he is here to save him. Jang asks him about his underwear. It got torn apart. And Jang is like damn this size can I touch it. He touches Lin Fan's abs and it's so hard. And Lin Fan tells him. He is feeling like he has been trained so hard for years. But the system is like training my ass. I am the one who does hard. I trained your body all by myself. And now they are ready to use their hammer exercise. A man is doing his work. But a hand comes from behind him. He gets scared to death and it's Shang. The man is calming himself thinking. This is a human. But why is he look like a ghost? King Shan Mental Hospital Class 101 Patients Room 666 Experts in Special Fields Different Level Monsters Monster Level 2 Monster Level 7 and Monster Level 9 Next, Zhang who is distracting the man and Lin Fan who have already taken away the hammer from the box gives him a signal and they leave without turning their back. His work is very dangerous. If it wasn't for a high salary he wouldn't even do it. He notices that his hammer is missing. He heard a loud noise from the door in front of him. He gets curious to see what's going on. But he gets shocked to see Zhang is hammering Lin Fan. He is like WTF. And Zhang is like, you saw it. Huh, he runs shouting, murder. That psychopath is a murderer. Help me, please. The system, you have completed a body training level D. Reward, enhance a body part please select the part you want to enhance. A, arms, B, legs, C, head, D, penis. Judging that you have a mental problem. The system will help you choose the best solution, A, arms. Next, the doctor and the nurses are taking him to confirm what he just saw. But he is too scared to go there. When they reach there, they are surprised that the place is super clean. And the two of them are drinking soy milk. Mr. She tells him, there's no blood, it's just your imagination, calm down. The man tells him, he doesn't want to do this job anymore, and please ask them to return my hammer. And if this place has an electricity problem again, don't call me, unless you double the money. Mr. She asks Lin Fan to give back his hammer. They both are like what hammer? Mr. She pointed at it saying what's that? He has hidden the hammer in a very important place. He takes it out saying it's a hammer. Mr. She asks him to give it to him. But Lin is like come here and take it. And Mr. She is like no, throw it away. But Lin Fan is like, nah, come here, no throw it here, nah, come here. Now Mr. She is thinking, today is the 29th of February, tomorrow will be my birthday, I don't want it to turn into my funeral. But he man up and go for it. His heart is beating very fast and his hand is shaking. But finally, he got it, OMG. You are the best sir. He is still alive. It's a miracle. He returns it saying it was just a small problem. But his face is covered in sweat, which is flooding like a river. Next, a girl in the news, talking about the monster. An old man is telling his bald friend. 
that the girl is the television is his wife, the bald man tells him she is his daughter. And the old man is like, ha, huh, so you are my father-in-law. After a very long time, the father-in-law and his son-in-law finally met. A touching reunion. Zhang is asking Lin Fan if he knows her. And even Lin Fan is like, sure she is my girlfriend. Next, we see a lowly student named Zhang Ying, age 16, type heel, discovered placey clan. She is telling her friend that they have 4 level 2 power and they can go and hunt down that dog type monster. They are ready to show their potential. They are the elite students of 4 elite school. They won't let the special force of Mayan High City look down on them. Next, in the hospital, the lady in the news, today, Saturday, February 29th. Zhang is surprised. How can it be the 29th of February? Isn't today is the 7th of March? Lin Fan asks if if watch is broken. Zhang is like nah. This is the luxury watch X. It cost 100 million yuan. An expert comes saying let me take a look. Using his best equipment, he tells him, it's okay it just needs a little fix. With his best equipment he fixes his watch. And Zhang is happy. His service is truly the best. The 29th of February rolls. Next he is crying. Thinking that man scammed him, the watch broke so soon. And Lin Fan's system counts down 5 minutes. Lin Fan gives him the coca milk to make him feel better. He tells him the girl in his mind is talking again. Zhang asks what did she says. He was about to tell him. But the countdown ended. The system notifies. Countdown finish. You can open the imagined world. Now you can access the world time stop. To stops this, finish your mission in the imagined world. Mission help the heirs of the founder of Kyan Chewy by Lion Jenzing. To stop being bullied at school mission target, Chen Yang. Notes, body and power convert 100%. Next, he wakes up in an unknown place. He looks at the mirror and thinks he has turned into a girl. To make sure he checks it, his name is Yang Yang. His mother comes saying breakfast is ready. She came at the wrong time. He finds there is truly a spare meat. But is this guy crazy? Pink pajamas are for girls. Now they are having their breakfast. His mom tells him to focus and study. He pours the milk in the bowl. His mom is surprised. He drinks it in one breath. Looking at his mother, he says, This soup is delicious. And his mom is like, Yo, Yang Yang my son, you rock. Next Chen Yang or Lin Fan it is his first time seeing the outside world. And he is going to the school as his mother told him. And now he is Chen Yang, he will have to go to school. He is inside the bus. A girl comes and she is having trouble standing. He gives his seat to her. A funky looking guy comes in the bus. His name is Zhang Hao, Chen Yang's classmate. He comes and asks Chen Yang, didn't I tell you to take a seat for me? Why didn't you? Do you want to get beat up? He used to bully the old Chen Yang. But the Chen Yang right now he looks weird today. The little girl apologizes saying he gave his seat to me. A man covered in blood come inside the bus, shouting murder, a psychopath killed someone. Hurry up and drive. A bald guy with a knife get inside the bus, and starts to swing his knife blindly. Zhang Hoa gets scared after seeing him, but Chen Yong is like he is not a psychopath. After seeing the little girl he tries to attack her. Blood splatters. Everyone is terrified to see Chen Yong who has blocked the knife with his bare hand. And he asks, hey you monk, why do you want to kill people? He tells him, he is not a monk and let go off his knife. Now the battle begins. You let go, no you, no you. Everyone is shocked to see them like that. The bald guy realizes that he cannot beat Chen Yong and he let off the knife. He falls down saying are you crazy? Yeah, he is. He is the godfather of psychos. Chen Yong tells him to answer his question. Why a monk wants to kill people? Next, the ambulance and police have come. And inside the bus, Chen Yong is asking him, you don't need your knife. He comes out of the bus and Zhang Hoa is in a shocked state. Where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? Chen Yong comes saying nice to meet you again. While holding a knife, he stands up straight. Chen Yong introduces himself again and shakes the hand. Zhang Hoa feels something sticky. Oh, it's a blood. He is out cold. The nurse bandaging him and she is surprised that even with this kind of wound, he didn't yell or scream. Chen Yong is like pain is kind of a training too and his mind is super strong, so he doesn't have any problem with this much of a wound. Now she is shocked thinking, damn he is so strange, is it my imagination? The police is arrested the bald monk, and after looking at his godfather, he is scared to go even near him. The policeman praises him for his braveness, and the police department will contact his school to praise him more. But he is like I need to go to school now, I'm late for school, bye bye. The policeman is thinking, he is so laborious, such a good spirit. I need to tell my son to study harder. He tells Chen Yang that he will take him to the hospital and contact his school to ask for permission. But Chen Yang is like, nah, pain is a kind of a training. The more painful I get, the more I become stronger. He realizes, damn something is wrong with him. He comes to the school, Chuang Wai High School. And the way he is standing, he's the new Alpha Chat. He smells books and if Mr. Zhang was here, he would have become a great professor. But I don't think so. He would have killed many students instead with his needle. 
he goes inside the school. Next, he has come to his class, 12A2 class. He takes his seat on of the benches. He remembers, when his mother was asking the doctor if he could go to school, kids of his age are learning in high school. But Lin Fan is a psychopath patient. He can't go to school. A girl comes and stabs her pencil in his hand, saying who says you can cross the line. She was expecting, if she stabs him hard, he will jump up and says, how could you do that? It's really hurt. But he doesn't even react. She stabs even harder. And he is like, is this some kind of joke? My friends in King Shan Mental Hospital really like to play with me. Now she is shocked. What hospital? And how could it be? Why doesn't he react? But I use all my force. Blood flashes on her face and she runs screaming. A blue-haired guy is telling Zhang Hoa that his girl Lai Zhu is being scared by Chen Yang. And if he wants, he can beat Chen Yang for him. He tells him that. Today he discovered that Chen Yang is abnormal. Blue-haired tells him isn't he just a gay? How abnormal can he? But Chen Yang comes saying, Hello there, we meet again. I remembered that you like to play with Chen Yang. Blue-haired thinks he's an idiot to come here. But Zhang Hoa stands up and shake his hand. Blue-haired is shocked. And Chen Yang is like, I recognize you we met in the bus. He leaves after that and blue-haired is shocked that Zhang Hoa is scared of Chen Yang. The teacher comes and asks them the poem. She told them to read yesterday. Who wants to be the first one? Everyone is thinking. She is famous for her temperament. Who will be the first one? She asks Chen Yang to read it. Blue-haired is thinking. Chen Yang is really scared of her. Maybe his mind is blank now. Haha. <laughs> Chen Yang stands up and tells her, sorry, I don't remember. Everyone is shocked, thinking he is really brave to say that. He looks straight at his teacher without any fear. Seeing him answering her like that, she is thinking that he is so abnormal today. He asks her if he can sit down with a smile on his face. And his smile is making her insecure. She tells him to sit down. Everyone is shocked what just happened. Next Chen Yang is doing something with a key near an outlet. The blue-haired guy comes asks him. What did you do to my friend and that witch teacher? He gets angry at Chen Yang for ignoring him. Chen Yang tells him he wants to stick the key to the power outlet to begin his training. Blue haired gets mad. Are you crazy? Stick the key to that outlet. I dare you. He sticks the key in the outlet. And we all know what will happen if you do that. And don't try this at home. A guy comes saying I didn't know that you can dance Yang Zhu Chan. Please teach me. He also starts to dance. Other guys get curious and curiosity kills a cat. They all starts to dance with them. The average is too weak for Chen Yang. High training isn't effective much, but confused to see all the guys are foaming on the floor. He thinks they might studying too hard and fall asleep on the floor. But anyway he needs to go to the toilet. He jumps over them. Bonk. Teacher comes to take his class, but gets shocked to see his students, who are halfway to their dead. He calls 911 and tells them the emergency and tells them the address. And Chen Yang is surprised. He just went to the toilet and many students are faint. High school is so scary. The news has spread all over the school that the guys from class 12A2 were electrocuted, expect for one guy who went to the toilet. A girl calls Chen Yang from behind a tree. Chen Yang and she is a cutie, and she is there to give him a letter. But a guy snatches it from her. He is bully Tang Jai with his man, classmate number one and number two. She asks him to give it back, but they start to make fun of her and Chen Yang. Chen Yang jumps and snatches the letter. Tang Jai is shocked, and he gets mad. He tells Chen Yang to read it for them. He asks the girl if she wants him to read it for them, she doesn't want. Chen Yang tells them unless she agrees. He won't read it. Tang Jai punches the tree behind Chen Yang, and his punch has made a hole in the tree. The girl screams, don't let them beat you. But he doesn't need to listen to them, they can't beat him. Tang Jai gets angry not only he but classmate number two also gets mad. Chen Yang punches the tree, they all are shocked to see, the tree breaks in half. Now they are seeing their grandfather. Two girls come rushing and inform the teacher that Tang Jai is bullying some students. The teacher gets ready to teach him a good lesson, but gets shocked to see Tang Jai is the one being bullied. Chen Yang tells him bullying is bad and if he wants to read other people's letters, the owner of those letters must agree with him. Looking at the tree, Tang Jai has no choice but to accept the teaching. Chen Yang pats on his chick, saying he looks skinny, go home and have big meal. He agrees to go home and will eat a big meal. The teacher and the two girls are shocked to see them running like that. Chen Yang gives back the letter to her, but she wanted to give that letter to him. And he is like, Old Jang usually says that most the pink letters are the loved ones, which means the sender wants to confess. She tells him, Yeah I like you, can you be my boyfriend? Chen Yang rejects her straight away. The goal of his life is training to become a strongest man, and she doesn't deserve him. She runs crying, You're the one that doesn't deserve me. And he is like, Just as what Old Jang said, it's impossible to understand a girl. He is thinking, if he has forgotten anything, never mind. 
Next, Chen Yang, who loves adorable things and he's very feeble. Everyone always humiliates him and tells him he's gay. But she thought he was different from those stinky boys. He likes her, and one day he will confess his love to her, and she will be his wonderful first love. And if she likes him, or she confesses her love to him, he is willing to say to her, I agree. But now, the current him has just rejected her, the end of his first love. Next, the doctor is mad, thinking what are these fools students are doing these days, and gets ready to cut his clothes to operate on him. He wakes up saying not to cut his clothes they are Armani products. They are worth the money he spent for one month. Very expensive. And pass out. Doctor gets mad and he's ready to cut his clothes. Luckily they are all safe. They are confused what happened to them. But the doctor told them they got shocked by the electricity. Now they are more confused. When did they come in contact with electricity? The guy tells them he only touched Zhang Hoa. And Zhang Hoa had only touched Yang Zhu Tian, the blue-haired guy. He yells at them not to blame him. He also only touched the shoulder of that gay Chen Yang. He didn't expect Chen Yang to put the key into the socket. It's all because of him. But where is he? No one has seen him there. He tells them it's obvious he is in the emergency room. When they are injured like this just after touching him, he can hardly survive after putting the key into the socket like that. Is he dead? Now they are all silent. They are feeling sorry for him, even though he is such an embarrassment in our class. He often gives us some snack. They hear a knocking at the door. Chen Yong has come to see them. Everyone is shocked. He has brought them some snacks, but they are still shocked how he's still alive. Unscathed, he gives the snack to the blue-haired guy but he doesn't want them. He acts rudely yo him, but Zhang Ho apologizes for his behavior and thanks him for the snack. They get messages. Their big boss has sent them. Now they all are terrified after seeing the message where their boss is being taught a lesson by Chen Yang. Now the blue-haired guy attitude changes toward Chen Yang. He is shaking to his bones. Next, we see a man in the rooftop. His wife cheated on him and even brought her boyfriend in front of him while he is in his deathbed and asked for a divorce. They had been married for 10 years and now she is treating him like that. He jumps from the building. Next the guys are asking Chen Yang how big was the tree he tore apart, and his is showing them, quite similar to that one. The man is falling, they all shout someone is falling. Chen Yang grabs him with one hand. Oh my god, his bone gets broken. He pulls him inside. His classmate are shocked that he just pulled him with one hand. Chen Yang asks him, why did you want to kill yourself? He tells him he is suffering from a fatal illness and will die soon. His wife has a fair and even brought that guy here and forced him to sign a marriage termination. Chen Yang pats on him saying, Principal said that when you faced a bitter situation, just cried and then handle it. He cries holding Chen Yang's leg. The doctor comes saying the guy is saved. They take the guy to his room. Doctor is asking how did you save him? Chan Hoa realizes Chen Yang's arm is broken. They are shocked, like WTF. How could he keep that straight face? His arm has been broken. He tells the doctor, never mind. It'll heal later and he is used to it. Doctor is shocked. After hearing what he just said, Two of them has become big fan of his, and now they are licking his toe in their chat group, and even Tang Jai is wanting to be his junior. Next, Chen Yong is brought to an operating room and he is telling the doctor to not use anesthesia, and if they do, the doctor injects him. He doesn't have any money. The system notifies. After running the check, I figure out the killing intent around the subject has been decreasing. The points of being admired and honored has been increasing, which exceeds the required level. Mission complete. Description. Completing the mission in the realm of illusion. Support the descendant 5 of the founder of Kai and Chewy by Lion R. Chen Yang so that he will never bullied. Status. Completed rank. S level. Reward 1. 1 Kai and Chewy by Lion R. The top class level. 2. Kai Zhang practicing material. Mission completed. The host will leave this realm in 3 seconds. The frozen time flow in the host world will be back to normal. Counting down. 3, 2, 1. He is back and is confused now. He asks Zhang if he is asking about what the voice in his mind said. He nods. He tells him the voice said that I was in an illusion realm and was turned into a psycho wearing girl's pajamas. How perverted. In the illusion realm, Chen Yang's mother has come to see him. He wakes up and starts to shout it hurts so bad. Mom it hurts. Next he is in front of his school, scared to enter, waiting for his mom. The bully's gang appears in front of him, he is scared. But they all kneel in front of him. Reading him, he is shocked, but he is a good actor, he puts a straight face, acting like he is the boss, and the girl that gave him the letter is thinking she really doesn't deserve him. What a sad love story with a tragic end. Next, the Mayan High City, the headquarter of the special, the man from Toa Jia Palace Fighter Level 9, Liu Hai Tan, Mao San Palace, Fighter Level 9, Lin Toa Ming, a woman, Wai Jia Palace, Fighter Level 9, Kin Song, a monk, Arch Pagoda. Fighter Level 9, Master Yang Xin, and finally the leader of the Min Hai City's Special Force, Top Fighter Cyclop, City Defense Level Fighter. And they are all discussing about the intelligence of the curse creations increasing. 
therefore the fighter can hardly beat creations who's the same level. Creation they are referring to the monsters here, and they are finding a solution to deal with them. Next, the birthday of Mr. Shi. He wishes to have a peaceful day today, but a guy comes rushing and informs him that the patients in room 666 are messing up and making others to do so. His wish has gone down the river. They are protesting, carrying a sign of, what is that? The nurse has brought them a two eggs and sausage and a small circle of a quail egg, because they too don't know what that sign means. They don't want that egg or sausage, they want the thing in the sign. Mr. She comes and they show him the sign. He tells them he can't give it. Two of them starts to roll in the ground, saying we want this one. Mr. She has no choice but to give them. What is it they want? It's a dumbbell and a boxing bag. Next thing, the both gets destroyed. Jang is congratulating him for completing his training. Next, we see a guy fighting and using his talisman. The talisman explode in the body of a monster. It's a level 2 cursed creation devil dog. The four of them are ready to fight that monster. The girl uses her first grade pill to recover and heals her friend. The guys chanted some sword techniques and attack the dog. The sword stabs the dog. The dog tries to attack them. The bald guy uses some kind of technique, a golden body, and blocks the attack. But the dog uses his other paw and attacks the girl, sending her flying and slamming into the wall. The sword guy is thinking the monster attacked the healer first. He asks other guys to take the girl and run. And he uses his lighting spell tags and attack the dog. But the dog deflects the spell with its tail. Now the dog is getting serious. It looks at the bald guy like, you're a dead man now, and bites of half of his body. The dog attacks again. And one of the guy tries to save his friend and gets hit. He tells his friend to run, but he is asking the girl if she can stand. Bro your friend just sacrifice himself to save you run for your life now. But nah, he wants to be hero and protect the princess. Oh, wait she is not dead yet. The guy charged toward the dog with his puny sword. She uses a second grade pill recovering and heals her friend. Yes, now save her bro. But his sword went flying somewhere. He is dead, stomped by the dog. But he is still worried about the girl. He uses some kind of spell and get ready to explode himself. Boom. A big explosion. Dog is crying for help. Dog lovers, please save that cute little black dog. Wait the dog is not dead yet, but it's severely injured. Next, psychos are playing in the park of the hospital. Lin Fan is meditating and Jang is counting ants. System notifies. Congratulation. The host has Gat Kai training technique at mortal level, which enhances the host's body. At this stage, the body can absorb the power of the sky and the earth to enhance itself. Zhang calls him, saying look this ant appears to be crying, but gets shocked to see Lin Fan making a face like he is holding his poop for a long time. The system, warning the Kai training techniques is an ancient skill which is so powerful, it is exceeding the limit of the host. The body may explode, but Zhang stabs him with a needle in his head. With his galaxy transition acupuncture, he stabs all over Lin Fan's head. Lin Fan shouts in pain, making all the needle flying from his body and Zhang is dodging all those needles like the hero in Matrix dodges the bullets. But a poor ant gets pierced through with some needle. Please someone call the Ant-Man to protect his Anthony. The system, the body has unlocked the absolute vision which eliminate the chance of explosion. And even the system is surprised. Why does the absolute vision appear? Lin Fan tells Zhang that he was training with the voice in his head. It was very uncomfortable. Fortunately, Zhang help him. Zhang comes rushing. His galaxy transition acupuncture is the beast, isn't it? Lin Fan agrees. But now he is feeling hungry. Zhang tells him to eat the ant. He tells him it's called Makai Ziadu, the kind of food that contains lots of protein and calcium. It's edible. He was about to feed him but a nurse informs it's a lunchtime. He throws the poor ant to eat their delicious lunch. In the dining room, Lin Fan is eating everyone's food. The nurse tries to stop him, saying he will get a stomach ache. But Lin Fan is not full yet. He tells the doctor that he is still hungry. The doctor asks if he is suffering from an eating disorder. They are shocked. He starts to eat the spoon also. The system. The system, congratulating him for the Kai training techniques. But the side effect is he will feel hungry easily and needs to consume a large amount of food. Next, the police has come to the place where the four people fought with that dog and are collecting evidence. And Cyclop is also there. Next, Cyclop is talking to someone in the phone, informing that the victims were four students graduating with the honored degree. The devil dog level 2 knew had attacked the supporter first and ruined the whole strategy of the team. And he didn't expect the dog to use the smell of sewage to conceal its smell. But the dog was injured, and the scene isn't far from the place of the person he is talking to the phone, and tells the person to stay alert. The man wearing glass tells him their parents of victims are asking to. But Cyclop tells him to clean the corpse then call their parents to take them back. Next Mr. She is cursing someone. A guy comes rushing and informs him that the cooks in the kitchen were scared to pass out. With a smile in his face he asks what happened. Two hours ago in the dining room, the guards are stopping Lin Fan from eating. 
and one guy is asking the nurse, won't he give me back my food? Zhang is telling him something with his power of telepathy. And that is, don't worry, as I'm your best friend, I know that you're begging for help. He starts to hit his head on the table. The guard leaves Lin Fan and comes to stop Zhang. Lin Fan silently leaves from there. Mission complete, I got your back bro. In the kitchen, two women are peacefully cooking their food but a mental comes and disturb their peace. He is like I'm starving. I want to eat human flesh. But this is just the imagination of the two cooks. They are scared, knowing that he is the patient of room 666, and they pass out. Mr. She is confused. Why did Lin Fan get that great hunger? The guy tells him Dr. Wang is running a check on him. Next, what a beautiful night. And the devil dog comes out of the sewage, trying to find a quiet and safe place to heal himself, and has come to the mental hospital. And that was the biggest mistake of his life. Next, we see the devil dog, who has come to find a peaceful place to heal himself. Thinking that humans love cute things he turns himself in a puppy. And now he's trying to look cute Uwu. Zhang is sad that his watch is broken again. The nurse told him that today is the 2nd of March but his watch is showing the 29th of Feb. But the warranty is expired, so he has to pay for fixing fee. He doesn't have money neither do Lin Fan. Zhang gets an idea. Kidnapping can help them earn lots of money. But who do they kidnap? He gets an idea to kidnap Lin Fan and ask his girlfriend to fix the watch and after that, he will let him go. But he doesn't have any girlfriend. Zhang tells him the girl on the TV is his girlfriend, isn't she? He told him that. But Lin Fan is like that's my wife, I don't have any girlfriend. If she is his wife, his plan won't work. Zhang hears the sound of a puppy and it must be the one outside the window. And the puppy is acting cute, so that they will let him in. It's very cute and acting very cute. Zhang loves it. But one guy is shocked, looking at his window. He's confused what is he looking at right now. Seeing the puppy's ear is bleeding Zhang gets ready to treat him. Zhang gets ready to treat the dog. And the dog is thinking that after they healed him he will kill them both. Bro, you don't know what is coming at you right now. The treatment begins. Zhang is thinking the puppy is getting better since it's shaking now. And the puppy is like WTF, why am I paralyzed? Now Zhang is ready to put a few more needles and the dog is seeing a grim ripper coming at him. You should have never come to a mental hospital. And now he is halfway to his death. But Lin Fan's stomach makes some sound. Zhang asks if he is hungry. Yes he is not full at all. The system notifies, I have found a living being with great energy that can ease your hunger for three days. Distance from the target zero meter, right in front of you. And the system is also showing him the best way to cook the puppy. And the puppy is scared, why is he looking at him with a terminator's eyes? The puppy is very cute, yep it is. And cuteness means it's very tasty. Bro your biggest mistake in life, coming to the mental hospital. Now the dog is terrified. What are they even talking about cute equals tasty? If there's something wrong with these humans' minds, yes absolutely right. Zhang pulls out the needles, saying he will stop the acupuncturing. There's no way to save him now. When there is no way to cure him, they shall wait till it dies and cook it. Now the dog is thinking these two must be psychos. Now you got it. Since he is a level 2 cursed beast, so without their acupuncture, he'll get better soon. Zhang is singing for the puppy after it dies rest in peace. But he is confused that the puppy isn't dying. Lin Fan tells him it doesn't matter, the wounds are bleeding and soon it will run out of blood and dies. So they just have to wait for its death. As long as it dies, they will have a late meal. But it's so small, Zhang asks Lin Fan for its one thigh and the rest, he can have it. Since he's so cute his meat must be delicious. The dog is at his limit he turned into his original form. Zhang is happy. Now it's bigger it must be enough for both of them. The dog tries to devour Zhang but Lin Fan grabs him by his fang and slams him onto the floor. The dog is like WTF, what's going on? He tries to bite Lin Fan but nothing happens to him. Zhang wants to pat him. With his big scary hand he tries to pat the dog. But he is a level 2 cursed beast how can they treat him like that? He tries to attack. Lin Fan slaps him breaking his few fangs. Lin Fan tells him that Mr. Zhang is his friend and the dog mustn't be aggressive to him. Zhang is happy to pat him and the dog is shocked to see Lin Fan's power. How can he be so powerful? Which level is this fighter? His strength must be greater than level 4. This guy is extremely dangerous. Lin Fan is starving. And Zhang wants to see the dog waving its tail. The dog has no other choice but to wave its tail. But Zhang wants to see it swirling not side to side. Poor dog has no other choice but to do as they say. He swirls his tail. Zhang is happy and since it's a nice dog, its meat must be very tasty. They were lucky that the dog turned this big otherwise. There would not be enough meat for them. Now the cute dog will be their meal. Zhang loves dog meat roasted with chilies and Lin Fan loves hot pot but the crazy lady in his head told him that it will taste better with plum wine. But there's no fire there and the president said that they should eat meat cooked well. Lin Fan suggests if they can use electricity to roast it. Yes they can. When he trained Lin Fan with electricity his meat smelled so good. This dog meat must smell good as well. And the dog is like WTF. Who am I? 
Where is this place? Am I lost in hell in humans world? Oh my goodness. They are roasting it with electricity. Warning, don't try this at home. Jang is like it's totally fine to use electricity as fire. So cool. Warning don't trust the meaningless words of this character. Other psychos are thinking that old Jang and Lin Fan are holding a party without inviting them. And Jang can smell the smell of delicious grilled meat. The dog is cursing them but at the end he lost his life in the hands of two psychos. Rest in peace little devil dog. Hope your meat will taste good. Jang is asking if it's cooked well. They cut it open and it smells good. Now they are eating it. A new nurse, Lu Jiang has come to check why the electricity on that floor shut down. And his colleagues told him to go and check room 666 right after the blackout. He peeks inside the room and saw two psychos eating a big dog. He is terrified seeing that the thing they are holding is a head and the two of them are like wish up one and join. He falls on the ground trembling and runs screaming please save me. The patients are eating human flesh. Mr. Shi and the other nurses are taking him to the psycho's room to confirm what he just saw. When they come inside the room, the two of them are sleeping quietly. But Mr. Shi gets shocked and asks what is this? They replied casually, it's a dog's fur mat. Yep a dog's fur mat. But wait a sec, where is it intestines and all? Mr. Shi is shocked to see a level 2 cursed beast's fur there and asks them, what did you do? They replied just slept. Just slept, didn't get out of your bed. No just slept. But the nurse saw them crunching ahead. Mr. Shi gets mad and asks Lin Fan what is he hiding in the blanket. He removes the blanket, saying report to the president nothing. He tells him to take it out it's shining. What is it? Something is shining in his ding dong. It's a flashlight. He looks at the fur and asks about this. But Lin Fan tells him it's time to go to bed good night. What a headache for Mr. President, who is only 54 years old. They leave the room and they both gets up. Zhang asks him if he is full, and he is. But he has a question. Why does the president always know that he is hiding something? However, he doesn't know about his needle, because he hides them in his hair. Now Lin Fan is thinking to grow his hair long to hide things. The system congratulates for consuming level 2 cursed beast. Receive, enhance perfect vision, fatigue plus 20, strength plus 20, speed plus 20. The body has received the energy, which detains the side effect, ultimate hunger 3 days. Next, Cyclopu is thinking when he caught that damn cursed beast, he'll skin it and crush its bone into dust. He gets a call from Mr. Shi informing him that his patients have killed the cursed beast that he's been looking. And if he doesn't believe him he can just come and confirm himself. He opens the window and jumps out of the window. It's midnight but he still jumps out of the window to meet an old man. Is he insane? Next, the new nurse. Who saw them eating the head has come out to look for it if they have hidden it somewhere outside. But gets shocked to see the skull. He never expected the skull to be that big. What's more shocking is that the skull disappears right in front of his eyes. Actually, he looked away for a second. He pass out where he was standing. Mr. Shihu has find out from the CCTV footage that the monster had come out from the suet. But what a careless beast, didn't even close the hole. The skull comes flying toward him. Oh, it's Cyclop and he was looking for that dog beast. But how did it die? But Mr. Shi has already told him. He thinks it is impossible for ordinary people to kill a cursed beast even a psycho. But he's not ordinary at all, take a look at his report. Cyclop is surprised to see the report. He tries to kill himself every day but never succeeded instead becomes stronger. Bro the word you said tried to kill, it means a training for him. Cyclop is still surprised that the one patients in room 666 killed that cursed beast, according to the CCTV, that's it. But how come they can do that? Mr. She have no idea. And what's more surprising is that they ate the cursed beast already. They ate it? Yeah they did. Cyclop wants to see them thinking that these two must be talented. Next, Jang and Lin Fan are competing. Who blinks first will lose. Jang asks Lin Fan to blink his eyes first. He can't hold them any longer. Lin Fan blinks and he lost. Jang starts to jump saying you blink first so Lin Fan has lost. Cyclop and Mr. Shi is watching them. Cyclop who is thinking, looking at the sun directly can harm the retina but this guy. Warning do not look directly at the sun it can harm your eyes. He thinks Lin Fan maybe be gifted. He asks Mr. Shi if he can figure out that those guys are gifted. Will he leave them to him? Mr. Shi with a blush face asks, hey can you be more serious? He will be the happiest person in the world if the two headaches of his leave his hospital. He tells him there's no need to ask instead he will even give him the white-haired guy, the only criterion that he mustn't return him. And he'll have to make a commitment that in case of unexpected accidents, their hospital will take no responsibility. Cyclop is thinking if Mr. Shi is worried about them that they might get hurt in his place. But bro you are getting it all wrong. But Mr. Shi is worried about the Cyclops staffs. He tells him that currently the cursed are wandering out in the city and their numbers are increasing and the numbers of fighters are decreasing and if these two psychos have the potential of a fighters, he will treat them well. And the cursed beast after getting intelligence, they know how to disguise themselves as a pet and hide among humans. And he is a fighter defending the city. 
He will stop them no matter what. But one's power is limited. The more fighters he trains the safer the city becomes. He asks the two psychos. You two ate the level 2 cursed beast didn't you? They are using their telepathy. And tells him they didn't eat it. It killed itself. They don't know anything. Cyclop attacks Lin Fan but he didn't even budge. Cyclop is surprised that Lin Fan didn't respond to his attack and thinks he can reach level 3 max. Jang tells Lin Fan that the one-eye guy appears to want to train you. Looking at them with cute face. They are like you're a good man. But he doesn't suit him because he lost one eye. It will be difficult for him to teach Lin Fan. Jang gets ready to heal his eyes so he can train Lin Fan. Cyclop is shocked. Thinking are they talking about those suicide behaviors as training. Jang tells him that Ling Fan is very strong and what he needs right now is leveling up. And when he heals Cyclops eye, they can train together. And Elder Jang knows how to do acupuncture. His skills are very great. He can definitely heal his eye. Jang is jumping around asking if he want to try. Cyclop who is thinking that even the doctor at national level couldn't claim that they were able to heal his eye. But it doesn't bother him to play some acupuncture games with these psychos. He is ready. Bro that was a big mistake to listen to some psychos. My man you shouldn't have done that. He has already been stabbed and now he is feeling something. Galaxy lifting technique. Level up. The half of the Milky Way skill. Cyclop is asking, why is there a name? The half of the Milky Way. Well because, he's been researching for years with the experts nearby. Then he came out with this technique. And whoever receives his acupuncture said it was good. Lin Fan the only person who takes his acupuncture. Now he's feeling bit numb. He thought it was just their joke that's why he didn't activate his protective layer. Bro that was a big mistake. Zhang stabs another one. Half of the Milky Way skill. 13th needle. Now he is feeling something is getting into his brain. He passes out and almost fall on his head but Lin Fan catches him. Zhang is thinking if something is wrong with his. The half of the Milky Way skill. But now he has made some modifications. The second time must be better and ask Lin Fan to try it. He's ready. But he is confused Lin Fan also pass out. He is thinking I have to make more experiments. But who shall I do the experiment on? Oh my goodness. He did it on himself and now he is out too. Mr. She is surprised. Where did he hide those needles for years? And now even the national level fighter was beaten by them. The emergency corridor. The phone rings and it's a special ringtone. Everyone is terrified. Mr. She calls Huatan Hospital and the man is the phone. Got it the ambulance is on the way. He tells him to arrange two ambulances. There are three injured people. They arrive in the nick of time. Take them away in the nick of time. They made it in the nick of the time. The driver of the ambulance, who just as his eyes operation is going to drive, they are shocked and worried. But his driving skills are marvelous. He drives while making a S on the road. They are shocked that the driver knows what he's doing. Next, the doctor from Huatan Hospital. He is thinking shall I pretend to make an unexpected event and kill these two bastards, but slaps himself for thinking like that. But they are such a pain in the ass. He calls Mr. Shi for sending them there just after two days. Mr. Shi tells him to let them be hospitalized longer so that they don't need to get in or get out. He gets mad for talking like that. Mr. Shi tells him not to get mad and he has sent a small gift of token. And now he is happy. Now Mr. Shi is like, alright, just let them be in your place for several days. Don't reject or I'll accuse you of getting a bribe. This message is the valid evidence. He is F up. The system, congratulation on reaching level SS, acquiring SS defensive skill, increase 100% growth rate. Do you want to change? The host mind is unstable. The system is going to choose the optimized solution. Two nurses are talking about a patient who passed out at the King Shen Mental Hospital. And he is the new staff Liu Zhang, who was shocked to pass out at the King Shen Mental Hospital. And his girl is feeding him. She is getting fat but he doesn't mind it. But in five months she will be slim again. He is grateful that Uncle Wang introduced her to him. She is happy and when she gets home, she will help him thank Uncle Wang. Does any one of you, are you getting NTR vibe from her? And after running a check he found out they can't have a child. They can adopt a child. He likes to adopt a daughter, but she likes son as she wishes. They will adopt a son. The doctor informs him that he is fine now. As long as there is no more shock, he can go home this afternoon. The nurse informs the patients are awakened. They bring Lin Fan into the same room with the new staff. He gets terrified after seeing Lin Fan and passed out. System congratulates the host on acquiring Attack Kai training method. Attack Kai training method is powerful but its requirements are so strict. The host reached the late stage of Jin Jai in two days. Lin Fan wakes up and the new staff is begging the doctor to move him to another room. Their eyes met and he's passed out again. Cyclop, who is thinking, with my current power, even a bullet can hardly hurt me but I end up passing out due to a psycho's acupuncture. I'm the strongest one in this city, how could a psycho make me hospitalize? Jang is thinking it's such a shame that he hasn't healed his eye yet. If only he could try several times, he thinks he'll make it. One eye is ready for one more time. Jang is happy that he's such a kind man. 
and this time he will get his eye healed. Next thing, the nurses are screaming. The patient's heartbeat is decreasing. Inform the doctor to be ready for the emergency. Lin Fan is telling Zhang, he'll be okay this time. One Eye is thinking that he passes out again his needles made him like that. Zhang is apologizing, but he thinks this time he can make it but now he must not believe him. One Eye is ready. With the teary eyes he tells Lin Fan that One Eye really trusts him. He wants to make sure that it was because of Zhang's needles. Now it's a matter of his pride, and Zhang is telling him, this time he'll make it. Again the nurses scream. His heart nearly stops beating, informs the doctor for the emergency. And Lin Fan is telling him that One Eye is very strong, he will survive. And the nurse is searching for the needles. This time even leg is contemporarily paralyzed. His pride is hurt that he got paralyzed because of a psycho. Zhang is sad that One Eye is so frustrated that he doesn't trust him anymore. And Lin Fan is like, I don't think so. I think he's like me always trusting you. No bro this time it's different. You two crazy psycho can just stay away from him. He has done more than enough experiments that he needed. Next, the two of them are drinking some kind of drink but its taste is not good. They want to buy coca and Sprite but they don't have any money. They look at the one eye, who has been shocked to pass out several times. Zhang asks him if he wants to buy his watch, it's a Rolex. He doesn't know how much he loves his watch but he will sell it to one eye because he's really a good man. He looks at his very expensive Rolex watch. He doesn't want his watch, just wants to know how they killed the cursed beast and will give them the money. They tells him that the dog was cute and even listens to every word of Lin Fan. He even grilled himself. He gets mad saying the dog kill himself to let you eat him. They are like yup. He was such a nice dog and his meat smells good. And the spirit of the dog is like, F, you shameless devils. How can he believe something so stupid? But never mind. What was he expecting from psychos like those guys? Chang is like who are the psycho he's talking about? Himself. Since they told him how did they dog die, they ask for the money. He gives them a card with 50,000 yuan in it. He doesn't have any family and money is just a number to him. They give the card back saying this is not money. He tells them to take that card and go to the bank to get money. Bro, are you expecting two psychos to go to the bank to get money? They throw the card saying, he fools us. He doesn't want to give us money, he's terrible and selfish. Next, a level 2 cursed mystic snake, who has heard the news that the two people who devoured the dog are in that building but it senses the presence of a powerful fighter. So it changes its mind to wait for the two people to come out. But he saw something interesting in the jungle. The man leaves after finishing his business and the snake gets ready to eat the woman. After sensing the energy of the cursed dog the snake hides again. It's coming from the two psychos and the woman is happy to find two little handsome boys. They are looking for a place to buy coca and Sprite. The woman calls them. They ask the woman where they can buy coca and Sprite and something to eat as well. Looking at them holding hands, she asks if they are gay. They have no idea what she's talking about. She notices the costume. It's from Huatan Hospital and realizes that these two must be psychos. Next we see the woman running and searching for her sister. Her sister is also a psychopath patient and a guy is bullying her. The doll she calls her son, he tears them apart. She cries saying don't hurt my son. And that son of a bitch is enjoying it. Next, she asks for their family members. For Zhang, Lin Fan is his family member. And Lin Fan, his mom has gone to a foreign country already. So Zhang is his family member now, oh and the president as well. She is feeling sorry for them and gives them her hard-earned money. But they don't need her money, they can find food on their own. She tells them to take it, she can make money easier than they think. The snake tries to bite Lin Fan but Lin Fan grabs it. And the two of them are like, what a cute snake. Wow, indeed. It's long and cute. The snake is blushing. Next, we see, the past of the snake's life. It was thinking with its tiny body the young boy must like him. It tries to approach the boy. But the boy gets scared after seeing the snake. Everyone will get scared after seeing a snake. Everyone starts to run and even hit the snake with stones. From that moment the snake turned into a bad snake. What a touching backstory like the villains from Demon Slayer. But now these two people are different and they even call it cute. Bro, you don't know what's coming for you. The system notifies. After checking, the system realized that this target can help the host ease the hunger three days. Zero meter ahead. Note, energy can be stored and time of easing hunger can be accumulated. The system also shows him how to cook the snake. And the snake is happy, thinking these two are the only ones that think I'm adorable. Lin Fan asks the woman if she can help him. Next, the neighbor are talking that their neighbor's cooking, its smell is good. And the woman is cooking something for them. Snake's meat dipped in spices liquid. The poor adorable snake has passed away from this world. Lin Fan, who was trying to cut the snake, the knife broke when he tried to cut the snake. And the poor snake is thinking why are these people who called it cute and adorable trying to kill it now Lin Fan gets ready to tear it apart with his hand. And the snake is like, stupid boy even the knife couldn't do anything. What will your hand can do? But gets its head separate from its body. She is done with her cooking and it smells good. 
She is good at cooking and her daughter really likes what she cooks. They asks her to eat together but she has already had her meal. They start to eat, and it is delicious. Next day, they are ready to leave and she even prepared them a lunch box. She tells them to hurry up and get back to the hospital. They are thanking her for the delicious soup, really great. Your daughter must be very happy when you're her mom. She smiles with a tear in her eyes saying yep my daughter is very happy. Next they are leaving and few peoples are coming. One of the guy noticed something as if he was facing a strong fighter after seeing Lin Fan, but thinks it must be his imagination. They are there to look for the snake beast and informs one eye that the beast must have died, but none of the fighter confirmed to kill that beast. Lin Fan and Jang comes with the food and tells him that he brought some really good food. He looks at the lunchbox and when they open it, his eyes get wide open, I mean his eye gets wide open, and a magic word comes out of his mouth, F, and his staffs are like white as the boss curse us. Next, one eye out the bone in some kind of a box and it shows the snake, curse beast mystic serpent level 2, and he is shocked to get that new piece of information. He asks how they killed it. Zhang tells him it was a cute snake which was close to us, and Lin Fan is like, it curls around my arm and let me eat it. It was truly an adorable snake and its meat is very tasty. And now the dog has got a new partner, he's not alone now. One Eye gets mad and he doesn't believe them. Zhang is like he's so aggressive and Lin Fan is like, the president said that psychos are tend to be aggressive, I hope that he will get better soon. At night One Eye is thinking how did these two psychos kill two cursed beasts? He hears a sound. Zhang is ready to cure him with his upgraded technique. Lin Fan believes he can do it. Zhang is ready to stab his needles but it's too dark, he can't see very clearly. Lin Fan tells him, you have researched acupuncture for years, I think you can do it. I trust you. He starts to stab and Cyclop is feeling, it's much stronger than before. Now the last needle remains but a nurse comes and he missed it. And One Eye, who is feeling like he is about to die, had no choice but to ask for help from the nurse, then pass out. The nurse screams, murder, two psychos are killing the other patient. Doctors rush him to the operation room. Zhang is sad he put the last needle in a wrong place. Lin Fan tells him it's okay. There is still hope. They both are tied up. There is still hope as long as he survives. The doctors are shaving Cyclops' head and are ready for the operation. But gets shocked, he opens his one eye. The doctor is relieved that he woke up. Otherwise, it will be a trouble if he woke up in the middle of the operation. But the nurse had injected him with an anesthetic. The doctor asks him if he wants to go back to his room. Though they're all psychos, his symptom is much milder. He tends to be harmed by the other two. He looks at him with a Terminator's eye. The x-ray shows that his backbone has been recovered. He turns his head to the one eye but he has already gone. Next morning, sun is shining both inside and out. And he is looking at the person who made him collapse three times. He the leader of the special squad. Now he will never believe him, even if he forgets, his hair will remind him. Lin Fan wakes up and tells him he is strong. And next time, Mr. Zhang will heal him, he can look forward for it. He looks at him and with that look, I don't think he will ever believe him. He opens the window saying goodbye and never see you again. He jumps out the window and landed perfectly. Wait he didn't land like a superhero. Showing them his middle finger, he calls Mr. President and tells him that he cannot take the two psychos. Mr. President's hopes has been ruined. The doctor of Huatan Hospital is informing Mr. President that one of his patient has jumped out the window and ran away but he might be okay. Mr. President tells him not to worry. He is not worried. The reason he's calling him is, he ran away but he hasn't paid the fee. Mr. President cut the call saying I don't know you. You've mistaken. Next, they are in the ambulance that is taking them back to their hospital. Zhang is sad that one eye survives but left without saying goodbye. Lin Fan tells him he did say goodbye and he did say something else. Zhang is thinking, will he let him make acupuncture on him next time? Yeah, he will. He believes in you. He saw the apple and asked Lin Fan to get it. He easily broke the strap and get the apple they both eat the apple which is very tasty. The driver is telling the doctor that he is such a dedicated doctor. He always drive the ambulance to take them back because he doesn't feel relieved unless he drives them back. He breaks the ambulance suddenly. Why did he stop the ambulance? Next, the first harbor of Yenhai City, Cursed Beast Level 4 Octopus has appeared and fighters are fighting with it. The octopus releases its black fog and after seeing it, they realize that it's not a level 4 but a level 5 cursed beast. The girl tells them to retreat that fog is dangerous and touching it means death. They starts to run. One guy almost gets engulfed by the fog but gets covered by a shield and he's safe. Their boss has come and he is not in a good mood. They are happy to see their boss there. And their boss, wait his look kinda reminds me of Nick Fury. And they are surprised that their boss has changed his hairstyle. He uses his Buddha Dragonic blow and attacks the beast. Next, in the bridge, the doctor is confused why there's a traffic jam on the bridge. Everyone starts to run, screaming, run, run now, the cursed beast is ahead. A guy comes flying and slam on their ambulance. They are shocked. One eye, who has defeated the cursed beast. 
he can still sense the energy wave. A guy comes rushing and informs him that they let one cursed beast run away and it's running toward the highland of the city. In the bridge, people are running to save their life and two psychos inside the ambulance. Lin Fan is feeling hungry again. And the psycho in his head said that the late phase of breaking stage requires loads of energy he can't understand. He's still hungry. The system, you're the psycho not me. What an attitude. The doctor is trying to save the guy and he's asking the driver to bring the first aid kit. The driver is telling him that the cursed beast is coming and it will be better for them to run. He throws the watch and asks the driver to bring him the kit then run. And take good care of the watch. He tells him that the guy is severely injured and if he doesn't run, he will die with him. He starts to tell him the story behind the watch. In his first operation, he saved a kid and the kid gave him the watch. From that day, he swore he will never abandon his patients. He tells him about the two patients in the ambulance. Those two don't count. The driver comes to free them, saying the cursed beast is coming. Lin Fan easily cut the strap with his bare hand. They are out and the two of them has very important question to ask. What is a cursed beast? Is it cute? And the driver is like it seems okay. But damn it's cute right? If that's so, they don't have to run, they will play with that cursed beast. The cursed beast is a level 8 octopus who is searching for his father. Lin Fan is like your daddy isn't coming, but I'm coming for you. Mr. Doctor, who is trying his best to save that guy asks his driver for two more bandages but the driver has already run away. The guy tells him to leave him and run away but the cursed beast has already come to take their life. He ha ha ha, but he's a doctor he can't leave him like that. The octopus seeing that there is still two human left. It tries to attack them but its attack stops, because someone is pulling it back. The octopus is confused, wait. They fall off the bridge. The doctor, who is trembling, surprised to see nothing happen. And what more surprising is the driver has brought the car to take the patient to the hospital, because the ambulance can't move. The doctor he thought the driver run away. The driver tells him to stop speaking, hurry up when the cursed beast isn't there. The doctor is mad how could he set that tone for the president, but you're the vice president anyway. The octopus is confused, and Zhang also wants to play with it. Lin Fan tells him to jump over the bridge. Zhang jumps from the bridge and lands on the octopus. The octopus tries to attack him, but something happens and Zhang roll down the octopus. Since it was being aggressive to Zhang, Lin Fan tried to hold it but it was torn apart. Poor octopus calls for his daddy to save him. Zhang notices something and runs toward it. The beast attacks Lin Fan. He grabs its tentacle and pulls it apart. The octopus is in pain and it's calling for its daddy but he's already deaf. Zhang has prepared the things for roasting the octopus. The octopus is attacking Lin Fan but nothing is happening to him. Instead, he is biting its tentacles. He smells something good and even the octopus is thinking what is this good smell. Zhang is grilling the tentacles. And even the octopus is drooling over its own tentacles. But he suddenly realizes that they are roasting his tentacles. The food is ready and Lin Fan starts to eat and just in a moment, they are left with the last one. Zhang is like though this octopus has so many tentacles, we have eaten all. But Lin Fan isn't full yet, and the octopus is left with no tentacles. Now they are looking at its head, which is kinda lovely, and that means they can eat it. Now they are roasting its head and not even the eyes are spared. Next Cyclop and his men are searching for the cursed beast. The guy tells him he can sense the remained energy wave, and it's under the bridge, and two guys are sleeping there soundly. The guy tells him the energy wave disappeared completely and there are only two people. The guy is telling him that the last location of the energy beast was here. And one eye is looking at something else because he knows something that they don't know. The girl tells him that they should wake those two guys and ask about the beast. He yells at her saying how could you believe in psychos? A normal person will never trust a psychos like that. He is not normal I think. He believed in Zhang so many times. And if she makes this kind of suggestion again, he will shave her head. She is thinking that her boss is so knowledgeable just by looking at their clothes. He found out they are psychos. The guy asks him what should they do when they can't find that beast. One eye goes straight to the two psychos and asks them if the octopus was tasty. With a smile on their face, they replied really delicious. The cursed beast appears to be found. The case is closed. Next, Cyclops and his colleagues are having a meeting regarding the increase of intelligence of the cursed beast. And one eye is thinking how did they kill that beast and should he train them. But gets scared after thinking about Zhang and his needles. He'd better forget about it. Everyone is shocked by looking at his expression. The red hair woman, she's the leader of the strategy department, asks Cyclop if he is doubting her analysis and arrangement. He is confused because he wasn't listening to what they were talking. She tells him that the trainee from the four academies and all of them will move to the King Shan Mental Hospital to enhance their mental power in one month. 
While putting her hand on his shiny head, she asks if he has any questions. Since she is the top class tactician of the headquarter, no one questions her. Cyclop tells them it's a difficult trial. She was thinking he would say it was way too easy. She tells them they should have the strong mental power to fight with their enemies. Since the enemies are like psychos, they are so unpredictable. So before entering the real war, they should train at the mental hospital. One Eye, who now thinks that psychos are too scary and the others are convinced by the top class tactician. She tells them the way the cursed beast are moving. It seemed like a cursed beast with a Hayek is leading the low cursed beast. And no one knows how high the leading cursed beast level is. They need more information. Three days later, we see the peaceful life of two cute husband and wife and but a big hand monster comes to destroy their peaceful life. The monster takes away the husband, trying to separate them but the husband comes back to his wife. The white monster takes away the husband again. Lin Fan comes shouting Mr. Jang. He throws the ant far away from his wife again. He tells Lin Fan he found an ant that can get back to its home no matter how far he puts away. Such a miracle, it's truly a miracle. He tells Lin Fan that after eating the octopus he slept for three days like a pig. And Lin Fan is like three days, am I a real pig? Lin Fan tells him that the psycho in his mind said something like forcing into sleeping mode can help him break through the limit. Just now it said that he reached teal level, and he wants to try his strength. The poor ant has returned back home from his long journey. Lin Fan uses his force and with his only one finger he breaks the big tree. Zhang is happy that Lin Fan has gotten stronger, and the tree falls on the poor ant again. Now even the ant is cursing them. Zhang tells him that he has become strong because of his galaxy circulation technique. Lin Fan also agrees, and the poor system that does all the hard work doesn't have any words to say. The wife ant is crying because she lost her husband but no worries she still has many. The nurses are surprised how did the big tree collapse. Oh my god, where they have come, man. Zhang asks him if he really want to try it. Yes the psycho in his head said it's okay. And Zhang is like, when it's a psycho, according to the president, we can't trust it. But Lin Fan trust him and Zhang trust him too. Now the question is how will they get up there? Lin Fan jumps and reaches the top. Zhang is surprised that Lin Fan can jump so high wonderful. But a doctor notices them. Lin Fan tells Zhang that right now he is feeling the great flow of power in his body. Warning, this behavior is as dangerous as committing suicide. The doctor calls Mr. President that they've got trouble. And Mr. President is like room number 666 right, the ambulance is coming. But the doctor tells him, this time how about a tomb in Beihe graveyard? Boom, a big blast. And Lin Fan is being sent flying and falls on the ground, the grass gets burned too. The nurses stops other from approaching him, he still has electricity on his body. But Zhang comes to see his dying friend. But Lin Fan stops him, he's still okay, and still alive, just a little bit tired and needs some sleep. Zhang tries to touch his hand but without even touching he gets sent flying. But why does it looks like he is faking? The doctor tells Mr. President, shall we wait for the ambulance or bury them anyway? Next, the doctor is crying. He's a doctor, not a god, though the device did show that there is a sign of living, 90% of his body was burned. The nurse informs Mr. Vice President that the doctor can't do this operation. Mr. Vice President is ready to do it. Ten hours later, the operation is successful and the nurse informs him that the president of King Shan Mental Hospital has come. He gets mad after hearing about him. He just returned them for three days but they ended up being here again. And the president even let them play with electricity. Three days. Lin Fan was sleeping for whole three days so just after he woke up, he ended up in their hospital again. He yells at Mr. President and tells him to pay the fee including the one he didn't pay before. With a smile on his face Mr. President tells him that he has come today to make a membership card in their hospital. Hearing the word card, his eyes turn red and he takes the fire extinguisher and gets ready to kill Mr. President. But his nurses stop him and he is ready to make him a card on his own. But he falls asleep since he was working for 10 hours straight. And Mr. President is like I just want to make a card to save some money. Is it wrong? Next morning, Zhang, who just passed out because of the electric shock, he's totally unscathed. The system, congratulations master, you've trained your body successfully. The practice of Kai has reached the intermediate level. Lin Fan wakes up, the system notifies. The practice requires the partitioners maintain a calm mind and stay away from the hustle bustle of life. You're the one that can get this practice in the shortest time. Moreover, the side effect of the refined body is the refreshment of your skin the skin of perfection. Zhang wake up and he's happy to see Lin Fan who is glowing up right now. The nurse is shocked. They are surprised. How did he recover so fast in his skin, fair skin, so smooth, it's glowing, I really love it. They are like, wait, who is he again? Next, one eye, got the news of two psychos climbing the electricity tower, seeking their death. He thinks he should go and attain their funeral, but gets a call from the money lover and he's shocked to hear that they survive. Even a level 3 fighter would have died but they survive. 
they must be level 4 or above level 4. And powerhouses possessing level 4 talent deserve cultivation. Mr. President is happy. Now one I will definitely take them. The nurse asks him that. He was there to make a membership card but why are you leaving? He is like never mind. Mr. Vice President has been working for the whole night. He needs some sleep. Next the NTR wife is feeding her husband something. He looks at her bag which is not in good condition. But she is fine with it. Such a nice wife saving her husband money. He gives her a card to buy a new bag for herself. She takes the card saying Uncle Wang wants to visit him. And he also wants to thank him for introducing such a good girl to him. She blushes saying I'm not good like you said. Yes bro she is not. Safe yourself bro. Next we see Uncle Wang who has come to visit La Yang. The innocent husband. But Uncle Wang is not feeling good after he ate loads of fish. Cursed beast level 3 parasitic fly. He has eaten the fish along with a fly. He is there because he wants the innocent husband to raise his child. Now the confusion is cleared the NTR wife is having an affair with this fatso uncle. Wings start to sprout from his back. The nurse notices him. She yells monster. He has turned into a fly-like monster. The fly monster attacks the nurse, sending her flying inside one of the patient's room. My goodness, he was looking for his grim reaper. He grabs the nurse by her neck and ready to cut her throat. Everyone is running to save their life from the monster. But our expert acupuncturist stabs him with his needle, saying you're fatally sick and need to be treated. The fly throws the nurse and tries to attack Zhang but Lin Fan blocks it. Zhang tells Lin Fan to ask the man whether he wants to receive his treatment. He wants to cure him. Breaking his bones he asks if he wants to receive Mr. Zhang's treatment. The monster tries to attack Lin Fan with his wing. Lin Fan grabs the wing and pulls it out. Lin Fan is like you're severely injured. Do you want Mr. Zhang to heal you? My goodness. After tearing at wings apart, he is telling him that he is severely injured. He grabs him and he's like, you should let him treat. No, you must let him treat you. Holding the monster by its neck, Lin Fan tells Zhang that it's ready for his treatment. Zhang asks him why is he holding him like that. Well, because he did hold that woman like that, maybe this is his favorite. Zhang gets ready to treat him. He starts to stab him with his needles. The half galaxy transporting, and the final needle. The monster is sensing that it's dangerous. He has never sensed such danger. He stops him by saying that. He is a parasitic fly and the body is his host. If they kill him, the host will die too. He is thinking, as long as they know that he is inside a host, they will not kill the host. And even if they decided to kill him, he can make use of the embryos he laid and the human he touched. As long as there is the food source, he can regain his knowledge and power even the original one, and become a new parasitic fly. He must be struggling to find a way to kill me to keep this human alive. The thirteenth needle, you're wrong bro. He is shocked to know that they didn't think about the human. And why are they different from the human he has met? Bro didn't get to know that they are psycho. The monster's body gets separated from the host. And the NTR wife notices something, her papa. He gets shocked to see his beautiful wife turned into an ugly monster. The card falls from her pocket. Putting his life on the line he grabs the card. And run outside the room like Flash. He closes the door but his beautiful wife starts to punch the door. The nurse asks him what is he doing there. And he knows that she's been cheating on him but he is fine with it. But, what he can't hold that she was way too ugly. She punches the door and breaks it this time. His eyes almost get outside his head. With a stunning gaze, she shouts, How could you criticize my beauty? Go to hell bastard. Mr. Vice President pulls the innocent husband back and wow, he's holding a blade. Innocent husband thanks him for coming to protect him with such a big blade. The Vice President, who was sleeping soundly in his room after a non-stop 10-hour operation, suddenly wakes up saying did I forget something. He remembers that the president of the King Shan Mental Hospital wanted to make a membership card. Looking at the blade with a Terminator's eyes, he gets ready to make the membership card for him. He notices that's a cursed beast. A guy comes rushing, shouting that he called them. They are on their way. The beast attacks, screaming go to hell. F boy. He also gets mad saying, you did cheat on me. You're not a good girl at all. Vice President saves him again. And now he is totally into him. Few talisman comes flying at her in flaming vines spell tags and binds her. The fighters are here. They all attack her. The guy with the sword pierces her throat. The special squad comes and check the dead body. It's a level 2 cursed fly. The guy tells them that. They checked over a level 3 cursed fly which may be this one's father. Please hunt it down. The device, warning high energy wave has been spotted. They are shocked to see the stomach of the dead body. And the current team can't handle it. Reinforcement needed. The beast comes out of the stomach. They are all terrified to see the monster in front of their eyes. Everyone is running and the two psychos too. The beast comes out of the building to get its revenge. Jang tells him they should help the injured. Why run? Lin Fan tells him to look. Level 7 Cursed Beast, Ancient Parasitic Fly. And he is reborn again to get his revenge. Jang asks him if he wants him to look at that big fly. And Lin Fan is like, yep look at it. Is it a bit cute? 
ready for the feast. Ten minutes before the level 7 beast appeared, Zhang is crying, why did that guy die after his treatment? And something is coming out of his body. Lin Fan tells him not to worry and next time try even harder. And the cursed dog has got more member in his team. Zhang is sad because the president said murdering is illegal. And now he is going to be arrested. Lin Fan tells him that we both treated him together so I'll be with you. And Uncle Wang is like, let me see how you can take responsibility for this. Lin Fan breaks the glass saying just run. They all spout blood. This is your responsibility, isn't it? Zhang is ready to run, since escaping is really fun for them. The nurse thanked them for saving her life. Lin Fan jumps out of the window. Wait, that's a superhero landing. He looks left and right, and calls Zhang to jump. Death doesn't matter. Everyone is running, screaming, a cursed beast, a very horrible cursed beast. But no one noticed the two murderers who were hiding in the bushes. After the level 7 beast appears, the special squad energy wave detecting center. The system detect the level 7 cursed beast in the hospitalization area of Hugh and Diane Hospital. And the current team is just at level 4, which isn't enough reinforcement needed. One eye gets ready to go and help them but red hair stops him, saying, the level 7 beast didn't appear for no reason, and he as a national level fighter has to defend this center, and let them go, the special squad, level 8 fighters Tian King team, they just got back from the mission. Next, Zhang is asking if Lin Fan is hungry again. The system notifies, the energy that can ease is hunger for 7, and it even shows the best way to cook it. The bald guy tells them to run, the cursed beast attacks them but with one finger he breaks the monster's head. The bald guy is shocked and confused at the same time. Zhang is surprised to see that attack. Lin Fan acquired after sleeping for three days. The system, the power of this attack equals to one of the full power attack of the level 9 fighter in this world. The host's mind is so strong that the power of this strike is much greater than usual. He tells Zhang that the psycho in his mind tells him that if he wants to use this attack he has to touch the target. The system, yes the first step is to stock power. The next one is to touch the surface and release them. Please keep in mind. But it's too high, how is he going to touch it? Like this, he jumps like a superman, and crush the other head too. The bald guy is shocked, he is so strong and who is he? Lin Fan is flying in the air. He lands, though it's not a superhero landing. He looks cool showing his butt to us. The monster attacks him but he dodges all the attacks. The system activates the level S defense, the diamond body. The monster attacks didn't do any damage to him. He blocks the monster hand and punch it breaking it few fingers. And Zhang is like Lin Fan. You think this fly is cute, don't you? But it is too ugly. He's like our ideas are different. Shall we have a fight? Is he hungry that he wants to eat this ugly big fly? But I don't want. It's too ugly. Lin Fan defeated the monster. And Zhang tells him. I think it's too ugly. Not cute at all. Am I different from you? He throws the monster saying I do think so. That it's ugly. And the system is like. Huh. The energy is so great. Don't you want it, my host? You're wasting it. Though it is a fly, it tastes wonderful. My host, my host. That's the level 7 energy, level 7. You can ease your hunger for 7 days. What an abnormal host. The system can't understand. Next the fighter are trying their best to protect the people. Their device notifies that the parasitic fly has been slain. They are getting ready to continue their escape. The system, I'm the brave system. Though the host is a lunatic, I can make him a great host. The host, you'd better consider eating that fly. Don't be afraid of its appearance, moreover. Lin Fan falls on the ground. When you use that strike you consumed all the energy. You need some more. Zhang is crying. Other fighters arrive there. They asks what happened and where is the level 7 cursed beast. They finds the beast which is already dead. Level 8 fighter of Chan King team. Attacker Huo Fang and Enchanter He Duote are confused. Who killed that cursed beast? A girl. Healer of the team. Zhuo Zio Zio is checking Lin Fan and finds his mind is empty. She tells Zhang that his friend will soon wake up. She checks Zhang and finds out that his heartbeat is like that of an old man. The other guys move to save more people. The bald guy, special squad level 4 fighter Liu Jin tells her that's the guy who killed that beast. She tells him to stop talking and starts to heal her. She helps him lays near the tree, then leaves. The nurses are helping the injured people. A guy tells Zhang that they are going to help severely injured people, so if they like, they can call someone to take them home. Lin Fan wakes up. Zhang is happy that Lin Fan has finally woken up. Lin Fan asks, there are so many people, did they come to arrest us? Zhang totally forget that he caused the death of a guy when he treated the guy. And the bald guy is calling them. Now the two murderers are ready to escape again. The bald guy keeps calling them, but no one notices. The two murderers disappeared into the thin bushes. They are walking on the street and this is their first time walking on a big road. They are happy, jumping and singing. We are best friends, scaring other people walking on the street. Next, the two of them are near the bridge, talking about the place where they grilled the octopus and it was taste. 
Even Uncle Wang is like. They're indeed true a grilled octopus is really delicious. And the octopus is like. WTF did you say? And the octopus is also like. Humans taste very good no matter what form they are. Man he ate Uncle Wang's soul. Zhang notices something and it's a boy being tied up in a car. The kidnapper is telling his father that they have kidnapped his son and to confirm. He gives the phone to his son to talk to him. He asks for 5 million and the boy is like, just 5 million? Don't you know the market? The guy who kidnapped me before wanted at least 100 million. So you guys will need at least 500 million. His partner agrees with the little boy. Now he is asking to prepare for 500 million. The price in the market has changed. He even suggests them to make a deadline and threatened his father that I'll take your son eyes. And if they dares to report to the police, he has his spies in the police, so don't even think. But he doesn't have any spies in the police. He tells him it's a strategy to deceive others. Now he is finished with his demand. All they have to do is wait for the money. The boy tells them that their phone call was so long and there's a location detector at his house. The kidnapper gets mad. He tells them not to blame on him when their phone call lasts for 47 minutes and 8 seconds. He is shocked. How did he know that? He's like, when you shut the phone, you showed me the screen. The guy gets mad and ready to shoot him. His partner stops him saying he is worth 500 million. And the boy is like, they still have 8 minutes and 37 seconds left. Zhang comes saying are you guys arguing? They are shocked like who the hell is he? The guy shoots at Zhang but Lin Fan catches the bullet with a bare hand like the Superman of Psychos. Lin Fan tells him that it's a gun and if he gets shot, it'll hurt him so bad. Zhang asks him to avenge him and hit him a bit and remember to control his power. He's super strong now and killing is illegal, they still need to escape. The kidnapper is shocked to see Lin Fan stop the bullet with his bare hand. Lin Fan punch him sending him flying out of the vehicle along with the door. He falls in the water and his lakey goes to save him. The boys ask them to take the rope off. He realizes that this two are not normal and after looking at their clothes, he finds out they are from King Shan Mental Hospital. Lin Fan is feeling hungry and the system is like, there was a level 7 cursed beast for you to consume before, but you rejected. It is on the way to the lab so there is no way you can eat it. Since they saved him the boy invite them to eat something and they left. The police and special forces have come to rescue the boy. They ask the goggle about the boy and he's like a handsome boy was taken away by two people in patient's clothes. And when his brother tried to stop them, they even hit him like this. The guy wakes up and goggles stump on him to stops him from talking. The officer notices that his voice sounds something familiar. Other officer has been spotted the target and now they will be on their way to rescue. And the two kidnappers are saved. Next, a bald guy is telling them. The man who killed the beast was so strong just like their boss. A guy named Wang Liu, the striker of the team asked him about the master he told them. They ignored him and run away. But he remembers their appearance, so he's ready to make their portrait. He starts to make and show them his great artwork. They are all surprised because the drawing was out of this world. Next, they are having their meal in a five-star restaurant. The waitress are thinking if they are even going to pay. Two of them look like a psycho and a child. One waitress know the logo on their costume. It's from King Shan Mental Hospital, they're really psychos. They must guarantee their safety. If they don't pay the bill they will call the police. Lin Fan is still hungry after eating all those plate. The system, when you unlock the inner space, your power has considerably increased. However, the side effect is ultimate hunger. Normal food can't ease the hunger at all. You deserve it when you reject that fly. Zhang is full and stuffed. He tells the boy to call him Mr. Zhang like Lin Fan does. And Lin Fan is Lin Fan. The boy name is Zion Zio Bei. They can call him Zio Bei. And Lin Fan is not full yet they order more and more. The waitress is shocked that he ate 7 tables of food alone. Now the matter isn't if they can pay the bill but if he dies because of eating too much, the restaurant have to take responsibility. Lin Fan tells them that the psycho in his mind told him that no matter what he would never be full, he doesn't want to eat anymore. Zhang whisper loudly that Sai Obei invited them to a meal and if he's not full, it's considered as the fact that he hasn't invited them yet. Well, I don't think brother, after eating that much, he would think like that. The waitress calls the police but the bill is successfully paid. Zhang had seen a place that is very funny on a TV and wants to go and play. And Zio Bei is ready to take them there to play some video games. Zhang is playing with Bei but he cannot win against him and ask Lin Fan to avenge him. He also lost against the mighty warrior Zio Bei. And Zio Bei is on his high horse that he can't even lose a single game. So boring. Lin Fan punched the game and it's K. Oh, it's dead. He won. Zhang is happy that Lin Fan avenge him. They won. And Bei is thinking though they are psychos, Lin Fan is super strong. Lin Fan is still hungry, tired and he's exhausted, and gets a red dot on his forehead. Bang, Lin Fan gets a headshot. They are shocked what happened, we are shocked what happened. And who shot him? The securities of Sai Obei come and surround them. Zhang is scared to get shot by gun as Lin Fan told him that it hurt so bad. Bei tries to stop them but they shoot at Zhang. 
Lin Fan pushes Zhang away and grabs the gun and bends it. Damn he looks scary right now. He grabs the security by his neck with one hand. Everyone points guns at him. The guy who shot him in the head is terrified to see him standing again. Bei tells Lin to stop. They are his friends. He apologizes to Lin Fan on behalf of his securities. Since they are friends, he asks him to forgive his securities for this time. Zhang stands up and tells Lin Fan that Bei is their friend and friends should protect each other and be willing to forgive. Lin Fan let go of the securities. Since they are friends, he will forgive them and then pass out again. The system, the side effect of opening the space trigger the great hunger causing the host exhausting. The host has fallen to hibernation mode. S-level defense has been activated, which can negative physical damage from knives and guns. The acupuncturist checked him and finds out that he has just fallen asleep. Bay asks if he just sleeping. He replies, yeah, he once slept like a pig for three days. And the president told him that sleeping on the floor can make him sick. He asks Bay if he can take them back to home. The news is telling that there was a level 7 cursed beast appeared in the Hua Tian hospital and the witness told that the beast was defeated by two experts. And they are even showing the drawing that is out of this world. He tells his driver to take us to the mental hospital. The driver asks about the kidnappers, but they are just two stupid guys, don't need to make a fuss about them. Meanwhile the kidnappers, he is beating his partner because he was nearly hit to death. Next, in the special force head center, they are thinking that they have already posted the image for 12 hours but there is no report of seeing them. Red hair comes and yells at them for broadcasting such a picture. Where is your common sense? What will the public think of special force? The bald guy asks if the public are praising his artistic picture. No, they are wondering if we are insane. He is shocked, and the bald beard guy, who is thinking that he is insane for not believing in that picture. Now, he thanks God, he is still sane. She cancelled their holiday and the training session for the newbies in the mental hospital will be entitled to them. The bald guy is apologizing that the picture he drew brought trouble to them. The bald beard guy is thinking that they did that because they want to support their junior. But no, they totally believe that the picture was truly authentic but why didn't they find them out? One eye comes saying I heard you guys made a mess here. He also scolds them for posting a picture to find people. But when he took a look of the picture, he was like, why are they again? Our man knows who are those in the picture. The bald beard guy is stuck by lighting. His boss also recognizes those masters, so the one who is insane is him. Mr. President is talking to Dr. Lai the vice president about the situation of his hospital and him. He is fine and the hospital also didn't suffer that much damage and he hopes that the victims can rest in peace. He asks about the two psychos. Mr. President did ask the nurse to take them back but no one saw them. They are sad thinking that the two of them might have died. No wait, they are happy. Now that the troubles are gone from their lives, he is thinking that this is their destiny. But a nurse comes and inform him that a child had bring back the patients from room 666. He asks if they are dead. Nope still alive broken statue, such a short moment of happiness. Mr. President calls and tells Dr. Lai to make a one-year membership card for him. He tells him without those two, membership card will not bring him any benefits. He doesn't care about benefits. He just want to visit him more often. Now Dr. Lai is having his own beautiful thoughts. He's like, oh my god damn attraction. He is going to be very mad when he knows that those two are still alive. He tells Mr. President that he's straight and don't dream about their relationship. Since, he is insisting on making a card, he will tell his president to help him make a card. Mr. President thank him. He apologizes to young Master Bay for keeping him waiting, and he is thankful for bringing back his family to him. But before coming there, Bay took them to his hospital to have a check, and the report, according to it, there isn't any abnormal. But there are two unusual numbers. One, Lin Fan cells, which is more than normal people's and Jiang's bones which is different than that of a young people. The experts in his hospital make a guess that Mr. Zhang must be 100 years old. Well, Mr. President also doesn't have the record or data of Mr. Zhang's actual age. He has been in there before Mr. President became a president, and he is still the same as before but Mr. President, who is just 50, his hair has turned into white and face full of wrinkles. After that the young master leaves. Next, we see a bird flying into a cave. There it informs its boss that the fly has been killed and all his egg has been eliminated. We see a level 9 cursed beast. Water Lord and another level 9 cursed beast Icy Widow. The bird informs them that there are level 8, level 9 fighters and their boss is a national level fighter. The boss order them to let level 8 go there and check their power. The Icy Widow tells them to carry out the mission that their lord gave them. All level 8 are ready to carry out the mission and the mission is given to a level 8 cursed beast King Kong. The bird informs them that it sensed the presence of their tribe, octopus, mystic serpent and zombie dog on two humans. The icy widow is confused. Why would there be the presence of their tribe on an ordinary human's body? She tells the crow to take one level 4 and one level 5 to check on those two ordinary humans. 
Next, in the mental hospital, Zhang is thinking, why is Lin Fan sleeping like a pig again? He is sad. Mr. President comes with some workers, who he has double paid to do some works. Mr. President is telling Zhang to take care of Lin Fan until he wakes up and stay with him inside the room. And the workers are doing their works, their service very good and super fast. Then they leaves and lock them down in the room. At night one eye has come in their room to make sure they don't come out while the newbie are training there. Mr. President doesn't like the idea but after one eye slap him on his face with a check, he gets ready to cooperate. One eye is thinking that these two have great potentials and are super strong. Mr. President brings a contract of purchase and he's ready to sell Lin Fan and get Zhang free. Buy one get one free. But there hasn't been any fighter who is a patient and he will think about it. Next day, Mr. President is welcoming the Tian King team and they are all showing him the utmost respect to the legendary president. And newbies are happy that they are going to be trained by Tian King team. But why are they so respectful toward the president? They are ready to train the newbie but the newbie doesn't know what they are going to be trained. But there are only psychos they don't have to worry. The president informs them that the team of two will take care of the patients for one month, and those will hurt them or get injured by them will be considered failing the mission. They'll need to do the entrance exam one more time. Everyone is happy thinking that it's a piece of cake for them. The system notifies, while sleeping, the host has absorbed the world's energy. High practicing eart stage has been recovered. The hunger is now contemporarily in control. The host has gone up. Jang gets happy to see him wake up. Lin Fan asks if he's been sleeping for a long time. Three days passed even pigs can't sleep like you. And Xiaobi took them home. Zhang tells him that Mr. President was very worried about him and now that he has woken up they should find him. They broke the door and the two troubles of Mr. President has come out of the room to cause more troubles. Next, Mr. President is ready to pair them up. He paired up an old man with his father a young man. The old man is happy to finally meet his father. In touching reunion of father and son, he gives him the report and info of his son. Next, the watch seller and his customer who will buy his watches every day. He is happy to have a potential customer. Next, a professor with his student. The professor asks him some questions and he doesn't know the answer. The professor doesn't want a student who doesn't read basic books. President tells him to follow the professor and beg him to instruct you. And he gives the notes to take care of his professor. Zhang thinks to meet with president. They have to stand in line. And they also join the line. Mr. President is like, oh Mr. Zhang, she is. And Zhang is like, here I am president. He is shocked and even gets a mild heart attack. She is ready to take care of Zhang and her name is Sai Olu. He also introduces himself. President stops her saying Mr. Zhang isn't the one that she can handle. But she is fine with him. Crush at first sight huh? And a bald guy whose name is Liu Kai is ready to take care of Lin Fan. Bro doesn't know he's dealing with fire here. Oh sorry, electricity. Mr. President stops them, saying they are fighters with inborn talent. Now Liu Kai is eager to learn more about them. He is thinking that he will reach level 3 after graduation but the teacher couldn't see his talent. He asks Lin Fan to hit him. His golden armor has reached level 3 so he can't injure him. He asks Mr. Zhang. If that guy is asking him to hit him, it seems so. He's weird. Lin Fan punches him breaking his golden armor and almost making his intestines come out of his mouth. Next, a guy is putting up the barrier. The healer girl comes and she is not happy when their three months vacation was cancelled. He gives her the boiled egg she liked. And we are getting a beautiful romantic vibe here. Impressing a girl with an egg. He is peeling the egg for her. And the barrier is to detect the energy wave of all people inside. And if the newbies injure others, the barrier can detect and prevent them timely. Now they are in their love moment. But a guy comes flying and slams onto the barrier, disturbing the lovebird's moment. She chokes on an egg. Bro that's the wrong way to help a choking person. She is saved. And the two guys come saying how could you do such domestic violence while you guys haven't got married yet. They asks if she is fine. She is but their junior is not okay. He tells them. The president told him that the guy who hit him is a genius with gifted talent. That's why his energy barrier couldn't sense the energy wave. Meanwhile, everyone is shocked. A silent air passes by all of them. Mr. President tells him that he shouldn't hit that man that hard. Lin is like he told me to hit him, yay, yay that's right. I did heard that but, he tells him, he shouldn't hit other people like that. And if he really want to hit, hold back a bit. But he only used a small bit of his power. Now the newbie doesn't want to participate anymore, they are still too weak. The bald bearded guy recognized the two masters, and he's like I'm always different from my teammates. When I recognize the masters but why they didn't. Wait, they also recognize the two masters, and he's like ah, splendid. They recognize those masters. I'm not different from my teammates anymore. Everyone is happy to meet their long lost masters. And the guy who just got injured is confused. What masters? What level 7 cursed beast? 
But why they are in patients' clothes maybe they are in disguise. Bald bearded guy tells them they're truly mental patients, but they don't believe it. And before they came there, their boss told them to show utmost respect to the president. That's because Mr. President build this hospital for the two master so that they can practice here without any distraction. They asks if the two masters can join them. Mr. President gets an idea to let them join their special squad. This is his greatest opportunity to kick Lin Fan and Zhang out of there. They are also excited to have two masters in their team. But they doesn't want to leave their home and Mr. President will be worried about them. Putting his hand on their head, he tells them, even if he's worried about them, he knows that they wants to become stronger. So the special squad will be best place to fulfill their dreams. A touching moment the patients and Mr. President. Liu Kai is happy to see such a touching moment but the bald bearded guy reminds him that he failed the training session. He has to go back to the academy and try again next time. The girl asks Zhang if she can come to his room and take care of him. Now that they are partners, he's fine and as a token of appreciation, he'll help her with acupuncture. She is ready. She is thinking that his skill must be so great that she can enhance her inner power and reach a new higher level. She received his acupuncture and in the far away in future, people are looking at the legendary Sleeping Beauty. Her body is storage in the Dragon Kingdom's museum, one of the nine greatest in the world. Zhang is asking Lin Fan if she's okay. Will she be like this forever? Nope, she will wake up. The healer is surprised that her body is unscathed but she can't wake her up, so she fails the training as well. They are happy to have the two masters and after the training session, they will take them to the special squad. Next, the bird has found the human, who has their tribe energy in their body, and orders the big bear level 4 to investigate those two a bit. Cute bear. The crow notices the presence of a level 8 fighters and now it's thinking that it must lure the two outside first. The four of them are now tracking what their two master does in their daily life, who are playing with an ant and they thinks they are practicing by observing the nature, so marvelous. And Mr. President is thinking that they are all level 8 fighters, so nothing bad may happen. Now they are watching them drinking coca and Sprite, and they are like, drinking soya milk but calling it coca and Sprite, using their mind to change reality, so marvelous. Now they are watching them doing acupuncture, and they thinks, masters are helping each other, letting the other fall into deep sleep by using acupuncture. But the bald bearded guy is like no, something wrong. Zhang asks them if they like to take his acupuncture, he thinks it can help them to break through. The bald bearded guy is thinking that his team might not want to do so, the technique is kinda bit, but he's wrong they are ready to do it. Galaxy transition technique. They all falls into deep sleep. Zhang is thinking where did he go wrong, and asks the last man standing if he wants to try, and he is seeing a grim reaper waiting for him. He is ready to risk his life and will die with his friends. They all die together happily ever after. The crow notices the presence of level 8 fighters disappeared and order his men to investigate those two humans. The system, congratulation. The host has finished self-training level S. You can acquire level S skills in Vincible Windy form, Nimble Movement and the bonus which is 100% of growth rate. Detect the entity that can help the host to ease his hunger for 4 days, 50 meter away from the target. Next, few psychos get attacked by a big teddy and a female tiger. And the crow, who is thinking that fighters under level 5 can't detect it within 100 meter, but Shang calls it an ugly crow. The crow shouts, shit, you're ugly not me, and orders the giant bear and tiger to devour them. They charge toward Shang. System notifies, consume 20% of the storage energy to wake the host up from the coma to find food. The tiger jumps at Shang but gets hit. One hit kill. The bear attacks. Lin Fan blocks it and asks Shang if the bear is cute. And the bear is like, me, I'm cute. Yes you are. But Zhang feel like it's an aggressive one and not cute at all. The bear gets mad and start to attack again but Lin Fan blocks it and asks Zhang if its hands are cute. Looking at those paws, he thinks it's cute. The bear is happy. Next the bear is telling its boss that he wants to go to human's place to be a spy. But his boss tells him that human only thinks small bears are cute and big one are scary. Others beast makes fun of him. Next, the bear, when it was small, a boy takes it to his house and take good care of it and tells him not to let his parents see him otherwise they will send him to zoo. But the little bear killed his parent, so they will not send him to the zoo. The boy attacks the bear and tried to kill it. And now, there are still some humans who think he's cute. But next thing he finds out his hand is chopped off. One guy comes and takes the paw to the kitchen to cook it. The bear gets angry and attack but Lin Fan blocks it and hits the bear sending it flying. The crow is thinking, I will take you all back home. But the two psychos are like, this one, is it cute? Super giant adorable kitty. And now the crow is thinking that the tiger wouldn't be able to return home. The crow leaves, leaving the cute kitty behind. A skillful chef comes and tells them to leave the tiger to him. He will make the tiger's giggle stick a special dish. Lin Fan asks Zhang about the tiger's giggle stick, and it's the tiger ding dong. But they think the tiger's whole body is cute, 
and are ready to go to the kitchen and make a special dish. And the families are welcoming the new member. The skillful chef uses his mystic blade from nine heavens, scaring other chefs. He chopped of the tiger's ding doll. The soul have finally leave the body, and they have a new family member, it's their fifth brother. The food is ready. P.S. Cursed beasts are different from animals. The chef has brought Mr. President. They are shocked to see the sight. Some has become more that psycho and some are pass out. He asks the two if they are okay. The system, congratulation. The host has just regained energy and acquired the level S body, vitality, plus 55, strength plus 55, speed plus 55, which can ease the side effect on equals F the inner space that produce 8 days of the great hunger. Jang tells him, after eating the tiger they all became like that. He looks at the skillful chef. The chef tells him he didn't do anything. Those two are the ringleader. But you're the one who cooked it. Where do the ingredient come from? Lin Fan and Jang brought it. He is innocent. Mr. President tells him if he can work in the kitchen. They can deal about it later. But without luxurious ingredients, he will never cook. He yells at him, using them are illegal. He tells the nurse to take the one that are passes out to Hua Tian Hospital. Thankfully he has subscribed for one year membership. He tells the two to not let the others to eat what they killed. Next, the four have finally woken up. What is more surprising is, they all have become level 9 powerhouses. With just one acupuncture the expert made them level 9, is he a god? The guy starts to check his new level of power, and a bird comes flying and informs them to return them to the base immediately. It's an urgent mission. They are thinking about what could urgent mission mean, but never mind they are level 9 now. Next, Red Hair tells them, they detect the energy wave of a level 8 cursed beast. One level 7 before and now level 8. Cursed beasts are showing up more frequently recently. She shows them the spot, the protective forest of Yanhai City. But this could be a trap because they deliberately showed themselves. That's why they can assign low-level powerhouses for this task. It's a scouting mission but no worries they are level 9 now. She is shocked. How did they reach level 9? It's because of the master's support. She can't run a check right now. So she asks one eye. If it's true, he can feel the energy wave is stronger than that of a level 8. They are level 9 now. She is relieved. With level 9 power, they can flee safe and sound, even if it's a trap. They will complete the mission and come back unscathed and after that, they will nominate two masters for them. One Eye is thinking they can retreat safe and sound as long as there aren't any level 9. But he suddenly realizes that they return from the mental hospital and the master they just mentioned. Yeah bro, you got it right, they are the two monsters, you are thinking. Next, they have come to the protective forest, but they are not catching any energy of any beast. The bald-bearded guy notices something soft is touching his face. It's a water veil. The inborn skill of water-based cursed beast can prevent all the energy waves so that they can hide. The device notifies. Level 6, 7, 8, 9 cursed beast detect. Warning. The energy wave is too strong. The current team can't handle. Please retreat. The man tells them to run. They starts to run. Their device get pierced by something. The control room lost their connection. Level 9 cursed beast ice fox damsel has come. They are shocked to see level 9 cursed beast with ice-based gifted ability. It will be difficult for them to handle her. She starts to attack with her ice. The ball guy uses his golden protection. The ices couldn't penetrate the shield. The healer uses her healing pill to heal him. Another level 5 cursed beast. Iron Peck Woodpecker attacks the shield but it couldn't break it too. The guy uses his thunder spell tags at the woodpecker. It died on the spot. The beast tries to overwhelm them with their numbers. They attacks on the shield. The bald guy is holding on. But he spits a lot of blood out of his mouth. The shield broke and the beast attacks them but gets slashed by a sword. The sword attacked the foxy. She is surprised to see the power of a level 9 powerhouse. The sword attacks her but she dodges all the attacks. And the damage caused by the sword looks like the one controlling it is powerful. The sword guy uses his level 2 power. Another one uses his grand protective formation, shocking thunder. The foxy uses her icy strike, attacks the thunder guy. The healer blocks the attack. Man, this is not good. They were about to get married. She uses her pill to recover but it's no good. The guy activates the teleportation formation dual win. He asks them to get inside. She takes out the celestial pill level 4 guardian pill. The bald guy tells her that those pills maintains her life. Why she gave it to them? Because the formation needs her energy to activate. And her lover, if he gets inside, he can't activate it. He tells them to report to the boss what happened there. They get teleported. All cursed beasts are now charging at them and the two lovers are ready to accept their death. The East starts to surround them. At their last moment, they chanted some poem-like spell. Listen here, for thy shall die. From the heavenly realm, please devour my blood and slay these cursed beasts. Boom, they self-destruct themselves. A touching love story with a tragic end. Foxy is confused. Why do humans self-destruct themselves? Aren't they afraid of death? Next, the two guys get teleported somewhere. They are sad, they lost their team. 
but they have to report to headquarters. A kick comes flying at the sword guy. The bald guy uses his golden shield to block it. But the shield gets broke by the kick, sending them flying, and it's a national level cursed beast demon cockroach. The cockroach tries to hit the sword guy but the bald guy blocks him and starts to fight with him. He tells the sword guy to run but in front of a national level, they can't leave. He gets ready to use his most powerful skill. Bald guy realizes that using that skill will kill him. He punches the cockroach but nothing happened to him. The cockroach kicks him, sending him flying next to the sword guy. The sword guy remembers, a child, whose parents are dead. The boy is a grandson, and he is scared that his grandpa will also not return from the mission just like his parents, and if his grandpa wants to leave his side, he asked him to remember to say goodbye to him. He showed his powerful skill to him saying, if he has to leave his side, he will say goodbye. He is using his powerful skill. The cockroach tries to attack him but the bald guy blocks him again. He grabs the bald guy by his head and crush his head. His powerful skill turn into tornado with blood, and then form a round shape. Then explode. The cockroach suffer only a little damage, like Thanos suffered a little damage from Iron Man's all-out attacks. All that for just a drop of blood. His own skill has killed himself. The sword guy has turned into a skeleton. Next, the foxy asks her boss, if their plan to attack Citadel will be sooner, he replies, whom? One eye with his special talent contract recruitment. He is thinking how to seal the contract. Without red hair sealing, the contract won't be valid. Should I use my beauty to convince her? But I'm an expert at the special department. I mustn't use my beauty to convince her. Red Hair comes rushing to his room and inform him about the Tian Kong team. When he arrived there, he found a skeleton standing. And the bald guy his situation is worse than the skeleton. One Eye who is no as the strongest in the city. The strong man cries like a baby after seeing his junior's body. He carries the bald guy and puts his hand on the skeleton saying, You did good job, now rest in peace. He notices something. From the skeleton a large formation appears. There are words that says, How many cursed beasts were there in their levels? The formation even spread out of the forest reaching the city. It even reaches the mental hospital, where Zhang and Lin Fan are. And there are words in the formation. The formation reaches to a boy. His grandpa told him that, if he ever leaves his side like his parents, he promised that he will say goodbye. And those words on the formation was his last words for his grandson, grandson of Huey Duo Kai, Huey Jin Sheng. And his last words are, Sheng Sheng, grandpa has to go now, you have to take good care of yourself. Man, that powerful skill he was talking about was to just send his last words to his grandson. Next, the crow, who is escaping with the big bear, it gets caught by someone. And it's an ape. But why did it catch the crow? It's because the crow told the king about the ape's mother idea of living along with humans. But for them humans are their food. So, the king questioned her about it and she gave her honest answers. But the king smashed her head. The chimpanzee tears apart the crow. Then, he vanished in the shadow, like a ninja, nin nin remembering his past with his mother. Next, Jang has lost his watch. Where did he lost it? He doesn't remember it and Lin Fan is ready to go and find it with him. They search it in the room. He thinks he lost it in the yard. Now they are in the yard. It's not there either. He must have lost it outside. Now they are walking in the street. Man these two psychos are. I don't have a words to say. They will search it until they find it. They are damn serious. It's a Rolex watch. Very expensive. They have to find it. The bike comes towards them. The bike almost hit Jang but Lin Fan saved him. The bike is driven by a chimpanzee. The system notifies. The energy that can help him ease his hunger for one month, 10 meter away. The target is leaving very quickly. Lin Fan asks Zhang if the chimpanzee is cute. And cute means tasty. Zhang thinks gorilla riding a bike is really cute. Now the gorilla is blushing, thinking that his mama was right that they can live with humans happily. Bro has no idea what they are referring as cute means. Since it's cute Lin Fan is ready to capture it. The gorilla gives them a romantic flying kiss. Now it doesn't look cute at all. Lin Fan is feeling sick. He wanna throw up. The a level 5 cursed beast, giant mantis, stops him. And it's there on the order of their king to get the gorilla back. The gorilla punches the mantis, smashing its head, while he is still on his bike. Few other mantis comers out and surrounds them. The system 12 beasts can ease the host's hunger for one week. The target is 1 meter ahead and 2 meter. The gorilla pull out a hair from its body. The King Kong gorilla is a level 8 cursed beast, gifted ability of the wild animals, acceleration. With his high speed he attacks the other beasts. The system is suggesting the best cooking method for the mantis. And Lin Fan is asking Zhang, does the mantis seem a little bit? But before he completes his word the mantis head gets smashed. Next, we see, red hair. And one eye is telling her about the level 9 cursed beast in a national level. And after the increase in their ick the cursed beast has become more intelligent. She realizes something, that the national level cursed beast is leading other cursed beasts to fight Yan High City. Next, the two psychos has come to a place where a nice lady cooked them a delicious snake dish. Now, they are there, Zhang wants to go and meet her. 
Lin Fan suggests to buy some gifts for her. They come to a shop. The shopkeeper seeing their clothes. She finds out they are the psychos from the King Shan Hospital. They took a box of milk but they don't have any money. She gives them for free. They leave saying, we'll send the money later, bye bye, okay. They leave the milk outside the door, thinking she must have fallen asleep, and continue their search to find the Rolex watch. Next morning, she finds the milk but doesn't know who put it there. The neighbor who was listening to her, comes saying it's his, they sent it to the wrong place again. She asks if it's really his, he yells at her for doubting him. She apologizes and he takes away the milk. His son tells him they still have milk. Why did he bought again? He doesn't know who gave it to the house opposite, so he just stole it. He felt something and falls on the ground. Karma is a bitch. Huh. You deserve it. Next, Dr. Lai is yelling at Mr. President on phone for sending him dozens to patients just because he made a membership card. A nurse come rushing inform him that those two people have come again. And he is like, who are those two people? Don't say they are. Yes bro, they are your favorite patients and they were just searching for their watch. But has come to meet you because they miss you a bit. And Mr. President is like, did I forget to tell you that they are still fine? They sneaked out last night and it looks like they're at your place. I will call someone to go to you to get them, take good care of them. He cries his eyes out. Mr. President tricked him into making a card, cheated on him, he won't forgive him. He thanks them for seeing him and they don't need to come there next time. He carries them like a puppy and bring them out, but they hear a commotion. Lin Fan notices the kind girl's voice, and in next second they both disappear from Dr. Lai's hand. A woman is hitting saying after meeting with her, her husband got a stroke. She tries to slap her but Lin Fan stops her, looking at those clothes. She notices that he is a patient from King Shan Mental Hospital. A man curses the girl for asking for help from psychos. Hearing the word psychos, everyone moves aside. She thanks them for helping and asks Lin Fan to let go of that woman's hand. Looking with a deadly eyes, he tells her, she was beating you, so, I'll teach her a lesson like the president said. The woman is having her own imagination going on now. With tears flowing all over their eyes, she apologizes and will never hit people anymore. She tells them that the milk box is hers. They tell that it was them who put the milk box outside her house last night for making them the snake soup. She thanks them for the milk. Dr. Lai comes and grabs them like a puppy again. Zio Bay comes with his people to negotiate about the sponsorship for the Level A project of Hugh Diane Hospital. He throws the two puppy and run like a flash to greet the young Master Bay. He notices that the puppy flying in the air are Lin Fan and Mr. Zhang and they also recognize him. They tell him that they are there to meet with their friend, since they are friends with Dr. Lai. He doesn't need to evaluate anymore and asks the lady to make the sponsorship of 3 Level A. He tells the two to follow him. He will take them to take a shower, then he will take them to their home. His driver notices that there are many powerhouses and special squad patrolling there. And there are many protective formations as well as detecting ones near the hospital. And basically they put these formations when they're fighting. Something bad may happen. Next, we see a rooster, a level 3 cursed beast, rooster. And the fighters are searching for it. The rooster is thinking just because it's not cute enough, it has to hide all the time. If only he can become a human's pet, he can kill humans one by one, then become the greatest cursed beast. Next, in Zio Bay's home. They are taking bath in the smallest tub in Zio Bay house. One hour later, he is taking them to sleep in the smallest bedroom in his house. The smallest bedroom. Jang is happy to be in his smallest bedroom. He also sleeps with them. Since his parents are busy dealing with their business, no one sleeps with him. They are ready to sleep with him tonight. But soon he realizes that sleeping alone is not that bad at all. Outside Zio Bao's house, two kidnappers are trying to use the drainage system to get inside. They are inside the drainage, thinking that this time they must get that 500 million. Lin Fan wakes up and informs Bei that there are some guests. And if he wants to welcome them, the kidnapper comes outside of the drainage and guards are there to welcome them. Next, they are telling them they work in that drainage system. Lin Fan thinks they've bothered their work, and Bei is like, let them continue their work. Lin Fan remembered that they did bully Bei before, but they are no longer bad guys. Now they are doing their job as a drainage cleaners. The system notifies, detect a source of great energy that can ease the host's hunger for four days. The target is 5,000 meters away. He tells Zio Bao that he wants to go out for a while. He will be right back, so take care of Mr. Zhang for him. Then he vanished in thin air. Next, the rooster is running and the fighters are searching for it. Next, a schoolgirl. She didn't expect to go home late like that due to bunch of exercises. Mom must be worried. The rooster thinking after eating that girl, it can reach level 4. The rooster attacks the girl but Lin Fan grabs it by its neck. He asks the girl if the chicken is cute. She is scared and admits it's cute. He thinks it's cute too. The chicken is going out of breath and the system is showing the best way to cook it. Next morning, the kidnappers has finished up cleaning the drainage system, and they even get paid for cleaning the drainage system. 
That's the clean money they get from working hard. He remembers a monk who told him, for half of his life, he will find his own path in the darkness. Thanks to you, the world will become a better place. Now he finally got it, what he should do now. Jang wakes up and Lin Fan shows him the cock, I mean the rooster, asking him if he thinks that chicken is cute. Jang point of view, he thinks it's truly cute. The rooster is like, he said I'm cute, so I'm safe. Next, thing it heard, the guy who called it cute is now ready to roast it. Lin Fan knows how to roast a chicken, grabbing it by its neck so tight. The rooster starts to make some weird face. Now they don't think it's cute anymore. Jang gets a bright idea. He is thinking to raise it, so it can lay eggs every day. The rooster is struck by lightning. How can he lay his egg? He's a rooster, not a hen. Now, Jang is hungry and wants to eat an egg for breakfast. And they are waiting for two eggs. Lin Fan thinks it can't lay eggs. He'd better make a chicken soup of it. The rooster used all his energy to lay two eggs. Poor rooster, which two eggs did it lay? Comment down below. They finally got two eggs. Next, the chef is cooking the egg. Poor rooster, who is sad seeing his babies being cooked. But wait, he is surprised why his baby smells so good. The system, congratulations. The host has consumed level 2 energy source, vitality plus 10, strength plus 10, speed plus 10, your great hunger can be eased for one day to open the inner space. Zhang asks if the rooster will give them 2 eggs daily, yeah it must give them 2 eggs every day. The rooster is like, 2 eggs daily, you two humans are too cruel, this is such a shame, let me tell you this I'm not a hen but a rooster, I'll never kneel before you, yeah it will never kneel but only lay its eggs. Next, one eye and his group are talking about how to fight against the coming battle with the cursed beast, and there might be many high level beasts. Red hair tells them if only they could have two high level fighters to help them defend the city. One eye leaves from the meeting. She asks him, where is he going? He has some business. Zai Obey dropped them at their house. The driver tells him that the rooster Lin Fan brought is a cursed beast. But the rooster is afraid of Lin Fan and he believes in Lin Fan that he can handle it. Mr. President asks them, did you buy a milk at the grocery store? Oh, they remember they haven't paid it. They must pay them now. Mr. President already paid it and tells them not to buy such things outside. Zhang is like, why? Because we don't have money. Yes, cause you don't have money. Lin Fan mother had left a large amount of money for the hospital but Lai Zhang. Wait his full name is Lai Zhang. He has stayed many years but didn't pay any money. Lin Fan is ready to give Zhang half of his money. But president reminds him. How many times he was taken to the emergency room. He doesn't have much money to give to Zhang now. And they can buy outside when they can earn a lot of money. He notices the rooster. Lin Fan tells him that he caught it and it can lay eggs. He wants to raise it with Zhang. He is confused, a rooster that lays eggs. Next, one eye is waiting for them. He notices the rooster is a level 3 cursed beast and tries to attack it. But Lin Fan stops him, saying why you want to fight my rooster, it's a good rooster and can lay eggs for him and Zhang. One eye is shocked that Lin Fan blocked his attack. How much power has he used 30% 40%? Now he wants to confirm Lin Fan powers. He starts to attack Lin Fan and the rooster. The system notifies him to avoid the attack. Lin Fan doesn't want to fight him but he won't allow One Eye to hit his rooster that gives him eggs. Three hours later, One Eye is worn out. One Eye is thinking, he can't check Lin Fan's ability today. And the rooster is scared to death. Seeing a national level fighter in front of him, One Eye tells them, he won't attack anymore and he is there to talk with Lin Fan. Jang tells Lin Fan, One Eye is a good man, he can trust him. He leaves the rooster with Jang, then leaves with One Eye. Now, he is ready to do some acupuncture on the rooster. One Eye asks him if he remember the Tan King team. He does, they all died in a mission. And he knows Lin Fan's is super strong, soon there will be a war with Cursed Beast. If he also died in the battle, he wants Lin Fan to look after the city. Our man is asking a psycho to look after a city, now I'm worried about the future of the city. He is finally ready to sign the contract to take Lin Fan and Mr. Zhang. And he will take good care of them and treat them well. Mr. President is happy that they are in the good hands and from now on, One Eye will be their guardian. He is happy. Now the two troubles are finally leaving his hospital. The contract is done. Next, Zhang is telling him that they will visit him regularly. And Mr. President is like, honestly no need to visit me. They leaves, saying they will make lots of money. One Eye asks about their monthly salary. President tells him to put in the hospital account. And the rooster, who is thinking, if Lin Fan hasn't come in time, he would have died. And why is that? Because our acupuncturist was doing some experiment on him. His life did flash before his eyes. They have arrived at the special squad of Yanhai City, the headquarter. They are excited to see such a big and so tall headquarter, and so many people. But the rooster, who has come in a place full with fighters, his life is flashing before his eyes again. The fighters notices the rooster and are ready to make it into a roasted chicken. The rooster shit its pants, though it doesn't have pants. One eye tells them the cursed beast is in control and don't need to worry about it. Next, he takes them to register as a powerhouse with special abilities. The lady notices that they are wearing the King Shan Mental Hospital costume. 
One I tell her they are doing cosplay. She added their data and gives them the application form. Looking at the rooster, she asks if they want her to inform the operating team to take the specimen away for further research. The rooster is shocked to heard those words. Specimen, operating, research. One eye tells her to register the rooster as their pet. She is shocked. A level 3 cursed beast is a pet. They must be super strong. What are their potentials? The news spread about the two newbies and their pet level 3 cursed beast. Next, Zhang is being tested. His age is null, power is null, source is special potential, and level is zero. One eye is confused, level zero. How could he make him suffer with that power? Who is he? Next, Lin Fan, age 19, power, unidentified, source special potential, and level is zero. Next, the chicken its level is three equal to One eye is confused to see their levels. The guy in the blue tells him they are just an ordinary people. Why did you bring them to run a check? He tells him they are not ordinary. They're special powerhouses that's why the machine can't detect their energy wave. The man asks how to fill in their info. One eye tells him, level X with unstable fighting ability. They leave after that, he is confused. Why does the boss want to add those two in the special squad? Are they his relatives? Next, the fighter level zero are ready with their pet rooster hen. One eye tells them this place will be their house from now. And their job is to, huh, what are their jobs? Their job, it's no big deal. They just have to patrol and help whoever is in need. And they can start their job from tomorrow. Jang tells him that his acupuncture has been improved. He can heal his eye now. Lin Fan also tells him that Mr. Zhang is always studying about one eye sickness. Thinking they do care about him, he is ready. But Zhang need to blind him first. One eye tells them to F off. Next, the news of the two newbies register as level XNXX has spread and there are rumors that they are one eye's nephews. And one eye who is thinking, that was so dangerous, he almost believed them. Other doesn't know but he mustn't forget that they are mental patients. He call Ying Wo Sen, an invisible man comes inside. Ying Wo Sen, he's level 7 fighter. One Eye tells him to supervise the two in their mission without showing up. He understood, if they are in danger, will he have to help them? No, if they are in danger run away. One Eye asks him if he has any family members. Make a time and write a will or wish and give it to him. Next, they are waiting for the egg. The rooster laid two eggs for them. Why I feel like the rooster is enjoying it. They are happy to get two eggs. They are ready to have their breakfast. Poor rooster. Who is thinking why his baby are so delicious? Lin Fan notices the invisible guy but Chang doesn't see him. And the invisible guy is shocked. How did he notice him? Lin Fan tells Zhang that. The guy is peeking at them. Isn't he impolite? Should we hit him? Never mind. After eating they must work hard. The system congratulates. His enhancement, strength, speed and increased by plus 10. Next, they went to their office with their pet and all people are talking about them only. Zhang asks what are their job again? It's to go on patrol and help others. A bald guy runs towards them and tries to attack Lin Fan. But he notices that these two are the powerhouse that killed the level 7 cursed beast in the Huatan hospital. And he is the guy who made the portrait of them and now he has finally find the experts. And the news are about the portrait that he drew. Those people actually exist. Now, they are on their duty to help peoples. They saw an old woman, who seemed like she is lost. They asks if they can help her. She wants to go home and finally someone has come to help her. They are ready to take her home. They start to look for her home. An hour later, Zhang is asking her, where is her house? She replies it's truly ahead. Now, she is tired and can't walk anymore. Lin Fan gets ready to carry her. And if he gets tired, Zhang is ready to carry her. At this point even the cursed beast is feeling tired. Oh my goodness, it's already night and they haven't reached her house. Finally arrived, yay mission complete. She gives them a flower rings for helping her. They are happy to get such a beautiful thing. They bid their farewell there. Holy cow, now Zhang is being carried and the poor rooster hen, who gives eggs every day is being dragged. The invisible guy, who doesn't know their true power but thinks they are really gifted. In the chat group, news are all about the newbies. They both are masters. The rooster notices something. And Zhang is asking Lin Fan if he is tired he can carry him, but he is not tired at all. The rooster notices the cursed beast of level 5 around. And this is his chance of getting free from these two psychos. He runs in that direction. The system, detect a great source of energy that can ease the hunger for one weeks. The target is 3000 meters ahead. A guy is being sent flying out of the store. They are the team of level 5 powerhouses. The healer is healing her friend, but gets an electric shock. They fall near a little girl. The beast attacks at the little girl, but one fighter save her and tells her to run. He also gets an electric shock. It's a level 5 cursed beast electric eel king. With talent, shining electricity. The rooster is happy that it's not just a level 5 powerhouse but also has a powerful ability. 
Now these two wicked humans are dead for sure. Lin Fan informs Shang that the psycho in his head says it's an eel. The eel notices the energy waves of its compatriots. Seeing the belt on its neck, the eel thinks it has submitted to humanity. Evil Rooster Level 3 No, he hasn't. He just wanted to get inside the enemy's internals. He wants to be the strong heroic rooster. The eel calls him a useless trash. The man notices them and tells them if they are under level 6, do not go near it. Shang thinks it's cute. He saw it on TV. The eel can be made into eel rice. Since they've been working all days, now they are hungry. He leaves the rooster to Shang. He will go and catch the eel. The man tells him not to come there. He tries to stop him. Lin Fan touch the eel. They get electric shock. Well not Lin Fan but the other guy. The shock send him flying and now he is out cold. Lin Fans tell Zhang that the eel can discharge electricity. He can feel like he's cultivating. Zhang is like, awesome, does it work? And Lin Fan is like, it's also not very effective, it's not strong enough. The eel gets mad for calling its current not strong enough, and now it's ready to use its 10,000 volts. Next thing it finds out it's being dragged. The eel asks the rooster to save it and he is thinking how. And the invisible guy is too shocked to move after seeing what just happened in front of his eyes. They've brought the eel home and the system is showing the best method to cook it. It is asking the rooster to save it, and Lin Fan is ready to chop its head, and the chicken is still thinking how to save it. His soul almost left his body when the blood of the eel gets on his chicks. The good smell are making their neighbor unable to sleep. They are having their delicious meal and the fish was so big there are many left in the kitchen. Lin Fan gives the rooster to eat the meat of his compatriots, eat more, and lay eggs. The rooster is shocked not only they killed it, fried it, and now they want him to eat it. The cursed beast's meat has energy in it, he could die if the energy is too much. He eats the last meal of his life, but he is surprised that his compatriot's meat is so delicious. And now, they have one more member in their family. He is stuffed and happy that he is full before he dies. The power inside his body is going to burst and now his body is full of energy. He tries to attack or trying to do something here, but gets a slap by Lin Fan. Zhang asks what's wrong, the rooster wanted to steal his fish. The rooster is confused, did he just get hit? And the power inside his body is crazy now. Zhang picks it up and tells Lin Fan that the rooster seems not good. Is it sick? He gets a bright idea. The rooster gains his consciousness, but gets shocked and passed out after seeing all those needles in his body. As expected, I died. The eel is mad that the rooster isn't dead. They are happy that the rooster, their egg-laying machine is still good and alive. But after the acupuncture, the rooster has become a level 4 cursed beast. Electrical rooster, power, electric. He is confused. He didn't die but instead level up. The invisible guy is shocked. They didn't explode after eating a cursed beast but the rooster even level up and even acquire skill. Next morning, he informs One Eye. After Mr. Zhang treated the chicken, it woke up and even leveled up. One Eye is like, don't think you can take that as proof to convince me his technique is wonderful. I'll never trust you. He is confused. What's wrong with the boss? One Eye tells him not to spread any information about what happened last night. He asks about the accident scene after the eel was taken. The supporter and level 6 powerhouses had come in time so there was no damage. But all the members remember what Lin Fan did. One Eye tells him it's not a big deal, but it may be a big deal. He tells him to just ignore those two this time. Next, the shopping street of Yanhai City. The rooster didn't expect those two to help him level up and even inherited his fellow's skill. Zhang is asking the couples if they need some help. The rooster, while making Jojo's face, is thinking these two psychos wants to make him change his heart. They will never make it, and he'll never surrender. Rooster and Lin Fan notices something and the man behind is getting mad at Zhang. He tries to attack Zhang shouting wanna die. Lin Fan grabs him and run like a flash. Silent air passes by them. His girlfriend is like, I think you're the one who wanna die. The system, detect the energy that can ease his hunger for four weeks. A pig is beating some people. The guy brought the pig with his friend to grill it but it turned out to be a cursed beast. They are trying to fight the cursed beast but normal people can't stand against a cursed beast. The pig hits the guy. And it's a level 6 cursed beast, mystic pig king, gifted skill, intimidate. It was saying meal before me disgusting but gets hit by Lin Fan. It falls in the water. They notices they are the powerhouses from the special squad. They leaves the pig to them and takes their friend to the hospital. And the system is showing the best method to cook it. The rooster asks the pig to team up and kill these two humans. He thinks with the help of the pig he can definitely. But he gets shocked and turn into black and white because the pig is already being roasted. Zhang is telling Lin Fan he is strong. And he is like, the psycho in my head said Kigong practice has broken through to the post-earth stage. Maybe it means, Zhang tells him, he will help him with acupuncture. He'll become stronger. Lin Fan is ready. Zhang is thinking he have to research more on his cosmic transport. The rooster, who just realizes that he is now a level 4 cursed beast. Why is he afraid of them now? And since Lin Fan has passed out, he is thinking to kill Zhang. 
He tries to attack Zhang. Zhang feeds him the nose of the pig, saying eat a lot and then lay eggs. He is thinking he has to spit it out. This meat will make his body explode. But, 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 why is it so delicious? Their family members have increased again. The rooster is like, stop now. If not, my body will explode. Too late. The energy is flowing. Now he is going to die. Zhang stabs him with his needle and now he is feeling great. The rooster wants more now. Yeah baby, give him more. He stabs him with more needles. And the rooster is on high now. And the family members are like this rooster has lost a sense of shame. Zhang is thinking the pig isn't delicious without Lin Fan but he is still eating. Pig is mad. He said not delicious but he ate it all. He is full because the president said not to waste food. Now they are sleeping in the open air garden, enjoying the night and the stars. And the invisible guy, now he doesn't feel surprised, no matter what they do. Next, invisible asks one eye, how strong are those two, for Lin Fan to kill the level 6 beast so easily. Even one eye doesn't know it either. He tells him, it's just like in their profile, unstable power, and he is shocked. One Eye tells him the problem of the level 6 beast was solved by him so that this deed will belong to him. He disagrees. The newbies killed the beast, so the deed should belong to them, and boss you have changed, haven't you? He tries to leave saying, he will report this to the tactician. He agrees to him and he is happy. He starts to give him the pure details of how they killed and how many points they got. One Eye tells him, it's no need to be that detailed. But he is their observer, and he has finished his task beautifully. One Eye tells him, he is their observer, and he can earn some of their points. But he doesn't need their point. One Eye knows for them to earn points is easy peasy. Invisible asks what name to give them. And he tells him to choose any names. 666. The headquarter in the capital. They get the message that a new team has joined 666. Their power level X. And their pet is a level 5 cursed beast. But they can't find any info about them, no matter how many times they click on his face. Next, the level 5 chicken is walking with that chicken chat attitude in the headquarter. Everyone is scared and shocked that the chicken was just a level 3 chicken before. When did it become level 5? In the chat group, everyone is talking about the chicken. Just two days ago, it was a level 3 chicken but now. What happened in those two days? Zhang asks Lin, did his acupuncture help him get stronger? Yeah, more powerful, much stronger. He gets a punch, he tells Zhang. He hit me, yeah, he saw it. The man apologizes, he just wanted to see his power. Lin asks Zhang if he should hit him but he apologized already, then it's fine. But he wants to get hit by the two masters. Six hours ago in the open garden, under the beautiful sky, the system congratulates him on reaching level SS which allows him to modify level S skill, ultimate resistance and spell disturb. Besides you also acquired the special ingredient box which is the most necessary for the host. Next, a cursed beast turtle, who is waiting for the order of its king to slay all humans. The chicken asks him to join hands and kill these two wicked people. The system shows him a great source of energy. The turtle is a level 6 cursed beast. He gets ready to kill the two wicked humans. He shoots his poison at them but the next thing it finds, someone has grabbed his neck and the system is suggesting him the best method to cook the turtle. Lin Fang gets ready to cook it. The system activates his cooking skill level as the turtle has become a soup. The rooster with water flooding from his mouth thinks he will avenge him. The family has become even bigger again with their eighth brother. Zhang gives the hen, the egg of the turtle, eat more, and lay eggs. Though he is starving, he'll never eat. But something happens and the food is inside his mouth and it's freaking tasty. Now he is suffering from the pain. He asks Zhang to sting him so hard. Lin Fan thinks the chicken is not okay and the president said that a pet needs to be castrated. Zhang is like should we castrate a hen? Yeah man, castrate that hen. Chicken is shocked to heard that word and the family is supporting Lin Fan. Zhang gets ready to do but the hen wants to die in honor. Zhang apologizes. It seem he didn't castrate it but relieve its pain. It's okay they can do it next time. The hen is saved. And the boy who just lost his cute turtle is asking his mom, who stole his turtle. Next, the chicken has come to an aquarium, asking all the cursed fishes to help him kill those two wicked humans. And the two of them are like, wow beautiful and so cute, that means it's tasty. System detect the great source of power which can ease his hunger for five days or one week. One meter ahead. Next, the fishes has joined the family. Ninth, brother, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, screw it, there are too many to count. The guard informs the president of the aquarium that someone has smashed the crystal barricade at the deep sea fish exhibition area. He is shocked that's 20 meter thick organic crystal. She tells him they seem to be from special department. He passes out where he was standing. Next, the aquarium has turned into a great feast. The rooster is thinking he is not going to eat anymore but he opens his mouth when Jang gives him the fish. He is like, oh my goodness, why is my kindreds are so yummy? He eats them so that the power will tour his body and let him die quickly. Now, he is full and feeling sleepy. Invisible guy is shocked that they can even spot the well-hidden energy. 
The rooster is also feeling the presence of someone there. A level 2 cursed beast starfish thinks to teach a lesson to that traitorous chicken by reporting to his king. Lin Fan thinks it's cute and Zhang thinks its legs are hideous and the system notifies the great source is getting away. Since Zhang thinks it's hideous, he doesn't want to eat anymore, system is mad. After eating the fishes, the chicken has level up, he is now level 7. Little girl asks her mother, what's that? She thinks that's a phoenix. And the chicken, who is thinking this is horrifying, his ability to devour his kind and level up. His kindreds will misunderstand. Now he thinks he will not randomly eat his kinds. Unless these two wicked humans force feed him. He is just protecting himself and he has never hurt his fellow kinds. He only has eaten them, no big deal. Next, he is telling his kind to believe him. Level 7 Cursed Beast, Cursed Eye Finches. They attack the traitor that attacks his own kindreds using their special skills. Next, the Finch's brothers have become a delicious food, but our chicken brother takes it in an optimistic way. He has consumed their flesh to level up himself in order to retaliate against these two ruthless humans, who is eating his kindreds. But his fellow beast attacked him and these humans saved him. But they also force him to lay eggs every day. That's a great humiliation. He can't go against his promise of revenge. Even though his kind may doubt him, he is still living up to his true self. Yes, who is he? He is Vengeance, who eats his own kind. Invisible Guy shows one eye the bill for the restoration of the aquarium. He is shocked, it's 30 million. A week later, the Strongman board has updated. People are shocked that Team 666 has accumulated points that made them rise to 1031st place. One eye is mad this makes no sense. But the Invisible shows him all the proof and he has even recorded some videos for hardcore proof. One eye tells him, this, they are attracting others' attention, do you understand? He doesn't. He is thinking if red hair finds out he is F. She comes at the right time and the right moment, saying, One-eyed, what's up with those two newbies on the 666 team? She tells Ying Wu Zong, the invisible guy to decrease their points and suspend them. She tells him to leave and now they are going to have a real talk. She tells him the support they request from the capital headquarter has been approved, but they have a condition for him to go there and explain the situation. He gets mad if he leaves who will protect the city. They have their little argument there, but they notice something. Warning, an extremely high energy wave has appeared. The power level is too high. Everyone be on alert. The almighty rooster king is here baby, who is in the house. The mighty rooster king level 8 cursed beast, walking like a chicken chat. Next, invisible tells him that the alarm is still going on. He can hear it. He's blind in one eye, not deaf. He asks how should he report it to his superiors. One eye tells him he will personally go to the research room to make it clear. And the chat group is on fire. Next, they get ready to check the rooster. The goggle researcher asks them if their chicken is obedient. They are like this hen is very obedient. Yup yup. He asks if people approach it will it go crazy and attack. No it doesn't it's a cute rooster that lay eggs. He asks will it stay under control. Lin Fan is like yup, lay two eggs. They are surprised, lay eggs. Oh this humiliation. He gives them two eggs. The goggle has concluded his test that the chicken beast is no threat and is under control. Poor rooster, he is enduring it for his freedom and revenge. Next day, everyone starts to approach the rooster. A girl asks them, if she can please. She holds the rooster in her arms and start to do live stream. Holding a level 8 cursed beast, she tells her views that it's just like a normal chicken. One eye grabs the chicken and tells the girl, it's a level 8 beast it can kill her in a second. Don't ever do things like this again. They apologizes, he tells Lin to watch his pet carefully. Jang tells him, I want, you want, yup, I really want. What he really wants, to poop right now. Lin Fan tells One Eye to just trust Mr. Zhang for once. He looks at them with a face like he will trust him just once. He's like, hell no, just stay away from me. Don't go after his eyes. They grabs him, saying just once this time, he will definitely. Yeah, he tells them, he will never trust again and don't think you look cute like that. Damn you do. He hears someone calling him cute eye. A red hair man, he asks him, he was supposed to welcome him. A gentleman must keep his words. He is one of the strongmen Cap Tran Than of Capital Headquarters Kim Thuong Bo. One Eye tells him he was busy with some work, he forgot it. He looks at the newcomer team 666 and their pet level 8 cursed beast. One Eye asks him, why do he cares about them? Well they have accumulated more than 1000 points. Red Kim even tells him that One Eye helped them to control the beast and the accumulated points are also because he was helping them from behind. One Eye looks at him, thinking what is he getting at? Did he found out their psychos? He tells him, he cannot hide the truth from the eyes of Red Kim. With full confidence he tells him, they are your stepchild. He has investigated that one eye is their guardian. And with just a glance, he knew they were father and son. Their white and black hair is just like one eyes. Now come on call me uncle, they are like uncle. With question mark, he tells them, he is their father's friend and it's very nice to meet them. They both stretch their hands to shake. He is also a super uncle, he shakes their hands at the same time. 
Lin Fan is like, hello you are very clever. One Eye tells him one of his son. Though the newcomer is a specialist in acupuncture, if he needs he can do it for free. He is ready since he is having some neck bone disease. Zhang is happy to find a guinea pig for his experiment. Zhang takes out his needle, and Red Kim is like, This needle, why does it look like a needle to sew clothes? Zhang tells him he has already cleaned the blood in the needle. Yeah Lin Fan helped him to clean. Zhang stabs him, and he is like, As a gentle man, I shouldn't doubt it. I have a neck bone disease but why did he stab him on the forehead? Zhang tells him it doesn't matter. Yeah he will send you just in front of the hell or heaven's gate, then pull you back to earth again. He stabs him asking do you feel anything? Yes a little bit of pangolin. The last and final needle, the thirteenth needle stitch. The thirteenth needle takes him to the multi-universe. He can't believe his own eyes. He fainted, well that was expected. Zhang is sad he failed again. Lin Fan tells him it will work next time. They should take him to the hospital first. One Eye tells them to leave. He will take him to the hospital. And before leaving take the needles. Zhang pulls out the needles and leave. Now he gets ready to start. He removes his clothes. One Eye what are you trying to do here? He takes out his device to check. And checked on his body with that device. The device gives anomalous signal source detected. He is thinking if it's the place he got injured last month. Red Kim wakes up and finds that his neck doesn't hurt anymore. He thanks for recommending his son's acupuncture. One Eye is shocked. But he thinks something is uncomfortable. One Eye gets ready to call the hospital or rescue center again. But Red Kim is feeling uncomfortable with his clothes. He closes the curtain to fix his clothes. He is shocked. Why is his pant messed up like this? He looks at One Eye, saying what have you done to me? One Eye tells him it's alright. The first time you experience it, it may be something you eaten. That's still undigested. Red Kim gets mad and yells what the hell you did to me. One Eye is confused. He shoots at him with something. One Eye uses his magic. Now guys I don't know why is he using that sign as his magic. But Red Kim magic was too strong and breaks One Eye's magic. He gets shot and went with the shot to another room. Red Hair comes in the scene and Red Kim is her uncle. He tells her, that guy is not a gentleman and he won't allow her to be with him. One Eye is confused thinking did he become stronger or am I hallucinating? He asks him why did he hit him so hard. Hearing those words Uncle Red is now like an atomic bomb which is about to explode. One Eye notice if he found out that he checked on him. Now, One Eye is like, all right, indeed, I did not get your consent but I did it on my own. He yells at him, pervert bastard shut your damn mouth. One Eye tells him calling him a pervert is bit too much. Uncle Bomb is so mad that he is about to explode. She asks him, have you checked yet? And tells him that he have to leave in two days. He will leave but before that, he has to get some treatment. Then he leaves. He tells her that he must stay away from that pervert. She asks what happened between them. He replies it's nothing, his life is peaceful and boring. But it's completely different from that disgusting scum's life. He tells her, he came there to support her, because of her, he lost so much on this trip. And he even informs her that one-eyed guy even let his two stepchildren into the organization, did you know that? She is confused, what is he even talking about? In the chat group, everyone is talking about Team 666 and their pet level 8 cursed beast. She is looking at their files, which is making her very mad. A guy comes and inform her that their defense have been increased. She tells him if needed call all the graduates of the four major colleges who probably have finished their training in the mental hospital. He informs her all the students failed the class, she is shocked. But wait, the father and son is playing in the garden, he hasn't failed yet. Oh, the watch businessman and his customer, and the professor and his student, who is asking him to teach him and the professor is calling him crazy. A psycho is calling a normal person crazy. Next, someone is telling the Beast King that their kind who were hiding in the aquarium were killed and the turtle too. It's the ice fox. She tells him that they hide their energy so perfectly, humans couldn't have find them. Only their own kind can sense them precisely. He gives her the drawing. She understood what it means. He says something like GRR. She understands. The gorilla. They have sent some mantis to bring him back but now their energy waves has been disappeared. That means he killed them, he has completely betrayed them. He says something like Huff and she understood that too. Before the gorilla spill the info to human, she'll definitely kill him. In the abandoned factory, the gorilla is drawing something. The level 8 beast comes to get the traitor. He gets ready to fight. He jumps high in the air making 1, 2, 3, 4 clones of himself. The level 8 beast giant grasshopper uses his 4 sword style slash. The gorilla gets some few cuts. The wolf attacks him. He hits the wolf. It's a two-headed wolf. Another head bites him. Now the gorilla is cornered by the wolf and grasshopper. The chicken notices the energy of level 8 beast. And if he notices them that means they are going to get eaten. The system has also checked the great source that can ease his hunger for 10 weeks. He suddenly stops. One of the energy waves disappeared. He uses his light speed to get there. The wolf comes out flying. He tells them to stop fighting among their own kind. 
The grasshopper tries to kill the gorilla using its special attack but Hero Chicken stops him saying they are all kindreds, don't just kill each other like that, he might have to eat them later. The gorilla hits the grasshopper sending it flying and runs toward the grasshopper to hit it again. Chicken is telling him to stop. Gorilla smashes the head of the grasshopper. He thanks the chicken for helping him earlier. He is happy that a level 8 beast thanking him. He asks the gorilla to help him. The gorilla notices the two human and he is like, We meet again, my friends, haha. He tells the chicken that he agrees with him to live in peace with human. Then he leaves saying goodbye friends and comrades. Chicken is confused collecting the new info. Living in peace with human. Comrades, friends, now, he realizes he's a traitor. He tries to wake up the grasshopper saying he is not with that gorilla and he is not a traitor. Next, the two-headed wolf is being roosted. Jang tells Lin Fan that the chicken worked so hard to bring them there, they should give him two head. He is thinking, since the two human will not eat the grasshopper, he will bury him. But he is like, wait why am I drooling? I want to eat it. No way it's my companion. How could I have such a crazy thoughts? They calls him to eat the two heads and he is only eating it because the two wicked human force him. Yes they are putting their guns on their head to eat it right. The family has got another member now. He has finished up the two head and now he's drooling over the dead body of a grasshopper. It must be his instinct as a hen to eat grasshopper. He will eat the grasshopper to level up and kill those two human. And he is doing it to get revenge for them. And the lost souls are like, for this vile chicken, we are too used to it. Oh and the another family member has joined. They have finished up the two head wolf. The Special Division Action Team, Level 8 Powerhouse, Ren Ling Team comes and they are shocked to see the scene. Could they have defeated all the beast and their pet is helping them to clean up the mess? Next, one guy is picking up the drawing. Uncle Red is telling Zhang that his acupuncture is truly good. And the drawing in the paper, what does it mean? The gorilla realizes that he got poisoned from the attack of that grasshopper. He falls in the sewage system where the two hard workers are working. The Mark guy asks his partner about the market price of gorillas right now. He asks for meat, no, for the zoo. He tells him that's illegal to sell a green hair gorilla. He is thinking if he can make money from this gorilla. But no no his dream is to build a high quality sewage company not some circus. In the chat group people are all talking about the chicken that ate the grasshopper. The alarm is ringing but no one cares it's brother chicken. Zhang is worried it's been sleeping for so long. Did it get sick after eating that grasshopper? The action team of the special department level 8 enhancers group team comes and red hair tell them to take them away. They are confused about what's going on. Now they are locked in the prison. She tells them to lock the chicken in a separate prison. They take away the poor chicken who was sleeping, away from its masters, and locked him in a special black iron cage. She tells the researcher to check their physical health and emotional stability, and yeah also check their DNA. Next, one eye is getting ready to go to the capital headquarter. Red hair comes and he asks her why is she late. Well she was handling three unstable source in the department, while thinking, how dare he recruits two crazy guys behind her back, and even let them have a level 8 beast and walk around. He will be back soon, yes and she will have that talk when he returns back. He holds her hand, uncle gets mad at that pervert. He gives the dragon to let it protect her while he is gone. Now, she is like one-eyed, my love you are caring for me too much. He leaves the city in the hands of his waifu red hair. The foxy informs the king that the two-headed wolf and the grasshopper energy has disappeared and the gorilla energy is also too weak. She notices the paper bird, there's a human's breath in it. He smashes it with a word swoosh. She understand that the national level human have leave the city. She tells him, I got it, I'll tell them. Just with a word swoosh, she understands everything. Now they are ready for the fight. People are walking their pets peacefully on the street. But their peaceful day turns into a horror day after their pets turn into a cursed beast. They are level 3 dog and level 4 tank dogs. The alarm rings cursed energy level 3 4. The level starts to pop out level 5 6. 6 3 7 and the combat strength on the scene is not enough to handle them. He orders them to send the action team on the scene to help people. And now, she is thinking there's a traitor in the headquarter. The beast are attacking people. Owner are throwing their pets because the cursed beast are disguised as a pets. Other dogs on the street are barking the cursed beast and the beast has killed the man who just kicked his pet. A girl is running carrying her dog in her arms. But her dog is also a cursed beast disguised as a pet. But the dog wants to live happily with the girl, she cares for it and loves it. The beast tries to attack her. Her pet turn into a beast to save her. The other cursed beast calls it a traitor, how dare it protect a human. It's a level 6 cursed beast Tengu and it will not let them hurt her. Her pet name is Chuboa and it's trying its best to protect its master. Seeing Chuboa like that she is scared now. Chuboa finally kills the beast. It runs towards her she is scared. Jumps over her and bites the two-headed giant python level 6. Chuboa bites one head but the other one attacks it. Now she is worried about Chuboa. Other snake starts to surround her. It's level 6 evil snake. It jumps and tries to bite her but Chuboa cuts them into pieces. 
The snake has wrap around Chuboa's body and tries to kill Chuboa like that. Now the other snakes are also attacking Chuboa. Chuboa smashes them all. Chuboa uses his gifted attack claw blood rage. Finally the snake is dead. Now, the touching moment of Master and her pet, but an attack comes at Chuboa and hit him. Team level 7 also arrive at the scene. Seeing that the beast is still not dead they try to kill Chuboa. She stops them, don't kill it. This is my Chuboa, it helped me. Please don't kill it. They are shocked a cursed beast saved a human. The attack was from Icy Fox, damn she looks bomb. The Icy Fox attacks are Chuboa. She tries to protect Chuboa. Chuboa moves her away and blocks the attack that pierced through Chuboa's body. The team are shocked that the beast is truly protecting her. But what is more shocking is that humanoid beast. That looks way too hot to be a beast and she's very strong too. The man informs Red Hair they detect the energy level 9. And nearby there's their level 7 team. Now their signal has disappeared. She tells him to inform them by any means to come back or they'll die. He tells her they have come across the place where the level 9 is. She asks him, where are their Yanhai team and the local team? The Yanhai team are fighting with level 8 and level 4 and the local team are also fighting with level 7 beast. They have no other choice now, they can only rely on Ren Ling team. The invisible guy comes to free them saying you should go and protect the civilian right now. Zhang is confused and he's like, who is he? He suddenly appeared. Lin Fan tells him, he is the one sneaking glance at us, impolite. But that's his mission. He tells them protecting civilians is their duty and enters the wrong password and can't enter anymore. Lin Fan just easily comes out of the prison. Let's go. He was just inside because he's a law-abiding citizen. Now they are ready to protect the citizens. Heroes are on their way to protect the world. Next, Zhang asks if they should go and pick the hen. Lin Fan tells him, no need, the hen only eat and they have to work. Invisible who is thinking they are a team and start to have a serious talk. But when he turns back they have already left. He cries. They don't see him as a teammate at all. Shu Boa is dead. And Icy Foxy has also killed all the level 7 team. But Ren Ling team's power expert level 8 Cheng Ming comes carrying a healer with him. She is King King medical expert level 8. Martial expert Xiao Xiao Zhu level 8. Mao Shen Chen Shu. Wu level 8. He uses his talisman to form some kind of formation. Foxy uses her ice shield to block and penetrate through it. The talisman guy gives a signal to King King the healer girl. She asks the girl to come with her. She doesn't want to leave Chuboa but what can she do except run away? Foxy break the formation, sending them all flying. Healer gets shocked to see that and tells the girl to run away. Foxy had never thought they were this strong. And damn she looks good. She uses her ice attack but the bald guy. Wait bald guy, why do we always have a bald guy in every group? He uses his shield. The talisman guy is also using his talisman to block the attack. The healer heals him. Foxy uses her cold bone mist. The attack touches the shield, they start to feel cold. The other two come to see their situation. Their body starts to get freeze. She tells them, don't mind them, go and save the people. They notice the snow can go through their protective barrier. Now they are also feeling cold. None of them stand a chance against the hot Foxy. The alarm is going on about the cursed beast and the safest place for people to take refuge. A girl gets bumped with Lin Fan. She asks if they are there to help them. And yes they are. She tells them there are people that need help. She will guide them there. They have come there. No, my foxy run quickly or they'll eat you. They notice it's 666 team. But without the rooster, why did they come there? They tells them to run away. She is too strong and the rooster isn't there. Now they have come and foxy is ready to give them a gift. She attacks with her eyes. Lin Fan catch them all. They are shocked. How did he do that? Foxy is shocked. They seem so weak but how did he do that? Zhang notice her tail and thinks it's cute. And Lin Fan is like despite having a tail, perhaps she's human, we shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't bro. With a sexy pose, she tells them she is not a human, she is level 9 cursed beast, the female fox from Arctic. Now that she said she is not a human, Lin Fan is ready to get the tail for Zhang to play with. Zhang tells him that might hurt her, but it's just a tail, it won't. In the blink of an eye he appears behind her, and pull out her tail. What the hell Lin Fan, what have you done to her? He gives it to Zhang. Zhang tells him, even it's not a human, it's not good to play with tail, but they will give it back after they play with it. She jumps at Lin Fan with her big claws but Lin Fan grabs her by her hand. System notifies energy that can ease his hunger for 14 weeks. She is shocked, her attack didn't do any damage. What level are they? System shows him how to eat it, beat it until it returns to its original form. Eat with rice, three bowls of rice for a meal. Now he's drooling over her, not in that way okay. He asks Zhang, isn't it lovely? Our man has a good taste in women. The team is shocked, cursed beast. Lovely, are they crazy? Zhang thinks even without the tail it has bit of cuteness, especially its ears. And she is scared of the human who's holding her hands. She uses her eyes to get away from Lin Fan. Now one fox girl versus two mental. Lin Fan is not happy.
He hasn't figured its original form yet. And she is thinking, she has to kill these humans. She shouts, Tun Shui Yu, come out here. I agree with you. System discover an energy that can ease his hunger for 14 weeks. The target is 1000 meters ahead. Suddenly it becomes zero. A big wave of water fell on Lin Fan. He tries to block it but get his leg wrapped by the water. It's a level 9 beast. She tells him she can't kill that guy. He grabs her and tells her now that she agreed. But what did she agree? He will control the water and she will control the ice. They are a perfect match. And for that, they have to kiss. The guy remembers that scene. It's from the drawing that he picked up last time. He tells them to stop them. Don't let them merge with each other. He let go Lin Fan. Now they have fully merged and has become a level 10 monster snow king. With a big smile on his face, he asks if they like to be buried in water. He attacks them with a big wave of water. Lin Fan grabs Zhang and moves from there. The beast comes and attacks them with his tail. Lin Fan blocks it. The system activates defense level S. The attack sent them flying and falling into the water. Zhang asks him if he is okay. He is fine. But the water grabs him again and binds him. The beast creates a big wall of ice around them. Zhang tells him, he can't move but Lin Fan will save him. The beast traps them inside a big chunk of ice. The system warn him to get out of the ice coffin. Next, the cage that is holding the rooster. He wakes up and he has transformed into a human. He notices he is inside a cage, gets mad and flips the cage. Humans can endure it but roosters can't. He is surprised he turned that large cage so easily. And this isn't his wing. He is sad, where did my wing go? Where are my glitter feathers? He is shocked he has turned into a hairless human. But he has become stronger now. He is now a level 9 cursed beast. And with this power he can get his revenge, his freedom and finally kill those evil humans. He flies using his skill power. Fly fast. He is looking for the two humans and finds a strong energy wave. And flies toward it thinking the two must be there. The guy informs Red Hair they detect another level 9. She is shocked. Third level 9 cursed beast is today the doomsday of Yanhai City. She asks if the Ren Ling team signal is still there. He tells her, their signal is still there and one of the level 9 cursed beast's energy waves have disappeared. And now they might be fighting with level 10. She asks him to show their signal on the big screen. Team 666 signal comes on the screen. She is surprised, they were locked. How come they are there? The man tells her, they must have escaped and their level 8 cursed beast, he realizes something. He tells her the level 9 beast has their signal on it. Could it be the beast has upgraded to level 9 and went to rescue its owner? The rooster arrived at the scene. They are shocked it's another level 9 cursed beast. But one guy notices it's brother rooster. They are happy now that brother rooster has level up. He has come to save those two. The ice beast calls him a traitor but he is not a traitor. He is there to kill the two people in the ice cube. He jumps towards the ice cube. The ice beast attacks him. He dodges it all. He yells at him, are you crazy? You almost killed me. We are compatriots. He is not a fool. He clearly saw that the rooster was trying to destroy his ice coffin. The beast attacks him again but the rooster blocks his attack. The team is feeling sorry that they doubt brother rooster and the rooster is telling him that he is not a traitor. He wants to be the incomparable cursed hero. The ice beast tells him that he has the smell of humans and that the neck thing that he is wearing is disgusting. He tells him that he is not a traitor but the beast didn't listen to him even once. He uses his water attack again. Rooster jumps using his skill but he can't avoid it. He uses his ice wall to surround the rooster and laugh at the rooster's pathetic situation. Rooster uses his electric power and the beast gets electric shocked. He is down on his knees, even though it's painful. He is not that weak and attacks the rooster again. He kicks the rooster. The rooster gets hit and the kick sent him flying, crushing onto the wall. He tells him, even though he has three abilities, it's pity that he's so inexperienced in actual combat. The beast jumps toward the rooster again, but he stops after seeing a black fog appearing behind the rooster. One second later, the beast is confused thinking, what happened to me just now? Why do I want to step back? A big whale appears behind the rooster and slams on the beast. The beast is in pain now. Rooster tells him he is there to kill the two humans. But you keep on fighting with me. I have no choice but to defend myself. Stop forcing me. The beast gets mad and attacks him again. The attack is going for his neck and everyone is shocked. Rooster uses his evil eye skill. The beast is shocked. What's going on? What is this illusion? Rooster chopped off the beast's right arm. The beast tells him, possessing so many abilities. You are the champion in level 9. But he is level 10 and stabs the rooster's leg. Then uses his other attack to cut off the rooster's head. The rooster dies. And now he is finally free from his hard life. He doesn't have to lay eggs anymore. The beast tells him, he was truly powerful and has 8 gifted abilities. But it's pity, you faced a level 10. Wait the rooster wakes up and searches for his head. They are all shocked. It's because of his ability otherwise, he'd be dead by now. He is thinking the compatriot is too powerful and he wants to kill him so badly. If he doesn't try his best, he will be killed. 
They start to fight. The beast tells him he is nothing but low-level poultry. Rooster gets hit multiple times and even gets kicked which sent him flying. But he is not down yet. The beast is surprised that a level 9 is pushing him like that. He uses his snow ability that pierces through the rooster's body. But he is also suffering from the after effect of that killer move. He coughed blood and in his blood there is an ability toxic bullet. He gets mad saying I will crush you into dust. Next, the system tells him he only has 10 seconds to break the ice coffin. Now he only has 5 seconds. But you can still break the ice coffin. And Jang is sleeping like a sleeping beauty under the water. The system tells him he can walk to another realm. Finish his mission and become stronger. He gets ready. The system. The host has moved into another realm. The host's world has changed to paused world. And the mission in that realm is to help the descendant of the fire god to be on the right path. Object. Jufei. Notes. Movement 1% physical strength. Next. Two girls are begging him to forgive. They won't run away again. Lin Fan is thinking he has changed into another person again. The lady gives him a stick. He is confused what to do with it. Now he is getting some memories. In his memory, this guy has done many bad things that the Dean don't allow to do. A guy named Wang Ming comes and informs Xu Fei that he has a meeting with Du and Shan Hu. He comes out and tells him that the sisters inside don't wear enough clothes and they are injured. Wang is thinking that his master is thinking the two lady as an old woman. He will find him young one next time. Lin Fan tells him to bring the ladies back home. He gets ready to go for the meeting. Meng opens the door of the car for him and Master Fei thanks him. He is shocked that Master just thanked him. Inside the car they informs Master Fei that Du and Shan Hu has invited the 8th Lord to make them give their territory to them. One guard tells him they can't do that many of their brothers died for that territory. And Lin Fan is thinking, just like last time old Jang isn't here, it's no fun anymore. Although the dean said that I should not believe what a crazy person said. But the crazy person in my head is telling me to complete the mission here, so I can save old Jang. He asks the guard what does being on the right path mean. He replies it's being a good man. They are all scared of their master. They have arrived at the meeting place and Meng gets mad at Du and Shan Hu for bringing so many people in a peaceful meeting place. He tells Fei he will also call some more people. But Master Fei tells him no need, it's fine. The guards are shocked and mad. They have so many people but his face didn't even change. They come inside the room and Du and Shan Hu calls him to sit next to him. He comes and sit right next to him. Du and Shan Hu was expecting that he will sit opposite to him. But now it will be difficult for him to pull out the gun from under the table. An old bald guy, the 8th Lord, their previous meeting was not peaceful. But this time it seemed like, what these guys are doing is making him feel like he is unnecessary in the place. Shan Hu is thinking why did he sit next to him, did he knows there's a gun under the table. Fei orders to bring the food, he's hungry. The food is served and they are thinking did they really come here to eat. He thanks them for inviting him for the meal. He starts to eat and everyone is thinking. He doesn't care about the two big guys sitting right next to him. He has cleaned up the plate. He thanks them for the meal and now he will be leaving. Shan Hu is shocked did he really come here to eat. Not to talk about the territory. He asks Fei to give him his territory while pointing a gun at him. They don't lack guns, they also have two guns with them. Shan Hu tells him, the 8th Lord is here, you haven't even farted and you want to leave. Why does he have to fart? Is there a rule when someone invites you to a meal, you have to fart before leaving? Even Fei is confused. He's like, do you mean I have to fart before leaving? What a weird condition. Then, he really farts. Now, he is done, he will be leaving. But seeing him pointing a gun at him like that, he is ready to play with him. He asks him to shoot first. He will really shoot him. Fei is ready. Now Shan Hu is backing down. He leaves saying, I'll let you go this time. Eighth Lord is impressed by him. He thanks for the meal. Then he leaves. Our man is thanking so many times for the meal. Salute for that. Now, he is mad. His guard informs him that they didn't pay the bill. He is shocked. Like WTF they come, they eat, they farted. And they just leave like that without paying a bill. Now the guest, who they invited has to pay the bill. His guards are praising him for his braveness. And he is thinking, people here invited him for a lunch and even play with him. If old Jang was here, he would like it too. He asks where are they going now? They are going to the orphanage to get their money. They have arrived at the orphanage. And they are ready to destroy the place if the old lady doesn't sell it to them. A little girl saw them and tells the old lady that the bad guys are here again. She tells them the orphanage is the only place for these child, so don't destroy it. He asks if she needs help. He tells her the environment here is not good and an environment can affect the way kids mature. Do you need help? She is thinking he wants to remove the kids from there. He asks if she has money and the guards are like, if you don't then sell this place. She tells them she doesn't have and she can't sell that place. Fei tells Meng to give her the money. But she hasn't signed the contract yet. Doesn't need they are helping them. He is shocked to hear those words, helping them, giving them money. The guards asks why did they give them the money. It's because they are becoming a good guy. Next, two guys has tied up a man, he is a traitor of their gang. They bring him to Master Fei. He asks him why is he hurt. He tells him, 
If old Jang was there he would have healed him with his acupuncture. The guy begs him. That day his mother was fainted suddenly in front of him. So he took her to the hospital. He asks, so your mother is really sick? Yes it's leukemia. He begs him not to kill his mother. The guy with the long hair, he is a police spy. And he has been undercover for three years in Fei Gang. He is thinking Fei will not let that man go because he's a heartless man. Next, Meng and the other's guards has come to the hospital to donate blood for that man's mother. They are confused what is their boss doing. Meng tells them they don't know their boss at all. It's a metaphor, donate blood. It's a blood for blood. Their boss will kill both the son and the mother. The spy guy is giving an info to someone in the phone. Next, the reporter has come in the orphanage and asks the old lady is it true that Faye Group donated to her orphanage? It's true they did. How much? 50 million. Someone is mad thinking how can an old lady give up her dignity so easily and talk good thing about that Faye. Faye is looking at the crime history of his own crimes, while thinking Zhang would be scared if he saw it. He is thinking how can this guy who has done so many bad things become a good person? He remembers. The dean said when you have a problem, you can call the police. He calls the police and their little chat about crime and becoming good people goes for a while. She tells him a criminal must be punished by law and give him some info about crimes and law. He calls and tells Meng that he wanted to become a good person, so he just called the police and asked them. The police said they have to turn in themselves for their crime and they will all do it together. What do you think? He is thinking this must be a test of loyalty. He tells him he will support him even if it's mean to going to the mountain of knives or the frying pan. He tells him to call everyone in the group tomorrow in a restaurant for dinner. People are thinking Brother Fei has invited everyone in the group for a dinner. But the spy is thinking, everyone in the group, he's afraid something big is going to happen. He informs his higher up. It's a 100% pure info. He asks him, he's been undercover for three years. Boyfriend and girlfriend ran away. His pet left him and he can't go home. And even his dog step in a bee. Just kidding, he didn't said that. He tells him, no one has given him an explanation. The man tells him what he is doing is for justice. In order to bring Zhu Fei to justice, he has fought there for three years. But his instinct is telling him this time there will be a reward. The group I enjoying the dinner. A fat guy asks the manager why there are no girls to serve them. The manager tells him, the hotel has given them a holiday for women's care day. But he is thinking why would the girls like to serve scums of society. The guy grabs him saying what kind of shitty holiday is that. He tries to hit him but Fei stops him. He asks if he has eaten all his food. He hasn't thanked him for the food. He was scared to death. He thought he was going to kill him. Fei asks him how is he feeling. He is feeling a bit dizzy. They all starts to pass us out. Meng has completed his mission and now all that left is for them to call the police. He is shocked to call the police. But he is still thinking this must be brother Fei loyalty test. But no, the police has come into the room. Someone reported about their crime. Their own organization member. Fei tells him, it's me, it's me, who made that call. The police officer is shocked. Poor Meng. Fei even gives the other people's evidence. Meng is still thinking this is a test of loyalty. He doesn't want to accept the reality. The officer is checking the spy guy. His director tells him to leave that guy for him. He praises him for his hard work. Zhu Fei Gang has been arrested. Shan Hu is laughing at Fei. He drugged his own men and turned them into the police. Now, without him, the H city is now their territory. But the police come in pointing their guns at them. He has also given his enemies evidence. Shan Hu is cursing him and he even cursed Fei's ancestors. The court has passed their order. But for Zhu Fei, who turned himself in, the death sentence for him is suspended. The spy guy, he's thinking now, he can restore his identity, claim his cat and dog. The police has find out Zhu Fei turning himself is too abnormal. There must be someone behind him. That's why the police wants him to go undercover again. It's hard for him but the organization is ready to give him back his dog and cat and for the boyfriend thing. He is ready to for that. He tells him being an undercover is a very hard thing. Acting skill and emotions are required. Even a minor mistake can lead to death. For the future of the city he is ready to do it again. The risk is too hard for him and so finding a girlfriend or boyfriend too. But he is ready to sacrifice himself to be his boyfriend. In the TV, Fei is informing that he drugged his men and turned them in. They are all looking at him with a dead eyes. He tells them no need to thanks him. He's happy to make them a good person. The spy is thinking the warden must have a grudge against Fei to put him among his brothers together. And the brothers are ready to kill him in the field tomorrow. They are working in the field. He asks Meng to help him bring another bag of seed over there. And fat guy is ready to attack him anytime. He jumps at him with a spoon. Meng comes to protect him but the fat guy gets hit by Zio DeLong. He is the sick mother's son that Fei. They both are loyal to brother Fei even if they are in the prison. They start to attack them. The guards rush to stop them. The fat guy jumps again at Fei. The two of them tells him to go but the fat guy gets a hit on his face. And he gets sent flying far away. Everyone is shocked. Fei tells them playing with that spoon might hurt Meng and DeLong. But he is okay with it. I can play with them. 
They all apologizes. Their brother Fei is still brother Fei, even if he is in prison. Three years later, he donates his allowance to the Flower Children Orphanage. And there are other people too, who likes to donate. He is telling them, if they wants to become good person, they have to donate but the spy guy is already a good person. He is saving the money for the cat food and the dog food. The two loyal followers tells him, how dare he's not following Brother Faye's instruction. He is forced to donate the money. He is thinking he is already on the right path. When can he returns to save old Zhang? The system tells him, the mission is still not complete and if he leaves, Zhu Fei will escape the net of justice and start to do the evil things again. Three more years later, the system tells him the mission is still not complete. He can't go back, and he is almost crying. The spy has come out and now he even has a dog, a cat and a beauty with him. The director congratulates him on his return to the police. Sixty years later he is finally out. People has come to see the man who turned in his whole gang, and keep donating the flower children orphanage from the prison. A little girl comes and thanks him for donating the children's home and calls him a good person. He tells the system. Now the little girl has called him good person. Can he go back to save old Zhang? Man for 60 years he hasn't forgotten his friend. The system, although the nature of Zhu Fei hasn't changed but his life is basically finished. He barely completed the task. His mission status is barely completed. Mission rating is C. Mission reward is flame control ability. The system, the designated task has been completed. The host will leave this place on 3 seconds and the time flow will be restored. The system congratulates him for returning and for barely completing the task. His reward god given skill flame control. Now he can use the skill to break open the ice coffin. He breaks the ice coffin with his strong flame. The beast is shocked to see such a strong flame. The flame comes towards him and engulf him into it. He is vanishes into thin air. Han is shocked level 10 beast has turned into ash just like that. Zhang is happy Lin Fan saved him again. And Rooster's revenge and his freedom. It may take a long time for him to achieve it. Zhang notices the guy looks familiar. He tells them not to kill him, he is mother Hen. And they are like Dean said girls have breasts, hens should have breasts too. Yeah, mother hen is like I'm just flatter. Zhang is thinking can this hen still lay eggs? Mother hen remember what Lin Fan has said at the time. With those words in his mind, he replies he can still lay eggs. Poor mother hen. In the other realm, real Zhu Fei wakes up and finds himself in an old body. What just happened he was with the two sisters is his room. He calls for Wang Meng. He has also has turned into an old man. He asks what year is this? Little girl replies 2080. 66 years of his life is lost somewhere. He squinted his eyes and woke up 66 year later, and he also has become a good person. He cannot bear the fact, he died on the spot. A good man has left this world and Meng is crying that brother Fei left without leaving any descendant in this world. The chicken has turned back to its chicken form and Zhang is asking the team if they needs half-step universe to run the rule of the law. The girl is crying for her Chu Boa. Zhang asks if she need his acupuncture to help Chu Boa. She can trust him, his acupuncture is powerful. He stabs the needles and Chu Boa wakes up. System detect the energy that can ease his hunger for four weeks. He asks Zhang to look at it. Zhang tells him it's not cute. He doesn't get the chance to taste Chu Boa. Yes, Chu Boa is safe now. Poor system. Next, Lin Fan is asking Zhang if he can cure the team but even the world's best acupuncturist is having some doubts. He tells Lin Fan that the flame he threw at them was too strong. He might not be able to cure them. And Lin Fan you have become strong again. Yes, and he thinks it's his fault that they are not waking up. The rooster is shocked to see such a scary fire. Now, that he can't cure them, they are going to help other people that need their help. Rooster is shocked. He never thought that these humans were too strong. Now his plan to get revenge and freedom seems too impossible. But he can't give up now. There must be a strong compatriot who can help him to kill these two. The team wakes up and is surprised to see their injuries seem to be healed. Who cure them the injuries only 10 or national level can cure. Could it be the two newcomers and the chicken brother? It should be they are strong. Yes, with them, the city is safe. They call the headquarter to inform them about what happened. But the headquarter is not picking up their call. Something must happen there. One hour ago, a cockroach has infiltrated the headquarter. A guy informs Red Hair that they detect energy level 10 or higher. 10 or higher it mean it's national level. She asks where. It's here. She is shocked. A hand comes from behind and grabs that man. The man tells Red Hair to run. It's the cockroach king. He snapped his neck. Everyone starts to run. She is shocked. How did he infiltrate in such a high defense center? He comes toward Red Hair, charge with his full speed and tries to kick her. But the dragon from her hand comes out and stops the cockroach. She is safe. If one eye haven't given her the dragon, she would have been dead already. Uncle Red comes and attacks him with a finger sword dance. He grabs the dragon and blocks the attack with it. Uncle uses another attack again. It hits and breaks one of his. I know what is that though. Uncle attacks him again with acrobatic. The attack falls on him like an arrow and cut of his head from his body. She is surprised. The national level just died like that. 
She tells her uncle to watch out. The beast appear from behind and kick him sending him flying and crushing him into the wall. The kick was so strong that it has broken few of his ribs. The beast charge towards him, he uses his attack. But this time it dodges the attack easily. He tries to kick him again but yeah. One Iakea the Nick Fury comes and stops him with his dragon attack. The dragon wrapped around his body and cut off his hand. One Eye uses another 5 element array attack. 5 arrows moves towards the beast. A formation forms and starts to bind his body. Next, we see Red Hair telling One Eye to go to the capital. Even in a situation like that they are calling One Eye there. There must be a traitor among them. And her requested that they accepted to send top level to replace when One Eye leaves. They can be the traitor pawn. So she tells him to check their body if there are any tracker. That's why he checked his body. She tells him to go and after halfway return back. She has a bad feeling if he leaves. The beast will attack the city. He also thinks if he leaves the traitor will surely help the beast to attack the city. Next, One Eye tells Uncle to uses his attack. His attack forms a shape of a net and surrounds around the beast. Nick Fury looks at the sky and calls Thor to come in the Avengers building. Thor couldn't come but he sent his lightning. The lightning falls on the beast and turns him into a black charcoal. Red Hair notices something and tells them it will reborn soon. The beast comes from behind one eye and kick him, sending him flying and crushing into the wall. Because of his injury, he can only use 30% of his power, so he can't even guard that kicked. He remembers the drawing and understands that the beast ability is rebirth. The beast kick him. He dodges and rolls behind the beast. He attacks the beast but the beast dodges it easily. The beast punch him but one eye had blocked that punch. One eye tries to attack the beast with his dragons but the beast hits him sending him flying and crushing in the wall. He gets ready to beat him again but uncle attacks with his dance of sore. The attack hits the beast and one eye also charge towards the beast. He's been guarding that city for years. He is not going down without giving a good fight. Next, the two experts. The rooster notices the energy of higher level beast. Higher than level 10. He is thinking it must be the king he has heard in the rumor. These two must not be stronger than the king. And if he helps him to kill these two, his freedom and revenge is just around the corner. He transform into his human form. He tells them there are people that needs their help. System detect the energy that can ease his hunger for one year. The energy is too strong and there will be many risks. Be careful. He grabs the two of them to find and runs like flash. Even system is warning him to be careful, otherwise he might get into accident. Ha <laughs> They arrived at the place, but Shang is not seeing anyone that needs their help. One eye gets sent out of the building and rolls like a sack of potato in front of him. Jang comes asking if he need his help with acupuncture. One eye tells him to get out of there. The beast jumps from the window and kicks Jang. Lin Fan is shocked but he didn't let Jang fall on the ground. Chang has been severely injured. The demon inside Lin Fan gets unleashed. Rooster is happy that the king is super strong. His freedom is just an inch away from him. Lin Fan tells him to wait for him. He will take him to the dean. Lin Fan is ready to show him hell. Just in a blink of an eye. No, not even in a blink of an eye. He reaches to the beast and punch the beast sending him to the other building. They are shocked to see the demon face of Lin Fan. The beast comes again and tries to punch. And even the beast is shocked his opponent is even stronger than before. His punch didn't land but instead he gets punched. Lin Fan punch slams him on the ground. Even the ground gets shattered. Another one jumps from behind and tries to kick Lin Fan. Lin Fan grabs him by his leg and slams on the ground. Then he makes a big fist and punch the beast that penetrate his stomach. Another one jumps from behind. Tries to punch Lin Fan but in millisecond his neck is being grabbed by Lin Fan. He grabs it so hard that his neck gets separate from the body. And poor chicken, reality has hit him real hard. One Eye is shocked that even a national level is not Lin Fan's opponent. He is smashing the beast every time a new one comes. The beast tries to kick him. He grabs and slams the beast on the ground. One Eye is shocked even though Lin Fan doesn't have fighting experience but his raw power is on different level. The uncle and niece comes out and Lin Fan is killing every beast that pop up after another. They both are shocked to see the sight. This time Lin Fan gets a kick but he's not down. He jumps high and the beast also jumps. Lin Fan gets a punch but the beast is the one that dies. Another one appears and kick him from behind sending him flying to another building. System warns him that his energy is running out. And after 10 seconds, you will be temporarily unable to use it again. The countdown starts and he jumps with his flame. System congratulates him for successfully using the god-given skill flame control. You can now use first stage red fire burning body at your will. Then his fire turns into blue. System congratulates for successfully using second stage cold fire bone. Then it turn into green. System congratulates for successfully using the third stage ghost fire burning element. Then again, the fourth stage earth fire, soul explosion. Now his energy is exhaust. Now the beast is down for real, I think. And our brother chicken is also down on his knee. The super strong king died in front of his eye. This human is too strong and his revenge and freedom is on a hold for now.
He's so terrified that he turns back to chicken again. System tells him the human in front of him shows the loss of vital sign and his heart has stopped beating. Lin Fan tries to wake Chang saying the psycho in his mind is telling him that he's dead. But the dean said not to believe in psycho's word. He tries to wake him up saying, You said you'll help me cultivate. We will be good friends forever. Are you going to lie to me? Are you going to break that promise? Next, Dean and Lin Fan, his first day in the mental hospital. He saw Zhang who was giving his acupuncture to some mental. He asks the dean, who is he? He replies, he is the most abnormal one. Mr. Dean freed the man but Zhang wants to practice his acupuncture. He tells them, they are burying a genius. And the psycho is thanking Dean for saving him. Dean brings him to room 666 and tells him, there will be aunts and uncles to take care of him. He asks for his mother, but she went abroad because of her work. Before going inside he tells them to bring him some training tools, like kitchen knife, wielding torch, chainsaw, hammer. For now, they rush him to the emergency room, saying the patient practiced iron neck kung fu and cut himself. Then again, the patient practiced iron-legged kung fu and broke his legs. And then again, he passed out in the toilet after practicing closed kai. And Jang is also experimenting with all the patients in the mental hospital. They shackles and lock him in a room, with a smile in his face. He tells Dean that he won't do it again. Looking at that face, now he understood why people are always persuaded to let him out. The nurses apologizes to him, and he is thinking to ask one eye to bring a hypnotist to hypnotize all these nurses. And in the eyes of nurses, Zhang's face has totally changed. His before hypnosis face and after hypnosis face. Nurses are tired. Taking care of Lin for straight 24 hours is too tiring. And Zhang is bored from being locked up in a room. But someone has come to pay him a visit. Lin Fan tells him he wants to practice but they don't allow it. Zhang also wants to practice his acupuncture but they stopped him every time. Lin Fan wants to try his acupuncture and Zhang is happy to help him. Zhang asks for his name. Their network match. His name is Lin Fan and he's old Zhang. The nurses wakes up. The patient's has disappeared. Where is he? He is lying outside Zhang's room. Zhang is sad. Now he's never coming to see him again. But Lin Fan comes back again. Zhang is happy. He thought he was never going to come back again. His acupuncture was effective and after the 13th needle, he even saw a bridge and a white man waving his hand at him. Zhang is thinking maybe his lunar orbiting method needs a little more study. Next thing, he is pass out again and Zhang is asking him, when will he come back again? Now I am thinking, how would it feel to get an acupuncture from old Zhang? Next, he has come back again and Zhang thinks the bow on his head is pretty. He gives it to Zhang and he ties it to his hair. Now, they are best friends and Lin Fan even give him a great gift. He will also give him a great gift. It's the upgraded version of Lunar Orbiting Method, the Blue Star Orbiting Method. He stabs Lin Fan saying he is going to get stronger. The nurse takes him to the emergency room again. Eight times in one month. There are not enough people. 24 hours watching him is too tiring. The guards asks him to change people. They are too tired. He is thinking they don't have enough people. How about keeping them together? One is willing to needle and one is willing to take it. Zhang is happy he is going to share a room with someone. Dean tells him he will be living in Lin Fan's room from now on and get along with each other. He is thinking in case Lin Fan is needled to death by Zhang. Would it be better for them? Nurses are shocked. No, he means to heartbreaking. Lin Fan wakes up. Zhang tells him from now on. He will be able to help him with his acupuncture anytime. He will become super strong. And Lin will protect him when he becomes stronger. They will be good friends forever. Next, Lin Fan is telling Zhang to wake up. Inside Zhang's soul mind, what are those shells? He is talking to himself. Whose footprints are those? Who is it? Hurt me. It's hurts. It's hurts so much Lin Fan. Who is Lin Fan? Well, what can you expect from a psycho? The system is shocked his vitals are recovering. Awake, vitals are fully recovered. Zhang opens his eyes, and Lin Fan has always knew he will wake up. He wouldn't lie to him. System is confused what's going on here. Even the system system was fooled. Poor system has been crash. Warning. System crash risk detected. Self-checking has been turned on. Zhang is processing. What had happened? He remembers. That guy kicked him so hard and it hurts. He wants Lin Fan to take revenge for him. He has already beat him to dead so many times. Zhang is like can he die so many times? But he just want him to die once. Lin Fan tells him, then next time only once. The king has joined the family. Next, the rooster wakes up and thinks the vicious human hasn't died yet. Lin Fan asks Zhang, he was badly injured, does it still hurt? It doesn't seem to hurt anymore. They start to look for the one eye and the rooster is also looking for the king to collect his corpse. The rooster starts to search for the king. Zhang asks one eye he is ready to help him with his acupuncture. And one eye is shocked how did he survive from a national level beast attack. He refuses to take his acupuncture. The rooster notice a cockroach. Now that he is hungry from all the work, he gets ready to have his meal. 
Finally the soul of the king has left his soul. And the other lost soul are like, Majority of us have come this way, your majesty. Brewster is thinking he never come to know the real body of the king. And the king is like whose body did you eat just now then? If he was able to talk, he would say that. Now he is feeling the energy bursting inside his body. And the family is thinking he is coming up. The rooster is in pain and they are ready to make his chicken soup. Once he comes up, he didn't die but something else happened. Three of them notices. It's another national level beast. And the family are shocked. This doesn't make any sense. Zhang is surprised how can Hen fly? He asks Lin Fan. Will it not fly away and never come back, won't it? No. Lin Fan calls the hen to come down. And the hen who is thinking he is now as strong as the king and charge toward him and come into Zhang's arm. He can't do a thing, even the king was killed. Three of them are surprised. Not only they killed national level beast but now they also have pet which is national level. She thanks them for saving the Yanhai city. The Yanhai city team is also safe and had defeated the beast. The local team has also defeated the beast. The team 7 is also helping the people. In the chat group, even if they have lost some people be strong and all. Remember the dead, the living are strong. People are also talking about the new team, who saved many people and they are super strong. Red hair who was taking care of one eye. Now he's better. He asks her to go home and take a rest. But she has something to talk about with him. The crisis they are facing hasn't stopped yet. He asks if she has told her uncle about the mole in the capital headquarter. She hasn't. She only told him that the cursed beast will attack after one eye leaves. They starts to talk about how to deal with the mole in the capital. He asks about Lin Fan and Zhang. She has sent them to King Shan Mental Hospital with their pet for the time being. One Eye was worried if she will scold him for recruiting two psychos. But she is grateful that he recruited them. Otherwise, the city would have suffered a great damage. And she is thinking to go to the mental hospital to understand their conditions. He asked if she is going to use their power. Yes, they are super strong and even have a national level pet. But they have to conceal their identity. One Eye suddenly start to feel pain. Someone has planted a green vine in his body. They have brought him to research what's that inside his body. He knocks the glass. The doctor asks to open the communicator. He tells them when the level 9 powerhouse from the capital was sent to pick him up. They had a fight when he was trying to return back. He attacked him but that man was stronger than a level 9. And he also have a special natural ability. They are shocked. How can a fighter have both natural ability and internal energy? One eye tells them. That guy was far stronger than level 9. He had no choice but to kill him. His body fell into the forest reserve on the outskirts of the city. She tells them. His body is the key to know how did he obtain the two abilities. They must hurry and retrieved his body as soon as possible. Red hair is showing Team 7 the location that Chan King team sacrificed their lives to find out. It's the home base of the beasts. But according to the one-eyed, it's the same location that the powerhouse body was fell. Except for Team 7 all other teams were injured. That's why they will carry this mission along with Team 666 to find that powerhouse body, and his name is Zheng Sen. They are happy to carry out the mission with Team 666. She asks them to keep one eye condition secret and asks the healer if there's a way to remove the vines. She thinks maybe level 10 or national level healer can but she remember the world best acupuncturist that healed them, Team 666 Senior. She tells her, they were also attacked by a level 9 beast's special ability. But Team 666 saved them not only the beast energy damage disappeared but their injuries were also healed. Red hair is happy, thinking with their help one eye is saved. Next, King Shan Mental Hospital. Jang tells her, his half-step universe operation method is very complete, he can definitely cure him. Lin Fan also tells her his acupuncture is very good, she is relieved. Employment contract official version. She tells him, if he is ready to conceal their mental illness, then he can sign it. He also give he a contract. It's an insurance measure to prevent her from reneging. She happily sign it and now he is feeling like he has lost something. She is ready to take them to the special department right away. Next, the worst terror of his life has come to give him more terror. Jang tells her to hold any eye still before he stick the needle. They have tied him up nicely. He tells her he can't be distracted when doing acupuncture, so seal his mouth as well. Now he is ready to do acupuncture on him right away. But one girl is confused. Her boss seems to be struggling and refusing desperately. And the chicken, they are saying it's level 9. It should be strong but not that strong to make my legs shake and sweat like this. The needle has been stabbed and the guy tells red hair that chief body temperature is dropping dramatically. Jang tells her, it's all within his expectation. Well, Jang is very good, he never lies. He tells her, boss's carotid and femoral arteries are gone. Jang tells her it's okay, it's normal, well, it's really normal. He tells her the breathing and the heartbeat have stopped. Jang tells her it's okay, he doesn't know why but it's okay. 
He tells her the monitoring data shows that Boss seems to be dead. She is crying. The love of her life just died because of her foolishness. To believed in psychos. Zhang is sad he was supposed to save him. How did he die? Lin Fan tells him. He died might be because of his bad wound. He tells her he's breathing and heartbeat. They are coming back. He is still alive. The girl noticed that the effect of the seed really has been removed. Zhang is relieved that he is not dead yet. That was the most risky operation but it was a successful one. The man informs her that Boss's body is continuing to be healed. Well, that was expected from the best acupuncturist. Next, they have conceal Lin Fan and Zhang identity but the national level beast. They can't conceal it for long. The guy is thinking if other country knows about it. No the world powerhouses will keep an eye on them. She is thinking with this everyone attention will be directed to their national level pet and no one will notice Zhang and Lin Fan. She is thinking Lin Fan and Zhang's battle power is not possible to hide for long. But with this fake info, the two of them will be a trump card against the mole. In the chat group, it's been known that Team 666 pet is a national level beast. They are all talking about the beast and the Team 666. Next, they have come to the forest. They have detect the level 7 beast and to ensure their safety, before searching the corpse, they are going to kill those beasts. Now they are searching for the beasts. Zhang asks if he is tired he can hold the chicken. But the chicken is too heavy, Zhang will be tired of holding it. The two gets ready to hold it. Chicken is fed up with those two. He spread his wings and flies in the sky. He uses his the beast ability fast fly. Where is he trying to go? We'll know it in the next part. Just kidding. While flying, Rooster is thinking how to save his kindreds from these two humans. But he suddenly realizes, they are here to find the body of level 9 human. He comes down and transform into human, and tells them he will find the dead body and bring it to them. He asks his masters if they can let him go. Lin Fan tells Zhang that the hen is trying to escape, should I just knock it out? He runs towards Lin Fan and grabs his hand and asks to let him go and find it himself first. They are shocked. Chicken brother is so strong but he is still asking Lin Fan permission. Lin Fan doesn't allow him to go alone. He is shocked. Zhang used the same trick at that time. But why doesn't his working? It's supposed to work. Zhang tells him. The hen is a girl and Dean said not to bully girls so let the hen go. Lin Fan also thinks even though her breast is flat, she is still a girl, he'll let her go. They are also thinking if they need to buy the kind of clothes that girls wear. She doesn't want that kind of clothes and she won't wear it. Now that she got the permission she leaves for her search. He suddenly notices that he has fly far away. Now, he's like I'm free. I'm running away. Only fools wouldn't run. He bumped into something. It's a five elements evil binding formation. And some people are killing his kindreds. The hen gets mad. How dare they massacre of his compatriots. They are also there for the dead body of that nine level. They can't let his body falls into other people's hand. But suddenly an attack falls on him but he dodges the attack. He notices the energy wave it's a national level beast. The man notices the color on the rooster's neck. It's the national level pet that's on the rumor right now. So the Yanhai city are already here, they are in trouble. The rooster attacks the guy with his lightning but the guy dodges the attack. The guy is thinking he could have left if it wasn't for this chicken. And the chicken is using his long range attack arc of lightning as a practice to deal with those two human later. The guy starts to run and the rooster is also following the guy. Another attacks comes he dodges the attack again. Wait, is it he or she? Well let's consider it as he for now. The rooster flies straight at him with his skill. The guy dodges it using the ability shadow. He escaped from the claws of that rooster. Rooster noticed something the power he just used. He felt the new beast energy infinite rebirth. It's the beast king's ability. Now, now, he realizes could it be the cockroach that he ate was the real body of the king. The beast king is like now, you get it you son of a gun. He's on his knees and the family is thinking looks like he's still in awe of the king. But no, he is happy that he inherit the wool of the king and he will use this power to kill those two human to avenge him. The other beasts come saying traitor. He tells them is not a traitor, it's the national level human that slaughter their kind. He is trying to avenge them, but they are not going to believe his lie. He tells them to run away two human monsters are coming but they have already sensed their energy wave. They are 8th level team and two weak human. They can't kill them, since they are not running he will run away. He doesn't want to be caught again. But he comes across the two human, they thank him for leading the way, and calls him to come down. Now all kinds of thought are running in his mind. What should he do to run or to become a hen that lay eggs every day? Lin Fan is ready with his black fire and they has also find the dead body. The rooster comes asking them to stop. Next, the rooster tells them, they have surrendered, haven't you? No, they will never surrender, you traitor. Next thing, they have become a delicious food. Four of them are surprised, how can they eat it? But it looks delicious. Poor rooster who is mourning for them. And he is not a traitor, he is an evil hero. He did save them. Next, Lin Fan was ready to burn them with his black flame. 
Rooster stops him saying if they don't surrender then he will kill them. The beasts are calling him traitor for protecting the weak human but they don't know the truth. He uses his beast's evil eye. And the beasts are seeing some illusion. And he cuts them with his 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 sword style. He killed them because he knows. If the human uses his flame, the flame that even the king who has infinite rebirth ability was killed. From what he understands that the black flame can even terminate the soul. So if they died by his hands they may not be completely dead. And may have another life. But if they died by the hand of that vicious human, they will not even have another life. Zhang comes and asks him why is he crying. He gives him the meat saying it's delicious. Rooster tells him he is also a cursed beast sooner or later. They will also eat him. Zhang tells him they are friends and friends protect each other. He asks him is this your human rule? Can I trust you? But I'm just a chicken. Yes, he is not lying after all. Hen lays superb eggs. That par. Where he just said eggs that word made him freeze in the ice cube. They are eating and the poor rooster is still mourning. The team is also drooling over the food. They ask if they want to eat but they are fine. Actually, they can't eat it. The poor rooster is mourning while eating. He is not betraying. He is saving. Their meat is so tasty. His system is very thoughtful and it has even given him some beers. Lin Fan asks Shang if he wants to eat the thing the psycho in his mind gave him. The team is shocked where did he get the beer from. They can't eat the grilled meat but they can drink the beer. Now they are having a blast in the forest. One guy even brings the chicken brother who is eating and mourning alone to drink bear with them. Now they are dancing around the fire. Next, One-Eyed wakes up and the first word that comes out of his mouth, it's burgundy. She asks what's burgundy. He tells her it's nothing. He just wants to have some drinks. But he just woke of so no drinks. She comes close asking what's with your eyes and what's with this nosebleed? Well, it's bit hot. He asks how long has he been sleeping? He's been sleeping for 36 hours after Zhang gave him the needle. She tells him, there shouldn't be any after effect. Yes, there is. I think he is getting horny just by looking at her melons. He asks about the two psychos. She has sent them with Team 7 to search for Zheng Sen's body. He tells her, the forest is very large and there are many level 7 beasts. She also agrees that the search is predicted to be hard and dangerous. Well, the search doesn't seem that hard though. Lin Fan is dancing and the rooster is mourning. They are have a great party in the forest. Now, they have all fallen asleep expect for one, who is drinking beer because it's too tasty. He has drank many cans of beer. And now, he's thinking that from on, no compatriots will understand him. He embarked on a path destined to be alone. Next morning, they are like the mission has become like a vacation to them. It's like a field trip. They return back with the dead body. Uncle and One-Eyed comes saying they have received a high-risk message sent only by the national level. One-Eye tells her that Kang City has been terminated. It was at the time when national level beast attacked Yanhai City. And the beast that attacked Kang City was a super national level. Their communication with the headquarter was completely shut and after two hours they sent a video. Powerhouses were tortured and they were begging for dead. The entire Kang city has been taken over by the evil beasts. She is shocked. Not only they are intelligence, but also has the ability to make strategies. And they can even use human high tech. She suddenly collapsed. Next, a human powerhouse super national level. The guy comes and apologizes that he couldn't bring back the dead body. And tells him it's because of the national level beast that chicken. He also tells him, the beast was just a level 3 not long ago but after devouring its fellow energy it has become a national level. He tells him to solve the beast issue but he can't beat it. He asks him if he has heard about the Kang city. He has. A person named Wen Zai Amal has convinced the headquarter to rescue the powerhouses of Kang city. And no one can stop her. The guy tells him, she will just go there and die. Well, it's none of their concern. He tells him, the headquarter will send two national level with Zai Amal. And the nearby city will also send their team of strong. You'll be going with them. Find a chance to solve the national level chicken. He already said he can't beat it. He tells him, the beast is in the Yanhai city because he has some benefit in there. Give him a better benefit he will come to their side. Next, one eye informs her, the rescue team is led by a super national level. And the nearby cities were asked to send at least one team of nine level powerhouses to join the rescue team. She tells him to send Yanhai team. But he thinks they are too weak for that rescue team and suggests to send Team 666. But she wants to keep them as their trump card if the city is attacked again. Because they haven't find out about the mole yet. And a reason for one eye to return back from his halfway. Otherwise, the headquarter will not let him go. The reason why she fainted was because her mother was the military advisor of the Kang city. He tells her, it will be best for Team 666 to go there. And if her mother is still alive, he believes they will be able to rescue her. Uncle notices her crying, he comes inside, seeing one eye making his niece cry. He attacks one eye. Next, he is ready to send them but they are confused, why are they here? He brings the invisible guy to make their mission easy for them. 
He tells them, the place they are going is very dangerous. And always keep your safety first and then think about saving others. Invisible asks if they still remember him. Yeah, you're the good guy that let us out. They are excited to be in the air and the chicken is like, two human being who have never seen the world. He flies outside showing his skill. And a dead beast is crying saying he is using his ability. A guy who was watching the helicopter, notices the energy of national level beast, and shoot an arrow at him. And the rooster who is thinking, attack of a national level powerhouse, you want to die. But a shadow like something appears and stop the chicken and the arrow. A girl who is a healer was the one who stopped the arrow. Because the beast is sent by Yan Hai City not an enemy. He is shocked to hear a national level as a pet. The black shadow disappears and the brother chicken falls along with the arrow. The guy is still shocked how can they have a national level cursed beast as a pet. Lin Fan catch the chicken and now the guy believe that it's their pet. She welcomes them, and she wasn't expecting the national level beast to join in their rescue team. Rooster is shocked to see the woman that stopped him in the midair. Chang asks what happened to the hen and Lin Fan the hen to lay eggs. And the hen is like you have already eaten today's two eggs, haven't you? Invisible comes saying I'm their supervisor, and she is thinking, the new team is ignoring her. The arrow guy comes saying, Yan Hai City to rely on a beast, how dare you be so arrogant? Zhang asks Lin Fan what are they talking about. He doesn't know, but it shouldn't matter. The guy is the capital headquarters, one of the five national level powerhouse of the special talent type, Lai Desheng. And the other guy is also one of the five national level powerhouses, Maoshan Jingmo. Rooster recognizes him, and the guy is also thinking even though it has recognizes him, he isn't telling his owner, so he is not loyal to them. Rooster is thinking, he would have killed him right away if it wasn't for these two vicious humans. And the guy is thinking he may be able to ask the chicken to join him. And the rooster is thinking, he is provoking me, just you wait I'm going to kill you. Now they are going to wait for the people from Hang and Zinfeng cities to come, from noon to dusk, but no one has come yet. The arrow guy gets a text, he shows it to the lady. And the Hang cities has declined their request of going to the hell together. They gets happy after seeing the Zinfeng cities has sent their powerhouses. They are level 9 powerhouses. Brother and sister, brother's name, Wu Feng and sister's Wu Yu. They both are gifted with ability wind and rain. That can disappear in thin air. Their battle power is very low. They are best in escaping. The arrow guy is mad. Why they sent people that are only good at running away. The arrow guy is cursing the boss of Zinfeng City for sending people who are only experts in running away. Sister asks her brother, why is he cursing our boss? Is he not happy with us? He tells her, we can escape anytime but he can't, so we shouldn't argue with a dying man. The arrow gets mad but the lady tells him, the city's bosses are only trying to protect the powerhouses. After all, this trip is very dangerous. But she is happy that, they are the only two who volunteered. The hoodie guy is thinking, he is not there to protect anyone, but he knows why the arrow guy volunteered. Even we can clearly see why. The woods on the outskirts of the Kang city. They have to go through the forest to reach the city. She tells them, she will use her skill, the hidden breath field, to hide their presence. And the distance between them and her cannot exceed 500 meters. She uses her hidden breath field. Now they begin their mission. In the wood area on the outskirts of the Kang city, the hoodie guy gets ready to start his mission. He cuts his finger and draws something with his blood on a tree. The beast notices the aura of human powerhouses. The lady informs them they have been discovered. Zhang screams, discovered. We can't be discovered. WTF. Why is he even screaming? He doesn't even know why is he there on the first place. She tells them, one level 5 at 1 o'clock, two level 4 is at 10 o'clock, one level 8 at 6 o'clock. But the one at 6 o'clock is very fast. She tells them to watch out. The beast comes straight at Lin Fan and Zhang. The arrow guy is surprised to see its speed, and the hoodie guy is telling them to rest in peace. But the rooster blocks the beast. The beast is going to die, so he can't just stand by and watch it die. Lin Fan asks Zhang to take a look at it, and the rooster is like he saw it. The next he'll cook it, and the system has detected energy that can ease his hunger for 10 weeks. The rooster chopped the beast and the beast notices. It's the betraying rooster of Yanhai City. The reason he stopped running and stayed with these evil humans was to protect his fellow beasts. The brother and sister is happy that it's a beast that truly protects humans. The lady and the arrow is surprised that they can feel its eagerness to save people. The hoodie is shocked. It can't be really that loyal to Nanhai City. Otherwise why doesn't it confront me? Now, he is going to look for another chance to complete his mission. Zhang joins the beast's body back, saying this is still cute. Lin Fan is happy. Next, they are confused. Why are they found? As long as they are in her hidden breath field, all scent will be hidden. Unless someone is using an open fire to cook food. They are enjoying the food and the rooster is mourning while drinking his beer. She yells at them. They are infiltrating the enemy site now. What the hell is this barbecue? Two are shocked. What barbecue and two are smelling something good? The news of barbecue of their fellow beast has reached level 9. A wolf girl of the round moon. 
Another beast comes saying, what smells so good in the middle of the night? They greet him, it's their lord, and it's a national level, the male ant king. And he is thinking, the video they sent is not enough, they are really looking for death. Next, they put out the fire but our heroes save the meat, so the beer. She grabs Zhang and Arrow grabs Lin Fan and tells them to run. They have to leave now. If they don't they will definitely attract stronger evil creatures. She runs crying, while thinking, Iris, it's not that I don't want to save you, it's my teammates who are too unreliable. They gets attacked by a whip and it's the wolf girl. Ant-Man also comes and he has already chopped off the rooster's head. They are all shocked to see the rooster's head. Jang starts to cry seeing the hen is dead. The hoodie is thinking his mission is ruined. Now the rooster is dead. Jang is crying and Lin Fan gets ready to get revenge for the hen. The healer uses her buff on the arrow and hoodie. Arrow tells the level 9 to stand back but they are already disappears in thin air. Hoodie is thinking the national level killed the rooster, it will be hard to fight. He needs to find an opportunity to run. The Ant King comes in front of the Hoodie saying traitors I hate them most. Hoodie is shocked, can he reads minds. Ant King punch him sending him flying and slamming into the tree. An arrow comes straight at him. He dodges the attack and jumps onto the tree. Healer comes to heal the Hoodie. While healing the Hoodie, she uses her field control, triple speed, triple power on the arrow. He shot and pierced through the chest of the wolf girl. The healer shouts watch out. The Ant King jumps straight at him. He dodges the attack, but the attack comes straight at Lin Fan. Lin Fan also gets ready to get the rooster's revenge. But the rooster blocked the attack saying don't go near this human bitch. Jang is happy that the hen is still alive. And everyone is shocked. Even after his head got cut off, he is still alive. Ant King takes his steps back. He is also surprised. How is that hen not dead? Next, rooster who was eating beer and drinking meat. Oh, sorry, drinking beer and eating meat. The Ant King comes and caught him red-handed. The Ant King has also heard about the traitor of the Yanhai city. But he is not a traitor. He is staying with humans to protect fellow evil beasts. But the Ant King chopped his head in a blink of an eye. He takes his head to show all the beasts and human. The result of a traitor. Next, Jang is happy that the hen is alive. And he is surprised. Why is this human so happy? Because I'm not dead. And Lin Fan is like, now that you're not dead, I'll have eggs tomorrow. He tells Lin Fan that he will kill all the beasts that attacks them. He doesn't have to do it, is that okay? Hoodie is surprised, why the rooster is trying to protect the newbies. And Healer is also surprised, the rooster is so loyal to the newbie. The Ant King is confused, why can't he read the rooster's heart? From the moment when a traitor pierced his chest, he was able to hear all the traitor hearts. And the rooster is clearly serving as a pet for a human powerhouse. He is a traitor, but why can't he read his heart? The wolf tells him to watch out, and he is thinking, if his mind reading power doesn't work, Rooster comes and attack him with his kick and send him flying far away. But he is not down. He uses some kind of earth magic to bind the rooster's legs. And he jumps high and uses his skill, rock crushing fist. Although the ant had cut of his head, he's still his compatriot. For the sake of their next life, he can't hold back anymore. He uses his illusion ability. Then a strong electric energy. Everyone is shocked to see such a strong energy wave. And the rooster who is crying, he is just trying to save them. Forgive him, his fellow evil beast. The ant uses his antennae to give a signal. Rooster shoot him with his came hay. Someone comes and saved him at the right moment. It was his brother. He gets shocked to see the after effect of that attack. He gets excited to see the rooster is strong. But if his brother didn't come at the right time he would have died. The team is shocked to see another national level beasts. His brother is glad. He knows how to send the antennae signal. Then, he punch him saying you should have called me earlier. You almost died because of your arrogance. He would have saved himself anyway. But you almost died. They starts to talk using their antennae, and Jang remembers that scene kinda look familiar. Rooster is thinking they must be discussing about the battle plan, and Hoodie is thinking if the two national level join hands, they will be very strong, I have to escape. The rooster to protect the two brothers he breaks the earth binding, and comes in front of Zhang and Lin Fan, so the brothers won't attack them. He uses his Kami, Hami, again. The brother comes behind him in a split second and severed his neck from his body. Jang is sad and everyone is shocked that the hen died in a split second. He puts his leg on Rooster's head saying, I don't care why you are with humans. He is city level which is also known as national level, male ant king second royal husband. He smashes the head saying if you want to kill my brother then you have to die. Hoodie and the brother and sister are shocked to see the speed of that beast. His brother tells him it's useless cutting his head off. But he tells him, haven't you heard of the two-headed wolf ability, subhead? Cutting off one head won't kill it, but the head taken down will take three days to grow back, and in these three days, cutting off its other head, it will die. Other two are shocked to hear that, and Zhang is crying that their hen died again, boo-hoo. Lin Fan, our hen, 
The brother and sister are shocked that the hen was so loyal. He died protecting his masters. Now the rooster is dead. They have no choice but to fight. But they have no chance to win though. Hoodie is shocked to see the loyalty of the rooster. How can it be so loyal to Yan Han? No it's not true. How can there be such a loyal cursed beast in the world? Now they gets ready to take care of the two humans. Lin also gets ready to avenge the hen because Zhang is crying of her. Rooster jumps from behind saying I told you to stay away from these humans. He dodges that kicked. He is shocked and Zhang is happy his hen is still alive. Everyone is happy to see the rooster is still alive. And the king is mad because that's his ability. He even grabs, wait what is that? Is that cloud? Yes, he even grabs the cloud by its neck. The ant is thinking, the body is fake. But no, he remembers, the rooster is not only strong but also have many abilities. He has heard that the rooster devours his fellow beast. Could it be he can also fuse the beast abilities? He sent a signal to his brother, he gets shocked, and he is like, in addition, the ability of reading traitors' minds is also useless to him. They have to take the wolf girl and retreat, they are no match for that rooster. They take the wolf girl and retreat. And finally, yes, finally there is someone who understand the rooster. He is happy that they are leaving. His duty to protect his fellow beasts has finally fulfilled, at least for now. The lady tells them, they can't let them leave, they will come back with a grand level beast. Arrow shoots an arrow at them. The ant dodges the arrow, comes and gives a cut on the arrow's chest. Hoodie is thinking, he has to run to run or it'll be worse if he didn't run. And Rooster is like, WTF, why did you come back run quickly? One brother grabs Shang and the other one grabs Lin Fan, saying it was their strategy to run away and attack again. Now, they have taken the two humans, they ask him to tell his weakness. The ant is thinking, he is so scared, now he is shaking with fear, they really are your weakness. No, they are not, he is just worried that they will kill and eat you. The ant asks, what is your Achilles heel? He pointed at Lin Fan, he gets mad, I'm talking about your fatal weakness. And the rooster is like, how can you guys not get it? If you won't let him go, I won't be able to save you. The ant gets ready to cut Zhang. The rooster remembers, if Zhang gets sacrifice, Lin Fan will gain power. The ant gets ready to cut Zhang and Lin Fan is also looking at him. Rooster comes screaming, you can't hurt him. He is shocked to the point of being stunned. How much does he love them? He saved Zhang using his speed fly, plus change air, instant flash. Ant is shocked he is faster than him, but he pierces his hand through the rooster chest. Zhang is sad again, and the two are shocked. Hoodie and the brother and sister is touched by the rooster, seeing how he is willing to sacrifice himself to protect his masters. The beasts are also shocked to see, he is so loyal to those two humans. Zhang is crying he died because he saved him, and the rooster is happy that he saved his compatriots. Lin Fan tells Zhang that he will help the hen to get revenge, this time for sure. The ant is shocked, that human was here right now, when did he reach there? Lin Fan punched the ant sending him flying, his brother catch him in the midair. He realizes that this human is super strong. Lin Fan jumps behind them using the speed of wind teleportation magic, and punch them both, they both get slammed on the ground. Now, the team is shocked, the big shot was this newcomer. They have never, not even in a million year have expected that. Lin Fan asks, should I kill them? No. Give his fellow cursed beasts a break. Zhang is like the hen is in so much pain, she must be refusing to forgive them. It means they must be beaten to death. Shut up. He didn't mean that. Lin Fan gets read to get revenge for the hen. Hen is like, no need for revenge. I'm still alive. The wolf girl attacks using her Night Fang Boruto, sorry, Night Fang Bakuro. She tries to attack him from behind. But she never expected that he would come from behind. A big punch comes straight at her. The two brothers use their helmet of Ansa's shield. Lin Fan punch the shield. The shield gets crack. Next, Kang City's apartment headquarters building. A man gets a signal. A fox or a wolf has bring him some documents but he has already left the office. A woman or a man who is cutting a flowers also gets the signal. A girl has brought her some flowers but the lord is not there. The punch that Lin Fan landed on the shield. Its effect is so powerful, but the shield has not been broken yet. The team is shocked that the newcomer, he can even beat the two national level beasts to the ground. And the two poor brothers, who are thinking they were careless. Yes, they should have escaped, when there was still a chance. But now, the Grim Reaper is knocking at their shield. Next, a national level, King of Ants, Dayuang Fu Yu, has come with his sword. The system warns him, dangerous venom that can damage the host's body has been detected. Please avoid exposure to it. He dodges the venom. Another national level has come, King of Ants Sin Hyung Fu Lai. The system warns him, the five evil beast energies are enough to cause a life threat to the host. Please be cautious against them. You may risk your life fighting them. Brother and sister in the hoodie are trembling in fear after seeing four national levels. Now they are F. Hoodie is thinking too, he'd better run, but the newcomer is also stronger than a grand level. And if he survives, then his identity as a traitor will be exposed. Although he can easily silence those who are below the national level. 
But in case Lin Fan or the rooster survive, then he will be F. He'd better observe a little more. The ant charged with his sword. System warns him, the strike is powerful and destructive. Not recommended to endure it. He dodges that attack but another attack comes at him and it's the third sword style, Onijiri. Venom brother comes and starts to heal the wolf girl. One brother tells him that man looks weak but do not take him lightly. He starts to heal his two brothers. The rooster who is thinking, he wants to save his compatriots but he is too wounded. And even if they are strong, once that vicious human uses black flame, they will become a grilled ants. Healer notices that the ant is also a healer, she must not let him heal the other two. She also uses her power to buff Lin Fan. Domain control, three times. Reinforcement, the system shout. Not bad, the host obtains the teammate's buff. The battle power increases 100% full cowling. She is shocked that her power in her body has been emptied. And why can't she buff anymore? The system tells him, the current battle power value has exceeded the total battle power of the evil beast energy body. Go on, beat them all. Using his lightning speed, he punches the ant and sends him flying. Breaking one too, oh only one of the trees. The ant is surprised to see his power. It's been long time since he has met a human who is this strong. The lady is happy and shocked at the same time. She couldn't buff him because he is the strongest of all people she has assisted so far. She can no longer buff him, he is already three times above the national level. Lin Fan jumps at him to give him a Superman punch, but the punch couldn't land because someone has spit venom at him. Now, we are getting the main dish. Yes yes yes, it's four versus one. Come on, let's do the bet. Who will wins? I bet 10 million on Lin Fan. Four of them jump at him. Lin Fan punch one and slams him on the ground. Then he attacks the other one from behind. He spit bloods then falls on the ground. The sword ant gets a chance to use his, Oni Jiri. Lin Fan comes from behind and tries to punch him. But he uses his sword to block it. He is mad. Lin Fan is so strong and he cannot land a single Oni Jiri on him. Venom uses his venom to attack Lin Fan. The system tells him another sneak attack. Beware my host. He dodges the venom. And the venom ant is confused. Where did Lin Fan go? He jumps from behind and punch him. He spit bloods and slams on the ground. Brother and sister are shocked that Lin Fan is so strong and Hoodie is glad that he didn't run away. The lady is thinking, after one buff, she can't make another buff but she will enhance his ability a bit. The big ant gives his brothers a signal. He uses anthropogenic helmet. The system tells him to protect the supporting team. Protect the healer this is the principle of team combat off. If not for her 100% increase in your speed and strength. Your schoolboy's fighting skill is no match to these ants. Wait a minute. His schoolboy's fighting skills, man the system is savage. Arrow attacks the wolf girl with his arrow. It pierce her again. She is just getting pierced again and again. Next time, don't heal her brother ant. And now, she is thinking. With the protection of the national level, she can't kill the healer. You can't, you are just a level 9. Don't meddle in her you will die little wolf. The system warns him. The total energy value of the evil beast X4 in the defense shield is abnormally tunneling up. The system senses danger, advise the host to make a preemptive strike. He punches the shield but gets shocked to see. An attack comes straight at him. He dodges the attack, system tells him he can't dodge it. If he does, it will go straight at the healer. Arrow protects the love of his life and they rolls together. They have suffered some damage. And the system is like, even I, a wise system can't know what his strategy is. What do you expect from a psycho? Miserable system. The wolf is happy. Now they have lost their combat power and the princes have completed the merging. The team is shocked. The ants have become a grand national level. The four brothers have become one. National level, green pale ant king. And the system is like finally the host will die and I will change a host. Man this system, it knows how to crack some jokes, huh? The rooster is thinking. Now that his compatriot has become grand national level, they should be able to kill that vicious human. But he still have his black fire. They have to be careful. He asks Zhang to use his acupuncture to heal him. Zhang is always ready for that. He will cure him in a minute. The ant uses his attack, Lin Fan dodges it. The system, warning, warning, stroke by this, even your invincible body will be all broken. And the venomous sword, whoever is hit by the sword will die. I do not want to die with the host. The system collapse, Lin Fan dodges the attack again. He takes out his black fire, his trump card. He attacks with the fire and the system is like there is a chance. If he burns him with that fire, the ant also notices that the fire is dangerous. He chanted blue pale devouring. It sucks all his black fire in, then he uses his celestial sword. A big sword appears, forming a red flame on its tip. Lin Fan also changes his fire from black to red. 
and the system is like, use the low energy consuming red fire's instant burst to resist. Who says the host has no strategy? Oh it was me. The forest is on fire and the lady is thinking as Lin Fan is a national level powerhouse. Brother, sister is shocked to see. He is so strong and Hoodie is also thinking. Could he be stronger than I? Is because our MC is blocking the sword with his one hand. System notifies. He is still far from being a legendary powerhouse. Though the power is already close. After all, the Kai Gong cultivation method always helped the host to become stronger, and that the host has been absorbing the evil beast energy. But the hosts still lack practical experience, so the moves are too simple. In addition, when fighting by instinct, he will not use his own strength, speed and skills, so his performance is far below his own true power. Never used 100% of his power, at most 50%. The ant is shocked he blocked his sword. The system suggests him to upgrade the system, so it can help him to bring out his own power and significantly increase his battle power. Ant gets mad that he is destroying his sword, and the system, to upgrade it, it will take little time. He charges towards Lin Fan and the system. The opponent will not give us time. It's over. The host has used too much red fire to resist the sword. Even if the opponent is close, he can't use the black fire for the time being. System accepts their death. But the evil hero comes and stop the ant. He uses his beast energy full body titanium. But he gets punch. He is just trying to save his compatriot. If Lin Fan uses his black flame, the ant will die for sure. And with the power of the king, as long as he's alive, he will try to stop other compatriot from getting close to this evil human. Now the pet is by them some time. The system upgrade is in process and it's starting to load battle power. Guide the host to close vision. Get into silent state to speed up the system upgrade. The ant is mad at him for trying to protect the human time and time again. And the rooster, even if the venom got inside his body, he can still move. He will protect his fellow beast. The ant jumps at Lin Fan but the rooster stops him again. He gets beat up real bad. The punch from Grand National level killed him. New one jumps and bind the ant. Some soul is crying. He is using his ability. The ant breaks his binding. Now, he is really pissed off by that annoying chicken. The ant has stabbed the rooster with his venom rose, so he can die slowly. Brother and sister are crying seeing the miserable state of the chicken. And even Hoodie is thinking, he is the most loyal accompanying pet he has seen. Jang is crying. He was trying to make the hen as strong as Lin Fan, but something was wrong with his whole universe operation method. Arrow and Lady are also shocked to see the loyalty of the chicken. She asks the arrow to help her sit up. She starts to recover herself, and in that state of rooster, he won't be able to protect Lin Fan. Rooster tries to stop him. The upgrade gets complete, and loaded the actual battle guide program in the wild battle mode. Guide the host to feel the flow of each flame and precisely manipulate the red flame. The sword gets melt and the ant is shocked. The system, guide the host to direct the fire and focus the energy to enhance the power. First level red fire proficiency has reached 60%. Guiding the host to unlock the god-given skill, flame control, first order red fire skill. He uses his fire at the ant. The ant blocks the fire with his pale blue devouring. Lin Fan jumps from behind with his black flame, seeing his dead coming with his own eyes. He uses his skill, black obsidian swapping with the rooster. Now, he is stabs with the venom roses, and the rooster who is suddenly feeling comfortable. Now, he is seeing his life flashing before his eyes. With the teary eyes he is thinking, he is going to die now. Lin Fan changes the direction of his attack and hurt himself. Well, you can't ignore your pet, he did the right thing. It's not a right thing, he just saved the egg machine that lays two eggs every morning. Just a joke. The rooster is shocked. Did the evil human just saved him? The ant tells him. He is the first human to force him to use obsidian swapping to save his life. And the black fire that makes him tremble in fear. But that the reason, he won't allow him to set foot in Kang City. He attacks him with the venom. The system tells him to change his breath to mutane red fire to attack the venom. The ant, who doesn't have much energy, uses all his energy on his one attack. The system warns him a powerful move with great damage has been detected. The host has been locked in the move and cannot defeat it unless he uses a move of equal strength. The attack comes straight at him. The system tells him to resist. Mobilize all the earth rank power in your body. Fuse with a large amount of red fire and explode. He uses his fire in the system. The host has been stagnant for a long time in the late earth stage. Please spare no effort to use all the energy in your body. He gets ready to hit the attack. System, resist this powerful killing move at the same time and reach the heavenly stage. Everyone is shocked to see such an overwhelming power. The healer uses her skill, domain control, double the power. One time speed up on Lin Fan. He gets the buff, hunches the attack, and is shocked. Why? Because he is flying. He slams on the ground and spit blood from his mouth. But he mustn't lose, because someone named Ah Heng is still in seclusion. And the ant must keep these human out of the Kang city. 
but he closes his eyes. He falls and behind him is a beautiful round moon. The moon turns red. System, they are affected by a mental power. The host has no mental power, only mental illness. The resistance is zero. The rooster is also feeling the pressure. Other team members are also down. It's the power of grand national level or maybe above it. And she is just a phantom, no name or anything. She asks if they are here to rescue the people in the video or to crush her and take back the Kang city. She connects her antenna with the Ant King and finds out that they have hurt her subordinates and even roasted her fellow beasts. She gets ready to show them her wrath. The system tells him he has not broken through the heavenly stage. He is no match for her. But Chang is totally fine. He is just feeling little dizzy. System is shocked. How is he fine as such a pressure? Lin Fan is worried about Chang. The system is like, what are you worried about? He is just dizzy. You can't even move in this pressure. The big nasty ant is also surprised. Why is he not suppressed by her field? Who is he? The elemental soul. And what is this elemental soul? Zhang is a total mystery. His age is more than 100 years but he still looks like in his 20s. She will let them go for this time. But if they insist on approaching, there will be no return. Then, she vanished in the thin air. The pressure is gone, they can move now. Rooster is also shocked that his compatriot just now was super strong. Lin Fan clothes has been torn. From the necklace of the rooster, a voice comes out saying he has brought a spare clothes. It's our invisible guy. But how did he fit inside that necklace? He gives him the new clothes, and if they are hungry, he also has brought food and waters. And if they are tired, he also has brought a sleeping bag, and lets us talk about the rooster behind them. He might have left his soul after seeing someone came out of him. Next morning, Healer is healing Lin Fan and the rooster, others are having their breakfast. Lin Fan wakes up and Zhang was waiting for him to wake up. System tells him, his team was very supportive, stayed all night to heal him and everyone else. Although Zhang always steals the system credit, he's so worried about the host. Not bad, but even System gets shocked, when he says to help him heat up the bun with his fire. But the burn gets burnt, System is not happy, how he is using the fire that God gave him. But his red fire proficiency reached 80%. He is trying his best to not to burn the bun. And System is like, Mr. Host, can you be this attentive when you fight? And now, it's getting harder and harder to heat it. The rooster adds his water saying it should not burn now. The rooster is thinking Lin Fan saved him at that time. This human must not be as vicious as he thought. Now, it's perfectly heated, and System is shocked. Why his fire proficiency has reached 100%, max level at such a time. Now they are having the hot heated bun. Zhang gives the henna bun to eat, and he is thinking, they may not be as evil as he thought. But reality hits him hard, when a magical words comes out of Lin Fan mouth. Buns are not enough. I want to eat eggs laid by hen. Now, they are boiling his two balls, I mean eggs, and the energy can ease his hunger for a two weeks. The team is shocked, the rooster is a hen, but it doesn't look like that though. But it laid an egg. She must have low body fat. That's why she has small breast. Sister tells her brother that she lost her love of her life. And brother is like, don't you think she can be your sister-in-law? Invisible raises his hand saying he has something to say. No, his boss has something for him to say to the seniors. He tells them, the boss wants Lin Fan and Zhang identity to be kept secret. But they can tell their bosses but not reveal in the internet. Lin Fan and Zhang is only temporarily invited by his boss. They are from the mountains of the high people, who has reached the true origin of everything. But they like to keep a low profile. If someone takes their business everywhere, they will be offended by them. Now, she understands why they are strong and can even eat the beast's meats. And Hoodie is thinking to report this to his boss as soon as possible. He asks the lady that they retreat now, but she doesn't intend to retreat. They are shocked. She tells them if they don't want to follow they can retreat. But she is going to save her brother alone. She knows it's a one-way ticket but she has to try. Arrow is ready to go with her. And if it's saving other people, our boys are always ready for it. Brother and sister are also ready if the two seniors and brother chicken is going. Now all that left is the hoodie guy. But he doesn't want to die with them. He's a traitor and he has already seen the power of that the ant queen. It's like going to the Grim Reaper's home. They have come to the location of the secret passage in the AI city. But there are only walls there. Not the wall. She bits her finger and use her blood on some kind of talisman. And hoodie is observing her very carefully. The talisman opens some kind of teleportation formation. And now, the hoodie has no the way to open the secret passage. She asks the brother and sister to stay behind and help the people they rescue. If they succeed, and if they don't return in three days, return alone to the headquarters and report to them. Hoodie gets ready to stay with them. Only two people are not enough. The arrow drag him inside the formation saying it's just a Kang city only. She asks the two seniors if they are ready to go inside. They are always ready to save people. Brother and sister promises that they will not run away in these three days. But after three days how are they going to return? The way back is also too dangerous. They gets teleported in some kind of tunnel. She uses her field of hidden breath. 
They come across the place where there are many small defensive spell. They have find a sewage tunnel. That goes straight to the special department control center. She notices the scent of an evil beast. It's a small girl. Level 5. The colorful pheasant juvenile. Zhang thinks it's cute and Lin Fan is already drooling. The healer using her voice of the heart tells them to be careful. She asks them to state their name and if they don't, she will beat them up. She charge towards them, but stumble on her on legs and falls on the ground. She cries, shouting, fellow pheasant beast to help her fight them. And the rooster is like are you talking about me? Yes, she is talking about the rooster, because she can hear his heartbeat. And she is blind. She asks if he is playing hide and seek with the other beasts. And with these defeated human powerhouses, she asks him what color is his feathers. She is a colorful pheasant. Her eyes and feathers are colorful, notoriously beautiful. He tells her eyes is not colorful, it's clearly red. But those are not her original eyes. These are the eyes that her majesty gave her. Her original eyes were taken away by some bad guys. Her eyes were like gemstones. And if he doesn't believe him, she can take him to her buddies to confirm. He believes her. He doesn't want her to take him to her buddies and become these humans' meal. She tells him, he is so daring to play with these defeated powerhouses. Her majesty told her that the defeated powerhouses have no way to fight back. But she doesn't have the guts to go near them. Healer is shocked to her that they have no way to fight back. Does it mean they are dead? And the Kang City Queen is so strong, she may have manipulated some powerhouses of the Kang City. That also explains, why this little beast is not afraid of them. Then what about her brother? Is he still alive? The guys asks her if they should just kill the beast or capture it and ask more about the Kang City. The girl asks Chicken about the human called Wen Zio Kain. Healer is shocked that's her brother. The little girl asks the rooster to help her find him. The rooster is thinking. She is talking about the human that these human are trying to find. If he finds him, then many of his compatriots wouldn't have to run into these vicious humans. He is ready to go with her. The girl asks for his name. He doesn't have one. Zhang and Lin Fan open their mouth saying Hen. The girl asks if Hen is his name. That is not his name. She is happy to give him a name. Since she is five, he will be sixth brother. Well, it can't be worse than Hen. She climbs up the ladder to go to that human powerhouse. The three of them are still cautious. There can be a trap up there. They come up in a big hall. She asks him to press the button to open the door. She tells him, Her Majesty has taught them a lot about human world and she was always curious to go and see it. But they were never allowed. But one day she snuck up to play. Then she met a powerhouse called Wen Zio Kain. She tells him, if she doesn't dare to go forward after seeing that human, please push her forward. And if he also doesn't dare, then she will ask these other powerhouses to push her. She asks the rooster to open the door, and she is trembling in fear. The door opens. The healer is shocked to see the condition of her brother. If you are eating, I'm sorry to show you this picture. A man stuck on the wall with some wood stakes pierced through his body. He is the healer's brother. He opens his eyes and he is still able to recognize his sister. She is trembling but she moves forward to face her fear. She charges forward to kill him, but gets shot in her feathers by an arrow. The rooster, Lin Fan and Zhang are shocked to see it. She is in pain. Now she notices that these are not the powerhouses that her majesty defeated. They have freed the man from the stakes. Two of them are dead except for the healer's brother. She heals him and he is feeling better now. And we don't know his level right now. She tells the rooster they are not humans who are under the control of her majesty. Are they coercing you? The rooster is in very tough situation. What to do? If he helps her, the humans might kill him too. But she is just a weak chick still a cub. And it's the adult male's job to protect their cub. He tries to pull out the arrow. Kyan shouts. There's a strong national level energy, sister we should quickly. She tells him, don't be afraid. It's their ally. And she is just happy that he is still alive. And a brother and sister touching reunion. She tells him, she'd like to introduce him with the two seniors and the national level beast. He stands up and comes to the little girl, asking his sister, did this colorful wild pheasant bring you here? She tells him, the little girl is just weak and blind, so it's not a threat. But he is having another thought. The girl trembles with fear asking him, not to gouge her eyes. What? Did he just gouge her eyes? The rooster gets mad, is he going to fight or not? Even if he's going to fight him, no one will be able to do anything to him, because he is Lin Fan's hen that lays eggs for him. She falls on the ground, her wing gets torn. Rooster pushed the man to help the little girl. She tells him to run away. Like they said, she is too weak, she couldn't even sense his presence. That's why she told him to run. Zhang is crying. Why he is feeling a bit uncomfortable? He asks his sister, why the national level tried to protect the beast, when he is their ally. Could it be he's a mole? The rooster tries to hit him. His sister comes forward and uses her shield to block the attack. But the punch broke the shield. He is shocked. The shield that his sister used to protect her life was broken in an instant by his fist. The punch almost hit her but Lin Fan stop him. He tells him, Hen cannot hit her, she helped them to heal. Kyan is shocked. He looks so young but so strong. 
The rooster is thinking this human won't allow him to take on humans. And for them the little girl is just a chicken. And a powerhouse killing a beast is just a normal thing for them. She slaps her brother for killing such a weak evil thing. But as a human powerhouse, it's their duty to kill the evil beast. She can't believe she can refute him, that's true. But it's still cruel to put the willow through its eyes. He tells her, she saw it with her own eyes, how they were treating him. They torture him every day and night. There were times when he was thinking to give up on his life. But how can he leave his sister alone in this world? Just the thought of her coming to save him kept him alive. And now he is thinking that the rooster might be undercover. She slaps him again. And with Jojo's face she tells him he must not doubt the loyalty of the rooster to the two seniors. The other two guys agree with her. Next, they cremated the dead bodies. The rooster asks Lin Fan to help him cremate the little girl as well. And it's cremating not roasting. Lin Fan is like oh, what the hell, this man was thinking. Next, seeing the healer collecting the ashes, he asks what used of these ashes. She tells him, even though they can't bring the dead bodies to their families, they can at least bring back the ashes to their families. We, humans, have this tradition. Rooster thinks it's strange and troublesome. She apologizes again on behalf of her brother. Rooster also gets ready to collect the ashes, but he doesn't have anything to put it in. A hand comes out of his necklace and gives him a pouch to put it in. He collects it thinking he will give it to her family. Invisible tells them now they have succeeded in saving the people. His boss has requested to rescue Tactician Sue. One Eye has made that request but also asked him to let the healer make her own decision. Now she understands why One Eye sent two powerful seniors and a national level chicken. It was because he wanted to save the red hair mother, Tactician Sue. But her brother doesn't seem like he is happy after hearing those words. She tells him to escape first, and she will go and rescue Tactician Sue. But she also notices his expression has changed after hearing about Tactician Sue. He tells her, it's dangerous and he is worried about her. She is thinking, why is he not worried about Tactician Su Min? She is the first tactician in the Kang City. Maybe he is worried about his sister. That's why he doesn't want her to save Su Min. She also wants to be with her brother but she cannot blind her eye for the other people who also tried their best to protect the Kang City and Su Min is one of them. She tells him to go back with Arrow and Hoodie. She will rescue Su Min and return saved. Arrow tells Hoodie to take his brother-in-law and escape. He will continue to save people. Brother doesn't agree of him being his brother-in-law. He tells her, Tactician Sue has betrayed them and surrendered to the beasts and become a lapdog of them. She is shocked. Next, we see the Dragon Headquarters Authority Conference Room. The highest commander of the command center of the Dragon Kingdom Headquarters is suggesting them to send Sue Min in the Kang City to assist Zai Okai. The healer doesn't know who she is but a goggle does. Sue Min is the wife of the next head of the Jin family. Next, the masked man introduces the healer with Su Min and she is a good-looking Obasan and she will definitely support her brother. First of all, she is damn good and she is Red Hair's mother, a MILF. And healer is shocked that MILF, did she really betray humanity? He tells her, the video of their abuse was taken by Su Min. She tells him she must be manipulated by the evil beast, but he is sure that she was not manipulated. Invisible tells him that she is a member of Jin family, the family that has been guarding the Dragon Kingdom. He will never believe him that she is a traitor. He gets ready to take them to her, since they don't believe him. And he is not going to let his sister go there alone with a national level beast. And if he can take that thing away, the beasts won't be able to run wild for long. And what is the thing he is talking about? We still don't know it yet. She also thinks, with him, the one who knows the interior of the Kang City, it will be much safer. Now they are ready to go and find Su Min. They have come in the office or something. And there are one level 9 and three level 7 beasts. She informs them not to alert them. A fox has brought a lot of paperwork. Now the emperor's husband is sick, they have to complete the task. Other beats doesn't want to do it. That's a lot of paperwork. And suggest him to wait until the grand duke the husband gets well and continue the work. He gets mad asking what to do you think of the grand duke. They reply a work machine. They sneak from there and the beast are getting ready to complete the task. The healer thinks they seem like people. Next, the brother thinks this is the place they are looking for. He tells her he will go and find something important. She hears someone talking, and it's a beast in some human powerhouses. She is shocked, not only manipulated but the human powerhouses are treating the beast as a newcomer. And Kyan has finally found the DOE-49 and he is thinking he must take it out. Next, the beauty queen of the ant, grand national level, red moon ant queen. She starts to heal or do something with her husbands. And Kyan who has all suit up, is thinking as long as they take it out. The war between humans and evil creatures will be over. And what he is talking about taking out, we still don't know it yet. Next, the healer who is looking for Su Min, someone grabs her hand. It's her brother, and he has found what he was looking for and it's better for them to leave now. But she hasn't found Su Min yet. He tells her, Su Min has already betrayed them, and now the first and foremost thing is to bring back what he is holding. 
She asks what is it? It's the thing that can save his sister and all humans. He grabs her hand and starts to run but she is still concerned about Su Min. They come across two little beasts, and the little guys are trembling after seeing him. And he is thinking he can't let them alert the Grand National Level Beast. He attacks them with his willow. Sister tries to stop him. Brother Chicken has come to the scene saving the little cub. Now, Kyan is confirmed that the rooster is undercover. And Brother Chicken is thinking now that he helped this little guy, will these humans? But after seeing Zhang helping the little kids, yes, your masters are different bro. They can be brutal, cruel, flesh-eating monsters but they are kind psychos. He tells his sister to stand back and attacks the undercover agent with his spike roots. It pierces through the rooster's leg. He steps back and notices that the thorn is poisonous. Sister is surprised to see his power. Next, the masked man is informing her that her brother battle power can reach the national level. Or he might have already reached but he is hiding his level. Now, she has found out that her brother was really suppressing his battle power. The rooster, who is in pain now because of the poison. Another attack comes at him again. Because of the poison, his reaction speed is too slow. And the attack speed is so great that he can't dodge it. Lin Fan blocks the attack saying stop hitting my chicken. Arrow tries to shoot them but the hand in the rooster hits him with something and it's a ko. The ant queen's red energy comes into their hull. The spiritual pressure falls on Lin Fan and the rooster. The red energy comes toward the brother and sister. She is shocked to see that energy, he tells her, it's spiritual power manifestation. The condensed silk. He calls out his dead thorn. He tells her, he will send her away. It's not poisonous. She sits on that big red hard thorn of her brother's but the red energy still follows her. A hand grabs her. The hand asks Kyan if she is the one that he wants to protect at any cost. He shouts, don't touch my sister, you disgusting evil thing. She throws her on the ground and tells him to feel the pain of losing a loved one and then chopped of his sister's head. It was not real but all an illusion. Next, she is grabbing Zhang by his neck. He is the only one she needs to deal with by herself. Because the spiritual power doesn't work on him. Lin Fan and Rooster is trying their best to get out of that spiritual power. The system shows up slapping him. The system tells him. His mental power is weak but there is a way. The spiritual energy only works on people who are mentally awake. So the system will fully take over his body. And activate the berserker mode in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, and 0. He gets new eyes. The system is shocked. What's going on? Why is there another soul inside the host? The control was taken away by this entity. The system can't grab a fragmented residual consciousness. What the hell is this? He charged toward the queen with a punch. She dodges it. Zhang asks are you Lin Fan? He gives him a cold look. Zhang notices that he is not Lin Fan. Seeing the hand comes straight at him, he tries to protect his neck. But he pats on his head saying child you should protect yourself. The system is confused. Is there anything to do with this guy? What the hell is this thing? I am a system but I seem to know nothing. Do I still deserve to be called the system? I no longer have the dignity of being a system oars. An attack comes at them. He grabs Zhang and dodges the attack. Zhang asks if you are not Lin Fan, who are you? The man tells him, you should be asking, who am I? Zhang is like who am I? Jackie Chan. The man tells him, I don't know who I am, but I know I am you. Zhang is like I am you. Who is me then? And if I am you and you are me, where is Lin Fan then? Man, it's like rush hour. Who are you? I am you. Now, he gets ready to take care of the queen. The queen with her phantom ant, she is surprised, he is different from before, and her spiritual domain is unable to suppress him. He charges toward the queen. The phantom ant blocks the attack but it gets shattered into pieces. With his high speed he jumps in the air for another attack. A big right comes straight at her, and she tries to block it with her shield. The shield gets shattered and she slams on the ground. She realizes he is completely beyond her power. While the big phantom appears behind her, the system, he used third order ghost fire burning element right away. Because he knows that its illusionary body armor is made with spiritual beast energy, doesn't he? When did the host become so smart? He opened his mouth saying the stupid thing, too noisy. He jumps with the fire straight at the queen. System is confused. Did he use those bad words for me, did he? That's not true. The host's consciousness and subconsciousness are forced to shut down by me. This person is not the host at all. Now, the system is mad, so he is talking about me. The punch land on the illusion body of the queen, she is shocked that it's melting. She steps back and tries to generate the illusion body but she can't generate it anymore. She asks who are you, even he doesn't know who he is. He seemed to have forgotten, but he knows her info. She is a spiritual based, grand national level and an ant beast. Spiritual beasts are rare and she has some potential but not much. And now, she is wounded and poisoned. She is no match for him. And he has mastered the ancient techniques, divine fire skill which he cannot deal with. The system is shocked. How can he know everything? Who is this entity at all? He doesn't know and ask if the system can tell him later. It would be great. The system is mad and asks him to return its host. 
Although he is psychotic, he is much cuter. He grabs the system. System is surprised that he can even catch the system. He can not only catch it but he can also crush it. Zhang asks who he is talking to. He tells him that it a little guy that helps Lin Fan to get stronger. Zhang won't like it. If his help Lin Fan to get stronger, he will like it. Well Lin Fan is getting stronger to protect us. He tells the queen to back off. If she continues to attack then he can only kill her. She tells him they saved a man who deserved to die. She will not let him leave with something dangerous. Her tribe will be in danger. Now, there is no way back. She uses her skill, the realm of the red moon. It creates a web around the building. They fall into it. He tells Zhang to grab his hand and tells him he has to leave now. And he has chosen the right person to protect them. System notifies. The entity is retreating deeper into the host's subconscious and falling into a deep sleep. The system is mad how could he leave like that. The system tries to examine the entity but failed to do so. The system is depressed. It doesn't have dignity as a system. System is to resign. This system quits. Did our MC just lose a system? They falls on the ground thump. The system suffered a series of mental attacks. CPU working rate continues to drop and has been unable to function normally. The system will be temporarily offline. Due to the system being offline the operation was forced to close the host's spiritual world and subconsciousness will be soon awakened. He wakes up and Zhang is happy that he finally woke up. And it's Lin Fan not the Yugai. The big ant tries to attack them. He rolls and dodges the attack. This is the realm of the Red Moon, of the Ant Queen. And here she has infinite power. The ants start to attack them. A big one comes in front of Lin Fan, he kicks and smashed it. Then he starts to run on top of them, jumps to the other side, takes out his fire and starts to burn them. He punches on the ground spreading his fire all over the place, burning all the ants. She admits he is strong, but in her realm, he can't defeat her. The ants surround them again. The system who is in depression thinking that, it is not worthy, it doesn't deserve to live. Even a broken fragment of Genesis can exceed its authority, it is the most useless system. It gets a notification. The system is facing the risk of disintegration. The CPU center issued a self-alert. Please powerhouses system, please do not slack. Actively assist the host to overcome the difficulties. Turn the crisis into opportunities and help the host continue to become stronger. Great, great, great. You are the best. You are best. You are the strongest. The system model is you. Excellent system is you. After hearing all these words, even I will feel motivated. Now the system is fully motivated. A brave system is not afraid of difficulties, even if there is no dignity. I still help the host to become strong, become the strongest. More than that, we must fight our way through this. Wow, number of ants. They are like a mountain right now. And in a pitch redness a green fire lights. Lin Fan is burning the ants with his green fire. But he suddenly notices old Zhang is not there. Zhang has been badly hurt by those ants. Seeing him in that state, he unleashed his green fire. The fire turns into a tornado burning all the ants' colony. The system is online. All values are loaded and updated, back in operation. System is shocked. It was only offline for five minutes, but the host and the one who always takes it merit have become like this. The system apologizes. It seems that you guys cannot do anything without me all. The system. Host body has accumulated enough energy to resist hunger for a year and six months. All empty space can be exchanged for mall privileges. The mall has healing potions, gaining potions various special effect potions and equipment to buy. Do you want to redeem? Due to the host brain problem, the system opts to choose the most preferable option. Exchange immediately. Redemption is successful. The accumulated powerful energy value in the host's body has been empty. The mall is available now. Do you want to spend 1% of your stored energy to purchase the healing for the serious injury? The system purchased a healing potion for Zhang. He feeds him the potions and Zhang is all new now. He thanks the psycho in his head. Lin Fan is sad. Zhang almost died again. System tells him. Not to worry that guy died once but he is still alive. Maybe he is an immortal. But he is still sad. He couldn't even protect his one best friend. He is useless. But Zhang is fine and better now. System asks if he wants to become the strongest person in the world. You bet he does. For that he has to trust the system. Yes he will trust the psycho in his brain. The queen attacks again. Don't think just by destroying the ant colony and suppressing her ability that means you win. Nah dude, she is the queen. The ground split into half and they falls in there. Then two psychos die. The end of the story. Just kidding. Lin Fan tries to stop the fall using his hand or is he trying to slow the fall? But they finally stopped. System tells him to be aware. The other side of the wall starts to come closer, trying to kiss with each other. And it finally kissed. But our man is stopping it from kissing. The system, don't panic. The one who believes in the system will live forever. Believe in the system, you will become the strongest. Let me help you turn the crisis into an opportunity. Guide the host to control the flow of the energy stored in the body to the palms, and concentrate on the palms. 10, 9. 
Wait, to avoid distracting the host, I suggest turn this guy into a better form. It uses his energy to buy some special potion and feeds him that potion. Zhang has turned into little Zhang. System tells him to ask the protected identity to hold on to the choker around the host's neck to avoid falling down and to facilitate the host battle. Lin Fan tells him to hold on to the choker around his neck all the time. The system continue to control the flow of energy in the body to his palms. Countdown starts. Unlock the Qigong cultivation method ground level man. Zhang is holding on to him and he is using his power on his palms. He jumps and runs through the wall. He comes out and Ant Queen is shocked that her 100 Krakabis cannot kill him. The queen has turned into a big sand golem to finish him off. The system tells him to use the green fire. Smash it. Overwhelm it. Explore the power. Hit it hard. He I. Their fist collides. The queen is shocked that her fist got smashed. Not just the fist but her whole body. Rock starts to fall like meteorites. It's the queen's desperate attack. Skyward Savage Fire. He uses his green fire. What is he going to do with it? He uses his green fire to melt the stone. Queen is shocked. How is he still so powerful? Why can't she suppress him in her own domain? Could he be already in the ruling level? And the system is like after the wise guidance of this system. The host's power has indeed reached the level of the ruler. Although the difference is only one level. That is the gap in level. The power of the grand national level is not able to suppress the level of the ruler. If the host was not sick in the head, you'll be killed in a sec. Lin Fan have shattered all of her stones. It has turned into a rain. Next, 200 years ago, a ruling level beast attacked the world with its tribe and destroyed a city in a minute. Many countries were destroyed. But when it came to the land of Dragon Kingdom, it was resisted to death by the powerful people of the Dragon Kingdom. The Dragon Kingdom's ruler, Bai Yun Giant Shen, sacrificed himself to suppress the demon. Before that time, there were originally five humans reaching ruler level, distributed among the five strong countries, namely Snapdragon, Dragon, Eagle, Vicious and Shark. But now the Dragon Kingdom no longer has a ruling level powerhouse. Next, the queen, who is telling him, even if he is a ruling level, he won't be able to escape her domain. System detect that the source of the power of this realm is the Red Moon. Break the Red Moon to break the domain. She also find out that he has also found out that the moon is the power source. He jumps to hit the moon but she tells him that it is useless. The distance between him and the moon. It's his ambition. No matter how many times you try, you won't be able to hit it. Many beasts and people, who are trapped in her realm or domain. They try to break the moon but at the end they end up killing themselves. This is the gulf of desire. How strong the desire in your heart is. How far you will be from the red moon. Zhang asks if he wants to hit the moon. But the dean said the moon is in the sky, it can't be hit. Even system unable to measure the distance. Zhang asks if he is looking at the psycho in his head. Well, it said if he trust it, he will become stronger and strongest. And he should be able to hit that moon. And it help him to save Zhang, so he thinks he can trust it. With all those words from Lin Fan, the system, CPU temperature is to high, running over speed risk of downtime. Now the system understand, what humans often mention stress. It motivates Lin Fan that he can do it and the system is sure about it. Lin Fan gets into his Goku mode. The system, the host's Kigong cultivation method has been stagnant for a month at the late earth stage. This time, I am sure to break the rank. He hits the moon and the system is shocked that he really hit it. The queen is shocked, how is this possible? The moon breaks into pieces. She suffers the after effect and she is shocked that she actually got defeated. She is shocked that there is a human who can eliminate his own desire. She admits it's her defeat. And he is the first human to make her admit defeat in thousand years. Zhang tells him, he really hit the moon, he is so powerful. Lin Fan thanks the psychopath in his brain. The system has never thought that this day will come, when Lin Fan will credit it for its work. The system warns him that the stored energy has been used up. He is temporarily unable to fight. So pay attention to self-protection. Since the energy has been emptied, he must have broken through the heavenly stage. The system is surprised that the host is still in the late stage of the earth stage. Kyan wakes up and seeing his sister beside him, he realizes that it was just an illusion. Seeing him tremble and shaking, she grabs his hand saying I will heal you. She heals him. He is happy that his sister is still alive. Next, Kyan and his mother. She is stabbed by one of the beast legs and a guy is fighting with the beast or is he already dead? She tell him that mommy loves him and he must live well. Now that he knows that his sister dying was all but an illusion. And it won't affect on him and his plan. The kids come asking if her majesty is fine. She tells them not to worry, she is fine. The vine comes at her. The little kid tells her majesty to look out. He blocks the attack. It peers through the kid. She gets mad and attack Kyan. But she is too weak and gets a hit by that vine. Her realm was destroyed, so she is hurt badly. Kyan attack her again. The little kid comes to protect her. She tells him, not to hurt them but blood splashes. It's our boy the chicken brother, who has stopped the attack. 
Now he can't stand it anymore. And Kyan is like, evil beast is a evil beast, finally betray his masters. This son of bitch, I really want to punch him. Kyan asks him, so you finally betray your master huh? The rooster tells him, he was never been loyal to these two humans. He is an evil beast, how can he be loyal to humans, and he is right. He is the undercover agent, and his ideal is to become the evil creature slaying 1000 humans. He tells his sister, did you hear it, he is the human's enemy. He wants to slay humans that's why it helped the evil beast again and again. It stands against humans. He tells the two seniors that they are there to save people not evil beast. And their pet is really an undercover agent. They should kill it. The rooster is thinking if these humans join then it will be difficult for him. He might have to escape to save his life. But he doesn't want to watch his defenseless compatriots being killed in front of his eyes anymore. Lin Fan comes in front saying, No, no killing the hen. Kite and FYI they keep changing these names okay. Before it was Kyan but now it's Kite. Kite tells him the hen has never been loyal to them. It stands against humans. But Lin Fan doesn't understand what is he saying. Our man only knows that the hen lays two eggs every morning and no one is allowed to kill him. He tells him, no matter what, no one can kill the hen. Zhang is also nodding his head. He will protect the hen. No matter who wants to kill the hen, no way. Kite gets mad and yells at them. Are you out of your minds or have you never thought of yourself as a human being? Su Min comes saying, Kite, you are not qualified to represent human beings. The entire city of Kang almost get destroyed because of you. And you still do not know how to repent. They are shocked. So the city has not been destroyed. She informs them. At the time the Ant Emperor's spirit control all the strong people of their special department. She also took revenge on Kite, Wang Yang, Lu Sheng, and took video of their torture. But then, she accepted her proposal and did not harm other powerhouses and humans in the Kang City. Instead she helped her to developing the antidote to DOE. Sister gets shocked to heard that word DOE. Next, when the little sister come back home her father and mother were already killed. She and her brother were left alone. He tells her not to cry. And he will kill all these beasts. He will develop a poison to kill them all. The poison will called the disaster of extermination. The code name DOE. Next, his sister asks him if it's true what Su Min is telling, that you really developed, DOE. The Arrow and Hoodie are confused about what are they even talking. What's this, DOE? So are the trios but either way even if they knew, what is it? They will never know what is it. At first Su Min was very supportive of his research, but then she found out that his so-called research is not what he says at all. Next, he welcomed her when she first arrived at Kang City, and she was ready to protect the Kang City with him. He tells her that he is developing some kind of medicine that can paralyze all the evil beasts. She gets ready to help him. He tells her that he will be busy on his research, so she will be taking care of the department works. She tells him to rest assured. She will deal with the affairs of the department. Kyan started his research on his medicine and she notices that Kyan often stays in the research room for several days and nights. Even though he is just 18, he is so dedicated to his work. One day she entered his research room. He was sleeping. She puts a jacket on him, thinking he needs to pay attention to his body. He is still just a child. But, when she takes a look at the computer screen, it was flooded with porn websites. Ops, my mistake. When she looked at the screen, she finds out his true intention, on why he is making that medicine and its effects. She is shocked with this medicine. No, with this poison, all the evil beasts will be exterminated. Kyan wakes up asking her how long she's been standing there. She yells at him, this is not the paralyzing spray that you were talking about. Yes, it's a poison that will kill all the evil cursed beasts. He tells her, human gets killed by the evil beast every day, so exterminating them completely, what's wrong in that? And with his research, they will be able to end this long war with the evil beasts. She tells him, it's a man-made disaster, human beings will also suffer the consequences. And now that the evil beasts have developed intelligence, maybe, they can coexist together. He yells at her for thinking like that. Now, the beast has developed intelligence. They will be more stronger and powerful than humans. She is too naive to think to coexist with those evil beasts. She tells him, the beasts are evolving just like humans, and who knows that his medicine will not affect human beings too. He tells her, the beasts are evolving and in their process of evolving, many people will die. His DOE can save many lives. She tells him, if he destroy the process of natural evolution, maybe they are not the only ones that will become extinct. He doesn't care. He only wants to exterminate the evil beasts. When he saw his father was strangled by the evil beast, and his mother was pierced through the heart and died in front of him, he told himself that he will make this evil things go extinct, and no one will be able to stop him. He hits her with his vine. When she woke up, she was in the hospital and she was unable to move her limbs or make a sound. Kite told the others that she accidentally touched the medicine and got paralyzed. She will be fine after taking some rest. Next, in the present time, he tells them he did that all for the sake of humanity. 
Su Min tells him, he did all that not for the humanity but for his own self-interest. How dare you lie to your sister that you did all that for the sake of humanity. Next, when Kite was checking his power level, his skill was medical doctor. The guy who was testing his level is surprised at such a young age he is already a town level powerhouse or a national level. The guy congratulates him and Kite was already thinking to have his own base and start researching on his DOE. He asks the masked guy that he'll like to guard the Kang city. The masked guy tells him that he will send an application to the headquarter about that. He finally became the boss of the Kang city and started his research. The poison toxicity was strong but it was not contagious enough. He tells his two other team member that they will be needing another experimental samples. Next, they catch the little blind girl, but at this time she was not blind yet. They cage the little bird girl. A fat guy comes and introduces himself to the new head of the special department. He is the president of the local Desheng chamber of the commerce surname Chu. He notices the bird and she really has that gem-like eyes. The fat guy asks Kite to sell her eyes to him. Kite also gets ready to sell the eyes, since it's just an evil beast. Even though, he doesn't like that fat guy, but he needs money for his research. They gouge her eyes. One of the guy tells him that there are many in the stock, if he likes to see them. Next, they starts their experiment on the little bird. And the guy has brought the fat guy in a place where there are lots of small evil beasts. From one beast, he asks for the wings and from another one, he asks for the ears. One of the team member gets shocked and call his chief. After giving her their third generation of DOE, the little bird evolved. But her body has become very weak and energy fluctuation has greatly weakened. He is surprised, like what the hell, right? He develop a poison but it helped the beast to evolve. But, the poison will slowly start to eat her body. And judging from the data, she will only live a year at most. And they are running low on their budget. Next, they start to auction the beast in the underground auction. A cat girl is being auctioned. The man informs the audience that even if they are evil beasts, they are no longer dangerous. Not only they are not dangerous, but they are also very fragile. If not treated carefully, they will die easily. People starts to bid. Money starts to flow like a river. Next, the ant queen yells at Kite. That's why you captured my daughter. She shouts, even if she kills him thousand times, it will not be enough. She will kill him. She will never let him go that easily. Torture him in the way worse than before. Next, a little girl is running in the woods, crying for help. She was wrong. She will never sneak out again. Calls for her daddy for help. Someone attacks her from behind. It's the team member of Kite. He gets ready to take her and auction her. But, he notices the town level energy fluctuation. He runs from there. The Ant King comes to help her. She is the only daughter of the Ant Emperor. She is Princess Wen Wen. She tells her daddy that humans are scary and it hurts. Seeing his daughter in that state, he gets mad and asks her who hurt you. The Ant King brought her to the underground palace to heal her. They finds out that she's been poisoned and the poison, he can't heal her. She tells her dads that she is cold and asks for a hug. One of the brother gets ready to hug her, but the other one, stop him. The poison in her body is contagious. The one who brought her gets ready to hug her, since he has already hugged her. The healer brother is confused, to why his second brother didn't show any sign of being poisoned, even though he carried her here. Poor dads cannot do anything, standing there helplessly, looking at their daughter, who is telling them, she is cold and want a hug. The empress comes and takes her into her arm. Wan Wan asks the empress, if she is going to die. The Empress tells her, she will be fine, everything will pass. Poor fathers are standing helplessly. She tells her, when she was on the ground, she found Xiao Wu, who is the little bird girl. She tells her that the human have gouged Xiao Wu's eyes. She wanted to save her and bring her back but got discovered by the humans. Fathers are crying listening to her. And now, she doesn't dare to go to the ground anymore. She is cold. Empress tells her to go to sleep if it's cold little Wan Wan. She will help her to rescue Xiao Wu from human hands. Next, the Kang City, Special Department. The Empress attacks them. Her power makes them kneel on the ground. Kite is shocked he can't even move. And the Empress will make them pay for what they have done. Su Min tells them at that time, in the laboratory of the department. At most tens of thousands of crippled evil larvae baby were locked up. Rooster gets mad listening to all of that. Kite tells them, they are just evil beasts. Sister is shocked seeing him saying something like that. Brother Chicken gets ready to kill him. But, Lin Fan stops him. Su Min is shocked that the national level beast stop its attack with just a word from human. He is willing to listen to human. Then, she yells at Kite. The mastermind running the underground auction was none other than the head of the special department of Kang City. He tells her, to be kind to your enemy is like being cruel to yourself. They are just some evil thing. He did all of that for the sake of humanity. Yes, he sell the beasts and get the money for himself. Oh, sorry, it was all for the sake of humanity. She tells him that he has no right to say that he did all that for the sake of humanity. His DOE will not only affects the evil beasts but also the normal human beings. You have long betrayed humanity. 
You are not human hero, you're just an Avenger. And yo, guys Avenger means not the Avenger from the Marvel movies okay. Next, Kite was researching on his DOE, but he was still missing something. What is that missing link? He got to find that reason. A drunk man is walking in an alley but a vine comes and grabs him by his neck. And we all know whose vine is that. Kite is getting ready to experiment on humans too. His teammate tells him that the effectivity of DOE has increased significantly but it will also affect people. And the carcinogenic rate has increased by nearly 10 times. But Kite doesn't care his DOE. Contagion has clearly increased and he is on the right track. One of their members' finger accidentally gets cut. His name is Wang Yong. Kite research again with Wang Yong's blood and his DOE. He is surprised to see that Wang Yong blood was greatly enhanced. But then he realizes that special gifted human beings are also evil thing. Just like the normal animals evolved and mutated into an evil beast. And it's the same with the human, they also evolved with supernatural powers. So the source of these special gifted powerhouses is actually the same as the evil things. Then he gets an idea and tries something with the blood of the special gifted powerhouse. The chain of contagion gets completed. Now, he can kill the evil things in the top notch, special talented powerhouses. Though it will also have a small impact on normal humans. Next, Hoodie is listening to them very carefully, so that he will report back to his boss exactly what they said. Su Min is telling them, even if his team members help him in developing the poison. But, they didn't know that the poison they created can also kill them. Even, when Kite told them not to touch DOE samples, but they were already infected. Not only them but their family members were also infected. All the citizens of the Kang city were also infected. The gifted strong people's abilities were suddenly enhanced but they were becoming weaker and weaker. They only got one year to live. Sister asks him if his DOE will also kill humans. He tells her it only the top notch, special gifted powerhouses and small side effect on normal humans. Surprisingly, there are two top notch, special gifted powerhouses in that room. I mean, in that hall. She asks if there will be an effect after a year or two on normal humans. He will continue to study in future and reduce the impact on people. She shouts that his result has already shown us that the evil things and human being are of the same origin. Humans are also animals too. Evil beasts are evolved animals. It's equivalent to a human being with supernatural powers. Therefore, the killing of the human beings by the evil things is nothing more than predation of the jungle by the jungle. So there is no poison that can only kill evil things, but only poison that can kill all living things. No matter how much you study, it's impossible to have no effect on human beings, because all animals are ultimately of the same origins. Brother is shocked after hearing his sister, he will study more and develop a poison that can only kill evil things for sure. She tells him, he will only extinct human beings if he research more on his DOE. With a teary eyes, she asks, if he really wants to kill all the living creatures, including his sister. Poor Kite is in a very tough state now. What should he do? He just want to kill the evil things but his DOE will not only kills the evil things but his sister might also perish with the evil things. Remembering his past. The evil beasts that killed his mother and father. How can he forget their death? The world where evil things are stronger than humans. And humans are reduced to food like cattle and pigs. He cannot accept that world. He rather perish together with the evil things. The people who loved him were killed in front of his eyes. He will not accept that world. Sister tries to comfort him. It's her fault that she entrusted him to others and she herself went to high school, leaving her little brother alone. If she had taken care of him properly, he wouldn't have become like this. And three of them are watching their emotional drama. They both cries holding each other. And everyone are in awe seeing them like that. The rose flower comes straight at Lin Fan. The system warns him. Rooster notices the attack and with his feathers, he blocks the attacks. Then, acted high and mighty, saying Lin Fan should know how to dodge it. The families are mad. He saved the evil human. He is still a traitor. The Ant King comes with his sword. Seeing his empress in that state, he tries to help her. But she stops him, saying the DOE can be transmitted through physical contact. She tells the two expert that she knows that they are there to help people. Ordinary humans of Kang City are all in their own homes, under the care of her people. Powerful people are all trapped in this special department building, under her mind control, while being guarded by her subordinates. The two members of Kite and the fat guy who took Little Wu's eyes, and the guy who bought the cat girl. So far, angering humans is not her intention. She just wants to protect her people. Next, the Ant Queen gives them two options. One to save the people of that Kangxi city, but they are also infected by the DOE. And the option two is to hand over Kite with the last DOE in his hand to her. She will sacrifice him to her son and the thousand of people he killed. But if they keep on insisting on rescuing him, she and her husband will do whatever it takes to destroy the Kangxi city. 
Other national level beast also joins the king and the queen. She tells them to make their choice. From all this fight, Su Min had understand that the brother and sister are strong but they are not stronger than the ant queen. And Hoodie and Arrow, let's just leave these poor guys out. I don't think that they are strong. Now all that left are the three people. Su Min doesn't know how strong they are but she thinks that one of them defeated the ant queen earlier. She knows that the evil beast is a national level beast. But she is sure that the rooster is weaker than the ant queen. That leaves the two seniors. One seems to have power that can shrink himself. And the other one, she is sure that he is the strongest one because he is ordering the national level beast. She asks for Lin Fan opinion. What should they do in this situation? Honey, you're asking an opinion from a psycho? That's so funny. Well, she doesn't know that. Like any other psychos, the two are confused about what to say. Two of them looks behind. Su Min is surprised that the two seniors are asking the brother and sister to make the choice. Sister tells him that he did something very wrong. He also accepts his mistake. She hugs him saying don't do any more mistakes in the future. Then she hits him with some magic power that makes him unconscious. Thus, she has make her choice. They hand over Kite in the last DOE to the Ant Queen. But sister also has her condition, that the evil beast of the Kangxi city can't leave the city, and continue to cooperate with the Kangxi's strong to develop DOE antidote. At the same time, she has to guarantee that no harm will come to the city people. If the Ant Queen agrees these conditions then they can sign the peace agreement. Well, Suman was also there for the peace agreement from the beginning. They have to sign the agreement with their blood and if one of them violate the agreement, they will be backlashed by their own power several times. They sign the peace agreement with their blood. With this agreement, the Kanchi city will be the first city where human and beast will try to live peacefully. Next, sister bids her farewell to her brother then she also passes out. When she wakes up, Arrow is carrying her and they are in the forest outside of the Kangxi. Other sister and brother informs her what happened after she passed out. Then she realizes something and asks Arrow to put her down, but he is happy to carry her since she is weak right now. And why won't he be happy? He got to feel her front side after all. She starts to use violence. Poor Arrow got no choice but to let her down. She starts to search for her brother, then starts to run back to the Kangxi city. Arrow and Hoodie are surprised what is going on with Miss Sai Olu. Didn't she just left her brother there to die then why is she searching him again? She runs back to her brother, remembers what the Ant Queen said at that time, that she will use the cruelest punishment to kill him, the brother she came to save. She just left him to the beast to get killed. In order to save him, she changes her soul with Kite. This is their family's secret life-saving method, which can only be used once in a lifetime. She arrives at the execution place and is shocked to see that her brother is being pierced by arrows and stakes. And people are shouting, kill him, kill him. The execution method the Ant Queen chooses for Kite was to pierce him with thousand arrows and by the people he hurt. A little kid is ready for his turn to shot. At this moment, sister realizes that she made a big mistake. But what can she do? They have already made the peace agreement and she was the one to make the conditions of the agreement. She wants to save her brother, but she can't ignore the people of the Kangxi. But she wants to save her brother, the brother she played with, the brother she loved, her little brother. She accompanied him to his very last moment by that soul technique. Next, she has passed out again. And the other two brother and sister are talking that the higher-ups from the central will send people to cooperate with the beast in the Kangxi to develop the DOE antidote. And normal people can't enter the city right now because of the infection. The ant queen and the king comes and stops them, but they are not there to pick a fight. She wants Sio Wu's ashes. Since Sio Wu's is from the ancient mythical beast Phoenix bloodline, queen have a way to bring her back to life. She then starts to perform some magic ritual thing, then turn the ashes into egg. And for some reason Zhang is saying it's his, after seeing that egg. Don't tell me brother, you're going to make an omelette. Something then flies to Zhang, and enter into his head. What the fog is going on? Everyone is shocked like, what just happened? What just happened? But the two sister and brother seems to have left their soul because just after signing the peace agreement, the seniors are robbing other people's treasure. Fortunately, it was not the egg. The thing that just entered in Zhang's head was something like necklace, a precious treasure that Ant Queen was wearing. And she is shocked because the power inside it is so strong that even people like her can die if they absorb its all power. Zhang falls off Lin Fan's head. Lin Fan catches him and he has also turned back to his original form. The system notifies that the substance that Zhang absorbed, its power was so strong that it actually released the effect of the special effect potion in advance. Seeing Zhang's tongue out like that, Queen and Kings thinks that he have died. Not so fast. He is not someone who would die just like that. Instead now he is feeling super strong. His body is full of power. Ant Queen is surprised that he survived the Balin's power, the thing she was wearing as a necklace. She then remembers her past, how she obtained that Balin. A thousand years ago, at the foot of the Kangshin Mountain, Ant Queen was young at that time, and was by the side of a river, injured. She had a fight with the Bee Queen and was seriously injured. 
and the Wolf King took advantage of that and ambushed her. But luckily she managed to survive from the Wolf King, but was seriously injured again. She notices a human coming there, and was scared thinking if the humans find her in that state, they will surely kill her. But the human was a little monk, he asked her if she was alright. She was super scared because she was unable to move, and her soul almost left her body when he tried to take something from his back. But it was nothing dangerous but the necklace he was wearing. He gave her that necklace because it can heal injuries. She was surprised that this human was different, he didn't kill her, but gave her a treasure that can heal her. She informed him that she is not a human. He knows that too, but he is a monk, and his Buddha is merciful. For him all living beings are equal. The little monk left that bale into her to heal herself. He told her that he was going to the west to do something, and when he returned from west, he will take back his bale in from her. After recovering from her injuries, the ant queen would come to the river from time to time to wait for the little monk to return back him the treasure he gave her. Years after years, the bottom of the mountain have changed but she would come there every time. And now, the Kangshan has become Kangxi, and she is still waiting for the little monk. But I don't think he will return any time now. What a sad little story. I think I have fallen for this ant queen. She waited for thousand years for the little monk. If it was a love story, it would be splendid. But now, she is happy that she got to see the descendants of her benefactor. Zhang is confused like what the hell is she talking about? Just a day ago, they were at each other's throat, and now he is her benefactor. She informs them about the backstory of that Baolin. And Zhang absorbed that strong power of that Baolin. That means he is the descendant of her benefactor. Because no one is able to absorb all the power inside that Baolin. She is happy to see the descendant of her benefactor. And that the Baolin has returned to its owner's descendants. She thanks him. If it wasn't for his ancestor, the little monk, she wouldn't be alive today. She also gives him a threat of her spiritual power. It disappears in his hand. And he can take it out too. And if he ever finds himself in danger, he can just break the thread and she will come to his aid. And we all know who is Zhang. Zhang is a psycho. And to make sure that it really works, he breaks it. And it worked like a magic. She appears in front of him. She didn't see that coming, huh? She gives him another thread. He tries to break it again. She yells at him and tells him to stop doing that. But Zhang is like, it's so much fun pulling it and breaking it. Next, they all are waiting for the helicopter. Now we see the comeback of the best acupuncturist. He tells Linfin that after absorbing that bail-in, he is feeling like his whole universe operation method has become even stronger, and asks Lin Fan if he likes to try it. Why not? It's Lin Fan. He is always ready for Zhang's experiments. Next, we see two helicopters, and inside one of the helicopters, there are two powerful fighters, a goggle and a scarf, and they are surprised that Team 666 fought with the Ant Queen and defeated her, and even made her sign a peace agreement. Not only the Ant Queen, but from their report they heard that there were many town-level cursed beasts in the Kangxi city, and they still managed to defeat the Ant Queen. They also heard that it was Lin Fan from Team 666 who defeated her. And according to Goggle, there aren't many people who can defeat the Ant Queen in their dragon country. And this makes Lin Fan a commanding level powerhouse. And Lin Fan being a commanding level fighter, it's not a simple matter for their dragon country, and even for the other countries in the world. Next, they arrive at the helipad, where the rescue team were waiting for them. And it seems like brother and sister knows these two guys. Goggle notices Xiao Lu and asks what happened. Arrow informs him that she passed out after seeing her brother's death. Goggle then notices the town-level cursed beast, Brother Chicken. He is sensing a strong energy from the rooster, but he is not sensing any energy from Lin Fan. In fact he is shocked that Lin Fan is not even breathing. Zhang apologizes to Lin Fan that it seems like his whole universe method still seems to have problem with it. Rooster is making sure whether Lin Fan is dead or just fainted, and Goggle is surprised that Lin Fan fainted with just few needles. He thinks Lin Fan is not as strong as the rumors say, but brother have no idea how powerful Zhang's needles can be, unless you try it on yourself. He then notices Zhang the third member of the team 666, and about Zhang, they only know that he has the ability to shrink, and Goggle thinks the ability to shrink is too weak. From what he had seen here in front of him, he comes to the conclusion that the rooster in Lin Fan is the power of the team 666, and Zhang is just some extra with shrinking ability. Goggle then uses his power to check if any of them are infected or not, and they are not infected. He tells them to go back first. He and Scarf will go and meet the Ant Queen to discuss some matters. He also checks team 666 and they are also not infected. Brother and sister tells him to be careful when meeting the Ant Queen. He tells them not to worry, even though, he and Scarf can't beat the Ant Queen, but they are confident in their ability to retreat unscathed. But Hoodie doesn't think that they have the ability to retreat, since he has experienced Ant Queen's power firsthand. Rescue team leaves from there and Goggle and Scarf leaves for the Kangxi city. Next, on the roof of the special department headquarters, Masked Man and Kinyi 
Hoodie's boss, who sent Hoodie as a spy in the rescue team, are waiting for them on the rooftop. He is relieved that Hoodie has returned safely, but his focus was on the Team 666. FYI, Mr. Invisible is also there. He is in Rooster's necklace. Masked Man thanks them for their hard work. He tells them that he will give them a handsome reward. The news of the rescue team and Team 666 spread like a wildfire everywhere. Next we see the mental hospital. Oh wait, it's not the mental hospital, it's Longchu Central Hospital. And there we see Xylo Lu, who is crying. She was trying to save her brother's soul by exchanging her soul to his body. But before the arrow hit Kite, Kite forced his sister out of his body. How can he let his sister die in place of him? He is the one who did wrong. He will never let his only family his sister to die in his place. And he was just fulfilling his promise that he will protect his sister no matter what. And he did. Even though, he was evil. I really hated him, but still he was a good brother to his sister. Respect for that. And now, he has leave his beautiful sister all alone in this big world. Next, Arrow comes to check on her. She has notices that he's been guarding her outside. Which makes him blush because he was worried about her that's why he was guarding outside her room. She thanks him for that. He then leaves from there to buy her some food, since she must be hungry after being in coma all day. The masked man comes there and informs her that the human and cursed beast are living peacefully because of her. And they are living peacefully because they have one common enemy, the DOE. He informs her that some people will bring her brother's body so she can let him bury next to her parents. For that she thanks him. He tells her not to thank him. If DOE is allowed to develop, all the living creatures in the world will go extinct, thanks to her brother. But the fact that the DOE existed will make the IQ enhanced beasts understand that human are not weaker than them. In the future, if the IQ enhanced cursed beasts try to harm the humans, they can use her brother's knowledge to threaten them. Next, she buried her brother next to her parents. Three days later, Lin Fan wakes up because of the feather Zhang was using. The system notifies that he has successfully broke through to a new realm. His Qigong practice method has been promoted to the early stage of heavenly rank. And system is sad because he didn't break through while the system was helping him with the Ant Queen. But he broke through after being stabbed by Zhang's needles. And Zhang is feeling proud because he woke up Lin Fan who slept for another three days. Lin Fan also thanks him because he is feeling much stronger now because of Zhang's needles. And poor system is like, I'll just die. Zhang is happy that his whole universe method was successful. Goggle comes there and informs them to come to the combat power evaluation room to check their power. They are confused, like who is this Goggle guy? We are seeing him for the first time. Next, they check Lin Fan combat power but his level is still zero. This makes everyone there confused. Now they are doubting if the rescue team's report is false. They starts to think about different way to check Lin Fan's power. And Jang seems to have noticed something fun. When they looks behind to see the two experts, they have already gone from there. And they have come to the bald guy's place, where they are checking their strength. The doctor tells the bald guy to use all his strength because the iron wall is extremely hard. The guy punches the wall. The doctor congratulates him because his power is at rank 6. One bald guy notices Shang and Lin Fan and tells them to leave from there because that place is only used by the bald guys. That's a place specially designed for the Buddhist power fighter. The bald guy tells them to go back home or they might break their hands. Doctor calls him that it's his turn. The bald guy also hits the wall and it turned out that he is a level 7 power fighter. And Shang is sad because they are not letting him play with them. The doctor also let them test their strength. And bald guys are making fun of them. Zhang throws his punch but nothing happened. Everyone laughs at him that he is level 0. He starts to cry that his hand hurts. Lin Fan gets mad and he is ready to punch the wall. Baldies are making fun of him too. He punches the wall and made a hole in it. Baldies are terrified not only did he punch but also made a hole in it. Doctor is shocked because the power Lin Fan just released is the commander level. The high officials are also shocked to see a commander level. And now the Dragon Kingdom also have a dominant powerhouse again. Lin Fan tells Zhang that he took revenge for him. Now his hand must not hurt that much. Zhang is happy that his hand is not hurting that much. Lin Fan also gives him a healing potion. Masked Man tells him that he want to talk with him. Gobble orders everyone there to keep secret what happened there today. Until the headquarters announced any commander level information to the outside world. And Kenny seems to be wary of this new commander level for some reason. Next in the meeting room of the headquarters, Masked Man asks Lin Fan to stay in the capital and guard the capital. It's been 200 years since the Dragon Kingdom has had a commander level combat power. Masked Man tells him that he is very important, but the two of them have no idea of what that Masked Man is talking. But Lin Fan had understand that they wants him to stay there. So he asks if Zhang is also staying there with him. Masked Man informs him that they will send Mr. Zhang back to Yanhai City. But if Mr. Zhang is not there, he will also not stay there. There is no fun without Mr. Zhang. He almost cried when he was sent to another world without Zhang. 
Masked man tells him that they will allow Mr. Zhang to stay too. But Zhang is like, me, stay here, but I want to go home. He starts to make that sad face and tells Lin Fan that he wants to go home. He misses the Dean. Lin Fan tells the masked man that they have to go back right now. And poor masked man is confused, like what's going on here. Then he realizes that one eye is their guardian. They wants to return home to see one eye. Now he knows what to do. He gets ready to talk to one eye to make Lin Fan and Zhang to stay in the capital. Masked man send the scarf guy to guard the Yanhai city for time being and sent a special plane to pick up one eye. Masked man informs one eye that Lin Fan is a commander level fighter and he wants Lin Fan to stay in the capital. And one eye is shocked to hear that news. He never thought Lin Fan to be a commander level fighter. Masked man also tells him that they are ready to pay 10 times of amount to recruit Lin Fan and Zhang. One eye is happy not only he will get rid of those two psychos, in return he is also getting money. Masked increases the amount to 100 times, and one eye seems to be lost after hearing 100 times the price, putting Jojo's face. He tells the masked man that he doesn't care about the money, but he is ready to sell Lin Fan and Jang to the headquarter. But then he remembers Red Beauty's words that the headquarters had sent the special plane for him because they knows about Lin Fan and Jang's power. That's why they can't let Jang and Lin Fan to stay in the headquarters no matter what. One Eye then strongly rejects the offers. Masked Man is surprised that even 100 times the price is also less. It's not because of the money. Red Beauty told One Eye that they can't let Lin Fan and Jang to stay because they both are mental patient. And if they stay in the headquarters for longer period, the headquarters will know that they are mental patients. And what will happen after that? They will put Lin Fan and Jang to the mental prison. And if that happened they will and not know what will Lin Fan will do. He is like a time bomb that can go kaboom anytime. One Eye tells the masked man that he can't let Lin Fan and Jang to stay there because they are his illegitimate child, and those childrens of his doesn't want to be separated from their father. Masked man is shocked to hear this new information. One Eye starts to cry saying if he let them stay in the HQ, they will think that their father has abandoned them just like their mother. And One Eye can't bear that. After hearing all those words from One Eye, there was a moment of silence in the HQ meeting room. And masked man had also heard that the guardian of those two is One Eye, even though they don't know the exact fact. But from what he has heard, seen and hear, now he is sure that those two might be One Eye's sons. Now he remembers why Lin Fan and Zhang were eager to go back home. It was because they wanted to see their father. Masked Man then asks him why their surnames are different. One Eye informs him that it's because of his son's mother, they have different surnames. Masked Man then asks him why Zhang's date of birth and age were blank in his personal information. One Eye tells him that he can't remember the date. Now this makes Masked Man mad, like what kind of father doesn't know his own son's birth date? One Eye tells him not to separate the father and sons. His son still needs their fatherly love. At last, Masked Man agrees with One Eye. Someone enters the room. One Eye was telling Masked Man to keep the secret of Lin Fan and Jang being his son. The guy who just entered is another Ed Hair guy, and is surprised that One Eye has such an amazing sons. The red haired guy name is Jin Shanglin, and he is also a town level powerhouse guardian of the HQ, and he is the next head of the Jin family. One Eye remembers the name. This red hair guy is the big brother of red hair uncle. Holly Molly he is also Red Beauty's uncle. That means one eye is F. Now the uncle of the girl he likes has known that he has two sons. How is he going to marry her now? Now there is no hope for his future marriage. Next, Hoodie is surprised that Lin Fan and Zhang are going back to the Yanhai city. And his boss is also surprised that the mast let them go after he heard that they were one eye's sons. Now that Lin Fan and Zhang are going back, it will be difficult for Hoodie and his boss to get rid of one eye and red beauty. And they are trying to get rid of one eye and red beauty because they have a secret account of someone named Zhang Zhen. And the boss is trying to get rid of them because he don't want the information of that secret account to be exposed. And since Lin Fan is a commander level fighter, boss gets ready to bring an evil beast on par with Lin Fan's strength. Then suddenly Hoodie gets shocked because one eye is in his 40s and Lin Fan and Jang are in their 20s. How is this possible? Maybe he got married when he was 20, no need to think about it too much Hoodie. Hoodie then suggests the boss to consider wooing Lin Fan and Jang. But how is that going to happen because the boss is going to kill their father? And this hoodie is suggesting to woo the sons after killing their father. I don't think that's going to happen. Next, when Goggle came to fetch Lin Fan and Zhang, they didn't take Rooster with them. So he was left alone there. He got an idea. What is he going to do when he is left alone? Obviously he would escape. But nope, he just passed out in the bed. And was wake up by his two masters because they wants to eat his balls, I mean his eggs. Next, the sister and brother also arrive in their country and are welcomed by all the members of their HQ, calling them the heroes of the rescue team. But sister is feeling guilty because they didn't do much in their rescue mission except for hiding. Brother tells her to cheer up because they returned from a mission where most people would have died. Going against the Ant Queen it was a suicide mission to begin with. 
but they survive without even a scratch. This makes her spirit lift a little. Team 666 has made to the top 20 of the national, which shocked one eye, because in just a few months, they have reached top 20 in national standing. But this is also a good opportunity for one eye. Now that the Team 666 has become commanding level team, they will get us ranked mission and the reward will also be a national level reward. And those reward will come to one eye. Next, they arrive at the Yanhai city. Dean welcomes the two patients of his. Seeing their Dean who have come there to welcome them, their eyes get filled with tears of joys. They hug each other. Dean also hugs brother Chicken. And why is Dean so happy? One eye knows the reason. Because last night, the HQ had sent Lin Fan and Jang's rescue mission money to his account. And it was 24 million. He was so happy that he couldn't even get an ounce of sleep. Red Beauty informs One Eye about the Scarf guy who was sent to guard the room. He thinks he is not the suspect. Now that Scarf is out of the picture, One Eye informs her that there is still three suspects. And these suspects they are looking for are the people who planned an attacking Yanai City before. Uncle stops their lovey dovey chit chat. He doesn't want his niece to be too close with the pervert. She then asks him what to do next. One Eye tells her to just keep studying Zheng Sen's body. Uncle separates them even farther. And as for Lin Fan, Zhang, and Rooster, they were sent back to their home. And everyone is happy to have them back. And why won't they be because everyone has got bonus from their money. But after three days, you guys can see the faces of these nurses huh? One is breaking the tree and the other one is stabbing every mental patient with his needle. First day at the mental hospital, Lin Fan was doing some stunt with the kitchen knife. And Dean was happy seeing the amount of money he has received. On the second day, Lin Fan was doing another stunt, this time with a chainsaw man. Oh Dean is getting little annoyed by them. Third day, this was too much for Dean. One is breaking trees, and another one is chasing people to stab them with his needles. And if this goes on even the 24 million won't be Enoch to pay for the damage. But Dean is still happy that chicken is so much better than those two patients of his. The chicken will only sleeps on the tree without causing any damage. But now that chicken is also getting annoyed because the Dean is giving him too much love hearts. Young Master comes there to play with Lin Fan and Jang. Jang is happy to see him. And Young Master is confused why they are wearing clothes like that of the special talent fighter. Young Master have come there because he wants Lin Fan and Jang to go on a picnic with him. Then he realizes that he is asking two mental patients to go on a picnic with him. The Dean will never allow that. But Dean is super happy and tells him to take the two on the picnic with him. Next, they have come to the forest for the picnic. And Young Master has brought a five-star hotel chef with him. Jang notices a hole on a big rock. This makes the family in the heaven shocked. Jang and Lin Fan gets ready to explore what's inside that cave. When they enter inside the cave, there is an evil beast in there, and I think this is the hideout of the Cockroach King. This evil beast has been shut in for 300 years. He arrived in that Yanhai city about 300 years ago with his brother Cockroach. And now he has woken up from his slumber, and he is sure that his brother have already ruled the Yanhai territory and became the overlord of that place. Luckily the beast encounters Lin Fan and Jang. The system notifies an energy that can ease his hunger for three months, and also gives him the details how to cook the beast. And after seeing that delicious meat, Lin Fan is drooling. A few moments later, Chicken is checking the egg. Lin Fan and Jang comes out of the cave with a beast. Rooster gets shocked. Zio Wu falls from his hand. But luckily Invisible catches her. She is saved. Poor Bull asks for his compatriot to save him. But Rooster is like it's all your fault for pick the wrong hole. I mean wrong cave. Then blood splashes. Rest in peace brother Bull. Family above the heaven are sad because they lost another of their kind. Then the Bull arrive at the heaven. And two brothers are happy that they are together at long last. Tears of joys flows from their eyes, while hugging each other. Everyone claps their hands after seeing such a touching reunion. And in the picnic forest, its head is being roasted, and the great hero is eating his compatriot's meat, while the tears of taste is flowing from his eyes. He doesn't know why but for some reason his compatriot's meat are too tasty. The young master manager comes asking if he needs cumin, which will make the meat taste even better. The great hero is happy to have that cumin if the meat tastes better, and two brothers are cursing him from above the heaven. Next, on the second day, an owl comes to the picnic side to eat the human, you all know what will happen right. Great hero sacrifices himself once again while saying if you want to blame, blame yourself for taking the initiative to seek death. On the third day, Zhang notices a cute snake, and the snake is confused why is it feeling disturbed even though the humans are calling it cute, while that because you're going inside the great hero's stomach. Once again the great hero sacrifices himself while saying blame yourself for swaggering in front of those two. On the fourth day, an evil pig was happily sleeping after eating human, gets his arse drag out from its nest by the two humans. The great hero sacrifices himself once again while saying blame yourself for sleeping too soundly. Then the next day, a rabbit's meat, great hero once again sacrifices himself while saying you can only blame yourself for being too cute. 
Then the next day, an evil bullfrog, great hero once again sacrifices himself while saying blame yourself for being too ugly. Then again, next day, great hero sacrifices himself while saying blame yourself and your meat for being too fragrant. The family has become even bigger now. Next day, Brother Chicken wakes up and now he has become the strongest national level evil beast and also have the skills of all the beasts he had eaten. Seeing that stats of his, the two brother passed out. Cockroach hisses something. Brother Bull understood it. Foxy informs everyone what their king just said. He said if there is afterlife, he will not let go of any chicken that passes in front of him. Next, far far far, farther away in the future, a mother cockroach has given birth to billions of baby cockroaches. One of them, as soon as he was born, he rushed to a big rooster that was passing by outside the cave. The little cockroach roared with hatred at the big cock, I mean the big rooster. Mother and fathers and sisters are surprised and scared what their brother and son is doing. And the brave cockroach was eaten once again by the rooster. Next, young master and others are on their way home. Young master invites them to have a meal with him before going home. They come to a restaurant, and Lin Fan notices their good sister. Their good sister was there to find a job. She was about to leave. Zhang and Lin Fan stops her. Zhang asks her if she is also there for a dinner too, but she can't afford to have a meal there. She informs them that she was there to find a job, but now she is leaving. Young master asks Lin Fan and Zhang who is she. They informs him that the woman is their good sister, who made a snake soup for them. Young master then asks her to work for him in his house. He needs a housekeeper. He is ready to give her 20,000 salary a month. She kindly accepts the offer and is ready to work for him. She then thanks her brothers for the job. They don't know what is going on there but even though they accepts her thanks. Next Dr. Lai is having his peaceful time because the two patients of his are not there for almost month or two. He then burns some incense to God asking to never let those two to come back to his hospital. But the prayer was little late and didn't reach to the God. The two troubles are back. He throws the incense saying I will never burn incense for you again. They have come to see their lovely Dr. Lai because they missed him. And now that they have seen him, he took them in his arm and throw them inside the car. Finally today was a safe day. They didn't break anything from his hospital. Next, young master dropped them in the hospital, and Dean is like thank you for bringing them back, while thinking why did you bring them back. Dean then informs everyone to never let Lin Fan and Zhang get out of their sight for more than 5 seconds. One of the nurses asks the Dean what to do after 5 seconds. He tells her to report to him. She then reports him that it's been more than 5 seconds that Lin Fan and Zhang disappeared. Dean looks behind and they are gone. Next, the weather seems to be little stromy today, and two of them have come on the top of that building. And why? Because Professor Zing Kong told Lin Fan that there will be thunder and strom today. But Zhang is sure that the old man who sold him the watch said that Professor Zing Kong is mentally ill, so they can't trust his words. But Professor Zing Kong also told Lin Fan that the old man who sells watches, he is the one who is mentally ill, because all the watches he sold were fake watches. Now they are confused who to trust, and this means that both of them are mentally ill. And Lin Fan had heard from a TV that mentally ill people are dangerous. They gets ready to stay away from both the professor and the old man. Then the lightning hits the building. They both are surprised, because this means Professor Zing Kong is right that the old man is mentally ill. Zhang gets sad, and from now on he is not going to buy watches from the old man. Lin Fan gets ready to do his practice, and Zhang is rooting for him because after the practice, Lin Fan will become even stronger. Luckily the nurses arrive at the time. They try to stop Lin Fan. Seeing the nurses who are rushing to disturb his best friend, Zhang gets ready to stop them. Lady Nurse notices Zhang and tells the other nurses to stop Zhang quickly because that crazy son of a gun is about to jump off the building. And he actually jumps, but luckily the Lady Nurse catches him. Others also helps her to pull up Mr. Zhang. Then the lightning falls. Lin Fan turn into charcoal. Lady Nurse tells the other nurse to call the Dean. But both of them didn't bring their phone. But Lady Nurse have brought her phone with her. She gets ready to call Mr. Dean. Then one of the nurses realizes that they have forgotten something. Yes, you have forgotten Zhang. Hope he rest in peace. And the nurses let go of Mr. Zhang. He is falling from the 28th floor. If he hits the ground that means he is dead. But the brave hero comes and save him at the right moment. Lady Nurse is surprised because she is finding that beautiful big bird kinda familiar. Other nurses informs her. That bird is Lin Fan and Zhang's pet, and it's an evil beast. The new information shocked her, because she was kinda unfriendly with this evil beast. When Rooster was peacefully sleeping on a tree, she shouted at him, because of him the leaves were falling everywhere. And at the time when Rooster was peacefully sleeping on the ground, so that the leaves will not fall, she shoo him away thinking he was shitting there. Now she too passes out after knowing the truth that the chicken is an evil beast. But luckily the ambulance arrive at the right time and took Lin Fan to Dr. Lai's hospital. Dr. Lai asks Mr. Dean why is Lin Fan wearing the uniform of the special department. Dean tells him that Lin Fan is just doing cosplay thing. 
but Dr. Lai is very sure that uniform is from the special department. Finally, Dr. Lai understood that Mr. Dean is laboring his patients in the special department. To close Dr. Lai's mouth, Dean offered him 100,000, but Dr. Lai didn't expect that his senior to make his patients work in the special department. It's very dangerous for mental patients. Dean raised the number to 500,000, but Dr. Lai is still shocked after hearing this news. Dean offers him 1 million to close his mouth. Dr. Lai is shocked like how much money did Mr. Dean make by using Lin Fan. Dr. Lai still tries to increase the number. Dean gets ready to leave from there, now he can't increase the number anymore and tells Dr. Lai to just spread the news. Dr. Lai stops him and is fine with the offer. One million it is, they seal the deal. But sending that one million to Dr. Lai's account was the hardest task for Mr. Dean, but he got no other choice. Dr. Lai then informs his president that they received one million sponsorship from Brother Hao. He then starts to talk about Lin Fan and Jang who are now working for special department to his president. Dean then yells at Dr. Lai because he heard that tut sound. The call was cut. But Dr. Lai is still trying to court more money from Mr. Dean. Next, Lin Fan wakes up and the system congratulates him for completing an S-level self-training. System then asks him if he likes to enter the other world. And since its master has a mental problem, the system gets ready to make the choice. But Lin Fan decline it, he doesn't want to go to another world. The system is shocked because its host never made a choice like this before. But Lin Fan is searching for old Jang. And he doesn't want to go to the other world because he will be alone there. Next, a nurse who seems to be happy because the patients are very well behaved today. She is happy that today was another day of peace and joy. But then she gets shocked because that peace and joy is about to jump off of the building. She calls every other nurses to stop him. And they manages to stop him. Then Lin Fan notices Zhang calling him to jump. And he is flying on the rooster. Now Lin Fan also wants to ride his chicken. Next day, a reporter come to the hospital because of the news that some patient jumped off of the building. But since they didn't find the body, the reporter informs the public to not believe in rumors. And don't just call news reporter for those rumors. The night when the patient jumped off the building, they didn't find his body because he landed on his pet. The rooster fly them high in the sky. Lin Fan spread his wings like a bird while tearing his bandages. And Zhang was shocked to see the ding-dong bell that was hanging in front of him. And to hide that ding-dong of Lin Fan's, Invisible gave Zhang the uniform to Lin Fan. After wearing that uniform, Lin Fan asks Zhang to stand with him. But Zhang is scared because he might fall. Lin Fan told him to trust him. And since it's Lin Fan, Zhang trusted him. Zhang also spread his wings, like the actress from the Titanic movie. They not only spread their wings, they even started to dance on the back of the rooster. And the rooster is like what the fuck? That's my back not a stage for you to dance. This was the little story of that night. Thank you guys for watching. Just kidding. Next, seeing the rooster, the national level flying in the sky with humans. Other evil beasts gets confused like what's going on there. Beasts are confused thinking that if that new national level is their new king. And seeing him flying with humans, they think, he must be the peacemaker from the Kangxi city. And if he is the peacemaker and their new king, they can't eat the humans in Yanai city. Brother Gorilla is also surprised to see his brother chicken has become a national level beast. And now he is thinking that his mother's dream of living peacefully with humans might come true. And there's another goggle guy behind him giving him a dead look. He smacked brother Gorilla for slacking off. And these guys are the good guys who are on the mission of making a billion dollar cleaning company. They once cleaned the young master's house and got their first clean money. Next we see Chu Boa and his master. And Chu Boa is also surprised to see a national level beast who is willing to coexist peacefully with humans. Since it was getting late and no one is around. Chu Boa changes into his beast form to let his master ride in. Chu Boa fans are you happy to see him in good health? And Chu Boa has also level up. He has become stronger than he was before. Next we see, Dean and he is sad that he lost 1 million. And the medical expense for Lin Fan and Zhang was also a lot. He was thinking how Lin Fan and Zhang is doing right now. And they arrive at his window saying Dean we are back. Which obviously shocked the Dean. He scolds them for roaming outside this late at night and tells them to go to the bed. Next morning, they didn't go to their room, but slept outside with Brother Chicken. Dean covers them with a coverlet, while thinking when will one eye come to pick them up. This temporary vacation is too long. Next the system informs Lin Fan that his offer to go to another world is expiring soon, so make the decision fast. But Lin Fan is not listening to the system. The system then gets ready to make Zhang to go with him too. Now Lin Fan seems interested, even though the system told him that he can bring Zhang with him. But the system can't promise, because only Lin Fan is bound with the system. And if Zhang can't enter the other world, the host can't blame the system for that. Lin Fan wakes Zhang and tells him that the psycho in his mind told him that Zhang can also go with him to the other world where Lin Fan went last time, and had a lot of fun. 
Zhang is happy to go with him. Next, the system gets ready to send them to the other world. Lin Fan asks Zhang to hold his hand and close his eyes. And Rooster is confused what his Psycho Masters are talking. Have they gone beyond the state of Psycho? How can they move to different world by just closing and holding hands? The system then starts to process and the task this time is to help Lin Fan of that world, the descendant of the martial god, help his family to regain their prestige. Next, the system gets shocked not only Zhang but even their pet is going in. Next, Buto League Headquarters Dream City. Some people are bullying the Lin family, and the one who are bullying them kinda looks like the people of Special Department. Even Kite is there with them, and they want the Book of Space of Law from the Lin family. And why this guy kinda looks like one eye, but with two eyes and hair. And even the Red Beauty is beside him. And there's Lin Fan who seems to be mentally ill in this world too. And in this world, he has gone far beyond than Psycho, because he is thinking of himself as a dog. His mother asks him to pull himself together, but he is like dog don't listens to human. And wait, the two old man from the Lin family kinda looks like Dr. Lai and Mr. D, and they will never give their family treasure to anyone, since they are not giving the book nicely. The villains charges towards them with full force. Two old man uses their technique to create a shield. The villains realizes that it's not a shield but the old man's domain. He wants to trap them there and let the woman escape with the book. The shield gets complete. I mean the domain gets complete. Mother asks Lin Fan to stand up and run from there. But he thinks he is a dog and is not listening his mother. Mother then gives him a few slaps to bring him back to reality. That slap switch the flip in Lin Fan. The Lin Fan from the real world arrives there. Mother gets more confused when Lin Fan tells her that she is the mother of this Lin Fan. And now his head is itching. And that may be because of the louse in his head. Mother is shocked thinking did her slap made her son more stupid. Lin Fan starts to search for old Jang. Mother is confused who is this Jang he is calling for. Two old men are overpowered by the villains. One old man gets sent fly outside of his domain and falls near Lin Fan. Lin Fan helps him seeing how wounded the old man is. He tells the old man to wait for Zhang. Zhang can heal his wounds. The villains jump at them. The other old man comes in front of them to stop the attack. He gets pierced, slash, cut, stabs by those villains. The blood splashes on Lin Fan's face. He gets mad because so many people are ganging on one guy. He gets ready to let them give him some practice and tells them to come and hit him. The boss of the villains jumps at him and grabs him by his neck. But then the hand he is grabbing Lin Fan's neck gets broken. Not only one finger but all his fingers gets broken. Everyone is shocked what just happened. How did his fingers got broken? The lady of the group orders her men to finish Lin Fan. Fake Kite jumps at Lin Fan with his sword and even hits Lin Fan on his shoulder. But the sword gets broken. Kite is shocked thinking how is that even possible. The lady is trying to ambush Lin Fan from behind. She attacks him with her full force. Instead she gets the backlash of her full force. She dies after that. Now everyone is getting scared not only one but Lin Fan took down two of their bosses without even hitting them. Everyone charges toward him together. But none of them managed to deal a damage on him. Instead they all died after hitting Lin Fan. Lin Fan thanks them for helping him practice. Except Zhang no one has ever helped him practice this hard. He gives their soul a big hug. And they de die once again. The other old man who got stabbed. He is the head butler of the family. And his name is Yan. He asks the Lin family head to take care of his granddaughter for him. Family head asks Lin Fan to help because he is the strongest there. Lin Fan asks his system for the healing potion. Family head grandpa is surprised to see the object appearing out of air. And is confused thinking what is that thing. After feeding Yan the healing potion, he comes back to life and is fully healed. Next we see. Brother Chicken and is shocked how did he came to that place. And now that he think about it, the two psychos did talk about the other world. He didn't expect they were telling the truth. And he is mad because he has become a girl here. Some people comes there to pick a fight with him. The old man come and grabs him by his neck. Rooster tries to use his beast energy. But his beast energy is not working there. He tries to use his venom bomb. But his venom bomb is also not working. He then uses all of his skills but none are working. The old man who was grabbing Rooster is confused what that little girl is talking. From the old man behind the man grabbing Rooster, we come to know that Rooster is Yen's granddaughter. The old man then throws Rooster outside, and Rooster is shocked because he almost died by the hands of that useless human. And what in the world is going on? He can't use his skills anymore. Butler Yang comes to save his granddaughter. The old man attacks him too. Family head also arrives there. The old man is there to get his revenge, because the Lin family killed his granddaughter, and he is there to make them pay in blood. The old man who have come there to make trouble is known as the old ghost of the Zhu family. And he is there for Lin Fan. He tells them to trade Lin Fan for Yan's granddaughter. And if they don't he will kill her. Then Lin Fan enters the scene. And he seems to be confused. Lin Fan then gets shocked to see his hen there. And in fact, the rooster has actually turned into a hen. Hen also gets shocked to see Lin Fan there. 
Lin Fan is happy and Hen didn't expect Lin Fan to see him in that state. The vicious human has seen him in his human female form. This was too much for the rooster. The old ghost asks Lin Fan to come to him or he will kill the little girl. If it's just coming to him, Lin Fan is ready to do that. Old ghost didn't expect Lin Fan to be such a fool. If he comes to him, he will be dead but still he is coming there willingly. And from Yan perspective, Lin Fan was like Jojo, the ultimate Giga Chad, the ultimate alpha male, that is willing to sacrifice himself for his alpha female, Giga Chady. He and Gramps stops Lin Fan from sacrifice himself. Lin Fan doesn't know what's going on there. He pushes them away saying he is fine. Such heroic act was too much for the two old man to watch, but they didn't expect any less from the bloodline of the Lin family. Next, a few other people have also joined the scene, and they are the three bigs of that city, and their strength are on par with that old ghost Ju. Gramps and Yan is happy because with those three they might have the chance to deal with old Ju. Lin family thanks them for coming to help them, and informs them about the situation. That yesterday old Ju's granddaughter came with their people to steal Lin family's treasure, and they died. The three people thinks that the Lin family is at fault, and since they killed old Ju's granddaughter, it's only reasonable for old Ju to seek revenge for her. They asks the Lin family to let Lin Fan die as compensation, but the one who died were the genius of that town. So they also wants Yan's granddaughter to die as compensation. The Lin family are now in trouble. They can't go against four martial kings. One of the big threes gets ready to kill the hen, or they can hand over their family treasure, the Space Law Volume. But the Space Law Volume is the most important treasure of the Lin family and if they handed that to those villains, the Lin family will be finished, and there is no guarantee that they will let go of Lin Fan and Hen. The villain then gets ready to finish the little hen and throws his weapon at her. Lin Fan catches that weapon and tells them not to throw their things around or it might hurt his hen. The other people are shocked to see Lin Fan caught that weapon of their leader. Old Ju is also shocked because he didn't see Lin Fan moving. Lin Fan's speed was so fast that his eyes couldn't catch his movement. Everyone realizes that the stupid son of the Lin family is not stupid. Old Ju then asks them to pay the compensation in other ways. They don't need to kill Lin Fan. The leader didn't expect his senior Zhu to change his mind, but this made him clear that the Lin Fan might be stronger for them to handle. And for that, they only asks for Yan's granddaughter dead as a compensation. Now Rooster is getting mad. These humans they came and beat him up, and now they have come to the conclusion to finally kill him. If only he had his powers, he would have roasted them. Lin Fan grabs the chain that was around Hen's neck and breaks it into pieces. Everyone is shocked to see that because that weapon was supposed to be the most powerful binding weapon. Finally the hero have saved his hen heroine. Lin Fan is happy because now he can lift and carry the hen easily. Before the hen was big, but now he can carry her like a child. He then asks the hen to lay eggs after eating they will go and search for old Jang. But not so fast. Old Ju is not letting them go away until they pay the compensation. Old Ju attacks him with his full force. Now that Rooster has become a weak human, he clings onto Lin Fan saying protect me. Lin Fan blocks the attack with one hand. Everyone is shocked that Lin Fan took the full blow from the Martial King. Old Ju gets ready to get serious. Everyone is shocked because that's the ultimate move of Old Ju. And no one has survived that attack. He attacks Lin Fan. The force from that attack sends the little hen flying far away. Lin Fan tries to help her. He gets hit. Old Ju is happy thinking he has finally got his revenge. But nothing happened to Lin Fan. That electric attack didn't do any damage but instead it made him feel a little comfortable. The lightning then changes into a little bird. Old Ju is SH Coke not only did the attack did any damage, but Lin Fan also absorbed his golden crow ghost killing thunder. Lin Fan then rushes to Hen to help her, and Hen didn't expect the human body to be this fragile. The pain was too much, Hen fainted for a while. But seeing the Hen passing out like that, Lin Fan thinks his Hen is dead. Lin Fan then suddenly disappear from there. Old Ju is confused, where did Lin Fan vanished? He then appears in front of him. Lin Fan gives him a punch, send him flying and crushing on the rooftop. Now the three are shocked because Old Ju was at the peak of Martial King Realm but was defeated with only one punch. Lin Fan then comes to them because they also said that they wanted to kill his chicken. He goes straight for the leader and punches him. The leader crushes onto the wall. Then he went for the monk. The monk also gets crush on the wall. Now the last person remain. He warns Lin Fan that his master is, but he couldn't finish his sentence, and got a punch. He also gets crush onto the wall. Guards are shocked because they are all dead. The guards are terrified that Lin Fan killed their leader with just one punch. What is he? A one-punch man. The guards run from there. Lin Fan holds his chicken on his arm. Tears falls on chicken's cheek. And chicken didn't expect Lin Fan to care for him this much that he is crying. But it was not a tear, but his saliva because if the chicken dies, Lin Fan will not get to eat her delicious eggs. Now the poor soul is like just kill me. 
and it seems like there is also a social media in that world. Lin Fan's deeds are going viral. Next, three guys come to their master and informs him that their senior brother is killed by someone from the Lin family. Master tells them to not to cry and this master of theirs. It seems like he is old Jang. He tells them not to cry, he will help them. Jang doesn't know what to do here. All he wants is to go to Lin Fan. And his disciples are surprised that after their master came out from the retreat, he's been very kind and nice to them. If they starts to cry, he gets ready to do anything for them. And they are liking these new version of their master. Lin Fan is sad because he said he will protect the chicken but now the chicken is dead. Then the chicken coughed blood. Now Lin Fan is happy that the chicken is still not dead and he can still eat her delicious eggs. Gramps checks her and finds out that her internal organs were damaged. She is seriously injured, Yan hugs her crying, and chicken is like what the fuck. Does this chicken knows you? Mother comes outside saying there is still a way to help their daughter. She then takes the Space Law volume out and tells Lin Fan to go to the Marshall Dao Holy Land to exchange the Space Law volume for Tianyuan Xinglian. Family Head also agrees with Mother. He doesn't want their linger dying in front of them. Lin Fan also understood that the thing in that box can save his hen. He gives his chicken in the trusted hand of Yan, then gets ready to take the box and go to the Marshall Dao Holy Land. But someone snatches it from him. That Space Law volume is known as the Holy Scripture of the Martial Arts and the most precious treasure of the world. The one who snatched it is the four disciples of the inner sect of the Chang sect, the little devil Zing, and he is not letting them go away with it to the Marshall Dao Holy Land. After they killed their senior brother, he tosses the box to his another brother. And now it seems like this disciples are the disciples of old Jay. Another one comes from behind and puts his knife at Lin Fan's throat. They are here to get their revenge. He then slashes Lin Fan's throat. But the knife didn't cut his throat. The disciples falls back after seeing his blade got broken. The disciples didn't expect Lin Fan to be this strong but they have brought their master with them. Zhang enters the Lin family house. Family head and Yan are shocked to see Zhang in flesh in front of them. This world is divided in three faction, the martial arts holy land, Emperor King Zong, and Wu Meng. And Wu Meng is formed by the alliance of big and small families. And Lin family was also the most important family among them. And as for the martial arts holy land and Emperor King Zong, there are two most powerful people in them. And they are Zhang Yu and the supreme elder of the emperor Changqing from the King Zong Emperor. These two are the strongest who has reached the realm of martial saint realm. Lin family falls onto their knees and begs master Zhang to spare their family. But the disciples are like crush them master. Zhang then notices their hen. Lin Fan and his antenna met. The signal is connected. Finally the best friend are back together. Everyone is shocked to see their happy reunion. And poor hen is like another vicious human also saw me in this female human form. Lin Fan introduces Zhang to the Lin family. Gramps is shocked that his grandson is the best friend of the most powerful person of the world. Zhang also introduces Lin Fan to his disciples. Disciples are shocked. If Lin Fan is their master best friend, this means Lin Fan is also a martial saint. They falls on their knees and apologizes to Lin Fan. Thank Last time, Lin Fan and Zhang returned from their dream world or other world. But Zhang was having trouble waking up. Some of his past memories were flowing inside his mind. A guy has brought him a tea. Zhang gets ready to go back to his work but he gets stabbed by that guy. Zhang doesn't know who this guy is and why he stabbed him. Outside Lin Fan is getting scared because his best bud is not waking up. He gets ready to give super powerful psycho slash which actually wakes Zhang up. He informs Lin Fan about that weird dream and it hurts so much when he got stabbed. As his best bud, Lin Fan gets ready to get revenge for him and stab that guy too. And I really want to see how this psycho will stab that person who might have already died. And now it's brother chicken times to wake up. As soon as he wakes up, he flies to a tree and is very happy to finally being able to fly again. He then checks something very important, his ding dong. Last time he checked there was a lock instead of a key or a ding dong. And he is happy because this time, there is actually a ding dong there. He turns back to his chicken form to see if his ding dong is still there or not. But it is still in there, not out there but in there because he is in his chicken form. So it makes sense that it's in there, not out there. Then their dean comes there. They get super happy to see their dean. For them, they are seeing their dean after a very long time. So they missed him so much, words can't even describe how much they missed him. And as for the Dean, he doesn't have any words to say after seeing this behavior of his psychos because he just left them in their room last night. So how can they miss him this much? However, he's a kind old man, so he appreciates their love for him and gets ready to give them some good news that their holiday is over and from tomorrow they will go back to their work. Man, those two psychos are making him so much money. However, they don't want to go because they just came back from a very long mission. And even if they tell them about this mission of theirs, no one will believe them because they are psychos. Who would believe some psychos saying that they went on a mission and saved their chicken who turned into an actual girl? And Lin Fan even got a girl to marry. 
that just too much. Anyways, do like the video if you want more of its episodes and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content like this. Next, Red Hair and One Eye are discussing about the research report of a corpse of a guy named Zhang Sen. And from that report they discovered that Zhang Sen allowed an evil creature with a special power to parasitize him and the two symbiotically shared their ability. Half of the nutrients that Zhang takes in will also be distributed to that parasite, and like that they both grow stronger. And from this report, one think they realized that there are more traitors in the headquarter because Zhang Sen was working under someone. However, Red Hair and One Eye doesn't know who Zhang Sen was working under. One Eye is mad because just to become strong those people betrayed their own kind and colluded with evil things that eat people. And Red Hair is also confused because she can't figure it out why these people are betraying humans and helping the evil thing. No matter what benefits they were promised by the evil things, the risk are too great. Even though, the evil creatures are stronger than humans and can evolve and become stronger by eating humans, the risk of helping them is just too great. Next day, one Eye have packed Zeng Sen's body in a coffin and is ready to send it to the main headquarter. And he has arranged his two best men to guard that body, and he has also gave them some documents and report about that dead body. And warns Lin Fan and Zhang to be on guard because people or evil things may come to snatch those reports, and that dead body from them. Don't worry one-eyed man. Even if those evil things come to snatch those report they will just get eaten by these two psychos. I'm just more worried about that dead body. Who knows these psychos might eat it thinking that it's also an evil thing. After all, it has that evil parasite in it. Anyways, one eye is sure that they will be safe because Lin Fan is a commander level warrior. And there is also the unfathomable Lao Zhang beside him. It won't be easy for those evil things to just come and snatch those reports from them. And there is also Mr. Invisible with them. Don't forget him one eye. Our Mr. Invisible, the best personal assistance of those two psychos. Then something comes to one eyed's mind. Yup, now he remembered that those two are psychos, so he calls Invisible to come to him. One eyed notices that Invisible is those two inspector, and he most likely must have discovered that those two often returns to mental hospital. So to not let Invisible know that those two are psychos, one eyed informs him that they return to the mental hospital because he is very friendly with the dean of that hospital. Dean Howe. But he doesn't need to say anything about that because he is an intelligent man. He knows that Mr. Lin Fan and Zhang returns to the mental hospital because they are training their mind and make their mind stronger than any normal people. One eyed is shocked because this invisible guy is genius. He doesn't need to explain anything to him. And now he has finally seen Mr. Invisible's talent. One eyed used to look down on Mr. Invisible, but after today, he is still looking even more down on Mr. Invisible. And poor Mr. Invisible didn't get this joke of Mr. One-Eyed and is like, Leader, remember not to underestimate me in the future. One-Eyed then gets ready to ask for a favor from Lin Fan, because if Lin Fan leaves that city and goes to the main headquarter, he is sure that the traitors from the headquarter will try to collude with the evil things and attack the Yanhai city again while Lin Fan is at the headquarter. So he asks Lin Fan to leave Brother Chicken, who will help him guard the Yanhai city. They are surprised but Brother Chicken is shocked because that just came out of nowhere. He is like, oh, uh, hey, yeah, now One-Eyed is like an angel to him. If he gets to stay behind that means he doesn't need to lay eggs every day for the time beings. And that's a big thing for Brother Chicken. However, Lin Fan thinks that if he leaves that chicken behind, the chicken will only bully One-Eyed. Now that dream of not laying eggs for some time have gone down the river. However, One-Eyed is sure that Brother Chicken won't do anything like that because after witnessing the last incidents, he is sure that Brother Chicken is very loyal to Lin Fan and won't hurt any humans. One-Eyed gives him nice and sweet compliments about Brother Chicken. And even after Brother Chicken said that he is undercover agent, he doesn't think that Brother Chicken is one because real undercover agent don't admit that they are undercover agent. And what's more, Brother Chicken is still willing to stay with humans, so he is sure that he will be fine. And FYI, Brother Chicken is not running away because he can't. He can't run away. Lin Fan is just too strong. And now One-Eyed have so much faith in Brother Chicken because he also has seen it with his own eyes. Sorry, his own eye. How Brother Chicken died again and again to just protect Lin Fan. He is super sure that Brother Chicken is a man of justice, and he completely trustworthy. But Brother Chicken is not falling for those sweet words. He is the evil hero and he is working as an undercover agent. Zhang also agrees with One-Eyed and gets ready to trust their hen and leave it behind to guard the Yanhai city. Since Zhang has said it, Lin Fan gets ready to sacrifice his everyday egg-laying machine in the Yanhai city. They then leaves from there, and someone is super shocked because they actually really feel free to leave him there. Oh my god, what is going to happen to One-Eyed now? After they left, One-Eyed is super scared. He just hopes that no one will attack them in the absence of those two. 
But he still has his brother Chicken so he doesn't need to be scared. If anything happens he gets ready to ask for help from brother Chicken. But nah, brother Chicken is not helping him after all. He is also an evil thing. How can he kill his own kind? Then he gets an amazing idea to run away from those evil psychos. And the souls of the poor family from the heavens are mad and angry at him because that chicken has both the strength and opportunity right now to kill all those humans in that city and flee from there. But they don't know something that only brother chicken knows. He knows that Lin Fan has the power to teleport. He has seen it with his own two eyes. And not only the power of teleportation, but also the power to travel through space and go to another world. Now how the heck will he be able to run away from such a guy? He trembles in fear and gets ready to stay there quietly and wait for Lin Fan to come and starts laying eggs again. Next, Lin Fan and Zhang are having the best day of their life. They are drinking their coke in a plastic bottle. No one is attacking them. However, Mr. Invisible is super on guard. He is not letting his guard down. Then it's night time. Two psychos have fallen asleep but Mr. Invisible is still on high alert. Next day, One-Eyed is super anxious thinking how many waves of attacks did Lin Fan's party encounter. And someone is enjoying the best time of his life. This morning he didn't have to lay in eggs for those two. And what's more, he is even getting massages from Beauty. And One-Eyed is losing more hairs worrying about Lin Fan and Zhang whether they safely arrive at the headquarter or not. And someone has turned back to his chicken form because he is getting his feathers clean. One-Eyed then gets a call which shocked him because the dead body and reports were safely delivered to the headquarter to the Supreme Commander. And no one stopped or came to rob Lin Fan and his party on their way to the headquarter. And the one who called him is Mr. Invisible. One-Eyed asks him if he saw it with his own eyes. Lin Fan handing the reports in the hands of Supreme Commander. Invisible informs him that it's happening right in front of his eyes and Red-Haired's uncle is also there, next to Supreme Commander. This shocked One-Eyed because if that person is old uncle then the person standing next to him is definitely Supreme Commander. He is just confused thinking how is this delivery going so smoothly. Next, One-Eyed and his girl are having a meeting about what exactly happened. He wonders if the traitors in the headquarter have resigned, because they didn't attack Lin Fan and his party neither the Yanhai city. Red Beauty is also confused because those traitors have the support of the powerful evil things, and this was their best chance to attack and snatch the dead body, and the reports. But they didn't attack, still they gets ready to keep their guard on because they don't know what might the mole in the headquarter might do if they let their guard down. Then One-Eyed gets a call. This shocked him because Invisible just contacted him a few minutes ago and now he is calling back again. He is scared thinking something might have gone wrong. But, the call was from a guy named Feng Lin, the leader of the special department in Xingfeng City, and is also a town-level powerhouse. He missed his long one-eyed lost friend, so he thought to give him a call. Now one-eyed is mad. That call almost made him wet his pants, but the call was from nobody. He tells Feng Lin to just fart quickly, what he has to fart. And Feng Lin is like, it's nothing important. One-Eyed curses him and cuts the call. Now Feng Ling is shocked and mad because he missed his friend and wanted to hear his voice, but instead what he got from that friend, some blessing words and even hung up on him. Next, thanks to the report sent by One-Eyed, the headquarter have captured the traitors and they are the Hoodie guy and his boss. The boss reminds Hoodie that Hoodie promised to follow him and he should keep that promise. He also remembers his promise and that he was born as the member of the Evil Shadow Society and will die as a ghost of the Evil Shadow Society. They talk for a long time about their promise and mission and some other big plan. This makes Lin Fan mad because they are talking very loud and if Zhang wakes up, they are dead and Lin Fan and Zhang are there because they are on duty to guard that traitor. And the guards are doing their job so well done. I mean, it's only right for the guards to sleep while the prisoners are awake and are making their future plan. Salute that man who ordered these two psychos to guard that traitor. Anyways, seeing Lin Fan waking up and giving them a warning, Hoodie hides behind his boss, because he knows how terrible can Lin Fan be. Now that he made himself clear, he gets ready to go back to his sleeping. And the boss is feeling like something is wrong with this guy who is guarding him. He has no reaction at all, but he didn't get any response from his Hoodie boy. He looks at Hoodie and that guy who promised so many big big promises have already gone. Well, he didn't escape but hide in his boss's shadow. Three days later, Brother Chicken has become super handsome and beautiful because this past three days he was in no fap egg street, meaning he wasn't busting eggs for the past three days. He is so happy that his happiness can't even be measured and is now even dancing for the humans who he used to call them. And now One Eye and Red Beauty are ready to watch the live broadcast of the public trial. The public trial starts and they have brought the traitor in front of everyone in the world. Kinye. One Eye is surprised because Kinye is also a country-level powerhouse and he has many people working under him. 
That means many of them are also traitors just like Kin Yi. Red Body have also heard from Feng Lin that the Kangxi rescue mission report was also banned because of Kin Yi. The rescue mission was the mission of rescuing Kite and all. And from that she remembers something. Something just like the Kangxi rescue mission, it also got banned. And it was called the lab ban. The laboratories under the special departments. There was a ban issued directly from the headquarters to the laboratory. She also accidentally saw a related post on the headquarters forum. But the post was deleted before she could read it, and all the people involved had their account banned. So she couldn't find the clues to follow it up. Now she understood that it was all doing of Kinyi. The trial begins. The public trial of the crimes committed by Kinyi, a powerful fighter at the national level. They charges him with the treason. Crime against the security of humanity and society, and some more other charges. The higher authorities starts to ask him question if he really has secret connection with the evil creature, and has he been transmitting human messages to them. He accepts those charges that he has secret connections and has been transmitting human messages to the evil creatures. This surprise everyone there. No not everyone they're just like four or five people who came there for hearing. Oh wait, they are doing that live broadcast. They asks him another question like when did he started having contact with evil things and by what means? And what evil things are most commonly associated with him? He informs them that it began 10 years ago, and he used the four-eyed crow to transfer paper patterns. And the most commonly associated evil creature in the past was the cockroach demon in Yanhai City. This surprise one-eyed and red beauty and now brother chicken is also getting interested in the live broadcast. And the families in the heavens are surprised that their cockroach king had such connection with that human. And even the foxy is surprised because she was his translator. And she didn't know about this. He is such a genius. And now he is acting all high and mighty. Don't need to act this high and mighty bro. You didn't achieve anything. Oh wait, you did achieve enlightenment. Enlightenment to the heaven. Ha 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 ha. They asks him another question like what was his purpose in contacting the town level evil creature the cockroach king. And why are they asking this question again? Because from what I know, he contacted that cockroach to just capture the Yanhai city. And he also informs them that he contacted that cockroach to just capture that Yanhai city. And somewhere, Arrow is getting mad after hearing that. Next, the Supreme Commander asks him if he knows how many lives were lost in that attack in Yanhai city. He knows that too. And he also admits that he sent Zheng Sen to cooperate with the cockroach demon to attack the Yanhai city. And now they have heard everything they gets ready to give him a befitting punishment. They charges him with treason and his punishment, death. Someone named Hung Jiankyu, the leader of Heng City's special department and a town-level powerhouse. And he thinks that they should command the death penalty immediately. And some people in that court are feeling bored. They have no idea of what's going on there. They are at loss. The head of the Jin family. He is probably Red Beauty's grandfather, and he is one of the veteran military advisor at the headquarters. He wants to ask one last question. Like why did he collaborated with the evil creature and betrayed his fellow human beings and what benefit did he got from this? This question interested one eye. And Kinyi was also waiting for this question to ask. Kinyi asks them if anyone there knows about the lab ban. This shocked the supreme commander, red beauty and one-eyed. Because that lab ban matter is a very sensitive matter. Supreme commander orders to turn off the live broadcast right away. But they are unable to do so because their live broadcast system has been hacked. The Supreme Commander then orders them to take down Kinyi. But too bad for him, Kinyi informs them that even with that handcuffs he can use his powers. And that handcuffs is especially made for the powerful fighters, so they can't use their power. But Kinyi can use his power even with that handcuff on. He gets ready to show them and gets ready to snap his finger. And just like that he snaps his finger, then Zhang notices something is happening to Lin Fan's body. And not only Lin Fan's body, something is also happening to his own body. Same thing happens to everyone present there, seems like they are about to be teleported to somewhere. Red Beauty and One-Eyed are shocked to see that even with that black iron handcuff on his hand, he is still able to use his ability. Arrow gets ready to go there with his bow and arrow to save some people in that headquarter. One-Eye also gets ready to go there but Red Beauty stops him because that power of Kinyi is very special, and it's called the Prisoner of the Mirror World. It can trap people in the mirror world for 10 minutes. So there is no need for one eye to go there. By the time he arrives there to rescue those people, they would have already come out, wash up, eat their dinner and Netflix and chill. Now he is confused thinking how can he stops those people from doing Netflix and chill. She suggests to just stay there and listen to the broadcast. Kenny is continuing the broadcast. And now that he has transferred everyone somewhere, he gets ready to answer the answer of the last question. Kinyi then reveals some big secret to the world about the lab ban. What the laboratory discovered, that the human race discovered the fat that evil things does not eats the special gifted strong human beings. 
This shocked Red Beauty not only her but the whole world. They are confused thinking how is that possible because evil things eat human beings to become stronger. And if they do not eat the ability users that means the ability users are just like them, who can become stronger by eating people. One of the lady who was watching the broadcast thinks that it's not true because her friend was also got eaten by the evil things. Then she remembers it clearly that the evil thing did kill her friend but when it tried to eat him, the evil thing didn't eat him and kill him by crushing him with his hand and throw him away. Then it came straight at her but it didn't attack her. She realizes something that the evil thing didn't attack them. It only attacked them after they attacked it, and she didn't attack that evil thing. That's why. The evil thing didn't continue to attack her even though she was seriously injured. The beast just left after that. She wonders if they didn't take the initiative to attack the evil thing. It won't take initiative to attack them or kill them. Then her friends would have been alive today. Kin Yi informs everyone that evil things can evolve and become stronger by eating ordinary people, and the ability users also can. This just give more shock to everyone, because they can also grow stronger by eating ordinary humans. The lady who fell before is shocked to see that all of her friends in that department are also evil things. She forgot that she is also one. Kinney gives them more info why the higher authorities tried to hide this from the world because the majority of the world are ordinary people, and the ability users are trapped under the big term called human beings. And this ordinary people are the one who established the political power, and those human beings use them as their weapons against those poor evil creatures. And he is sure if all these evil creatures are killed, the ability users will be the next evil creatures for the human beings. That's why he betrayed the humanity, because the ability users and the evil things are the same kind, and the Ant Empress and Red Beauty's mother are also listening to this broadcast. Kin Yi informs everyone that ability users and evil things are evolved species, and there is the Evil Shadow Society, a home for all the evolved species. And the place is in an island called Haven or Heian Island. He also informs everyone that they have mastered the technology of cooperating with evil creatures and helping ordinary people to evolve. He welcomes everyone to come to the Shadow Society, evolve to new species, and gain special abilities. And it seems like Hoodie has a phobia of coming in front of a camera. He then gives them all a warm goodbye. Next, some people rushes to the court. An arrow have also arrived there. He shoots his arrow at Kinyi, but his arrow didn't hit Kinyi. Hoodie has blocked his arrow. Arrow gets mad because he treated Hoodie like his brother, but that son of a gun betrayed him. And Red Beauty's father and her uncle have also arrived there. Red's father is mad at the guard to see Jing Moakea Hoodie there instead of being in the Xuanti prison. He orders them to go and check other prisoners in the Xuanti prison. Kinyi informs them there is no need to check because Hoodie here has the ability slut transfer. Red's father asks him how is he able to use his power when he is where that black iron handcuff. He gets ready to inform them and tells them to guess. Mr. Red orders everyone to hold back to five more minutes because Kinyi ability's power will wear off, and he can't use that same magic on same person for one day. So they are just waiting for Lin Fan to come out. Kin Yi snaps his finger again and makes Uncle Red disappear from there. This makes Arrow mad and gets ready to shoot Kin Yi with three arrows, and seeing him working so hard for humans, Kin Yi gets touched by his hard work. But he informs Arrow that he is just a weapon for those ordinary humans after they used him. They will destroy him too, so he asks Arrow to join with them. But Arrow is dead serious that he is a human and he will not eat human meat. Everything that is happening there is still going live. Arrow shoots his three arrows at Kinyi asking him to release his sister Xylo Lu. Kinyi uses his mirror world technique, creates some kind of portal, and absorbs the arrows inside and creates another portal behind Arrow to release his three arrows at him. But Arrow notices that and dodges his three arrows, and seeing him so eager to meet his sister Xylo Lu, Kinyi gets ready to send him to his sister Xylo Lu. He sends Arrow in his mirror world. Before Arrow gets teleported, he curses Kinyi. Red's father gets ready to form a formation to stop Kin Yi from escaping from there. Everyone helps him to create that formation. However, Kin Yi is the one who always traps other. No one is able to trap him. He teleports all of those people to his mirror world. And now they are finished there. He gets ready to leave from there. Before leaving he leaves a message saying that he is waiting for the arrival of more of his compatriots on the Heian Island. Then a punch comes at him. He tries to block it but we know whose punch is this and no one can block this punch. You have to call Saitama to block that punch, because Lin Fan is also a man who can kill people with one punch. He just holds back his power when fighting with weaklings. And public are just surprised to see that punch, like what the heck is going on there and where did that punch come from. And, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it then please like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Also stay tuned because next is going to be a big, kaboom.